We are live. Live Hello, life, breathe I'm actually air. Dead. Hey. <laughs> I know somehow we're gonna get there. Get there and Beautiful. be so wonderful. wonderful. We really harmonize together. We should start a band. We should. Um, hey everyone uh, uh, that's watching. Uh, we're today is a very special stream. Um, we're going to be addressing my my biggest admirer, my biggest fan. Uh, who very well might be watching, for all we know. Just oh, he definitely there. will be. He better. <laughs> He'll definitely be watching. He just won't be participating. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Dark um, Thor. How are you doing? Dark Thor. <laughs> what, what's the full at? Dark Thor, Neo, Usul, uh, <laughs> Dark Thor, anti-intelligence, anti pro idiot. Dark Hi, Dark you Thor. Know, you fucking so, dumbass. So, spoiler, spoiler alert for people in chat. Dark Thor struggles with the concept of hypotheticals. He's a bit like Drax in that sense. But <laughs> for this, I think he struggles analogy, with intelligence as well. For this, for this analogy, I'm going to be comparing him to Battinson because, you know, they think I'm hiding in the chat, but I am the chat. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, wasn't, um, he wasn't saying anything while we were streaming. I don't know if he was watching this while we were streaming or if he just watched this after... We were finished. Um, I mean, he messaged uh, me while you guys were still going, talking about it. So I think. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, for context. Uh, well, before with... we get into that. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I kind of want to explain to anyone, you know, who's not initiated who Dark Thor is and um, ex like why exactly the stream is happening. Um, so Dark Thor, Neo Usul, pro Tolkien, anti Nazi, pro Nazi, The Last of Us. <laughs> he he's been an admirer of mine for a long time. This all he he followed me, and I don't know for how long because he only popped up on my radar toward you know around November, December of last year, somewhere around there. Um, and he is not very happy with me because I. Well, let's just face it. He was mad over a TV show. I didn't like Kenobi. <gasps> I made a, I made a couple of videos about why. You might have heard. Why wouldn't you like Kenobi? Well, I don't. I don't know. It has. It is a well, masterpiece. It's, and we need it's to see truly a live action remake. Truly, as well, we all know, the, the uh, title Leia character was speed, in the whole show. And it's just. It's amazing. She just the, can run super fast. And listen, how could you hate title, something that fucking masterful? You piece of look, shit. The title. The title of the, the titular character was in the whole show. Unlike Halloween Ends, that's why Halloween Ends is bad, and Kenobi is good because yeah, I can't Kenobi believe well, Halloween has Ends Kenobi. wasn't in Halloween Ends. So yeah, it's worth mentioning that he's said he's been on record saying that my Halloween Ends video is really good, and like the only discernible difference between the two is that he didn't like Halloween Ends, and so he's happy for me to shit on it. I I, right. I, I used the exact same criteria for both, so I, it can't be anything else. This is, it's why I asked, like, can you at least argue why he was wrong? Like, it, it, okay, so it, it would be, it, oh, my God. oh he it did would have been, say that, yeah. It would have been, oh, it would have been no, one man. thing, what the fuck? like, it, it would be one thing if she was saying, I, I treated um, Kenobi under the same standard as Halloween ends, right? And the reality is maybe he took Kenobi in bad faith, but I'm like, make the argument. Can you make the argument for why he well, did that? And so that's the thing. He's not he, doing that. He has made several videos trying to out me basically as an alt-right grifter for my Kenobi takes, because um, if, if you were to ask him, uh, I'm lying about the Kenobi show. It's not that mm. bad. And I don't even think it's that bad. I'm simply a liar. Grifter. I just want you guys, I want your money basically. Um, and that's well, the jokes on you I have no money. <laughs> Aren't yeah, allowed to respond I, to them, Chief? Why did you, my money. Why did you remove them? <laughs> it's my money, and I need it now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole another. That's a whole another aspect to it as well. Is like I deleted some old Rise of Skywalker videos that I no longer stand by, and he just will not let that go. He just I will he... not let that go, and it's so funny because I'm not. I haven't like denied it. I haven't said, "Oh, oh, you caught me red-handed, darn you." No, it's I. Don't I don't like those videos. I don't want them up on my channel because they don't. Gonna, well, he wants you to admit well that made. you changed it, that you took it down for money. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I I used to have a lot of shorter videos on my channel that weren't particularly good, and I took them down because after I made my Spider-Man 2 video, I'm like, well, <gasps> I've now made a decent video. 
Yeah, yeah. that's why you're a grifter because you, yeah. you changed your mind. I'm, well, no, I didn't. Here's the thing: I didn't change my mind on anything that I covered. I covered like 1917, Dark you Fate. You took down uh, those videos because you no, realized that, no, they I, be, that nobody would make money off of them. I still think that you're, you're under oath and you admit it. I still think that Dark Fate is shit. I still like the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, even though it's pretty, pretty fucking flawed. And I still like 1917 okay, a lot. Sonic I think it's awesome. one of the greatest movies that came out in the last few years. Um, but I just simply took it down because, like, well, this doesn't reflect the quality of the videos that I plan on putting out in the future, which I haven't made a whole lot of. But, you know, there is one that's cooking. It's in the oven. Okay. It should be out in a, in a week or two. Somebody cooked here. Oh, Sky's here. Hello, Sky. Sky. Hello. How's it going, Sky? Sky. The Sky. Person who, the person who I dead named in, uh, in the description of my Starman 2 video because I oh, yeah. put well, you in there <laughs> when you still went by it. If we're... I mean, I guess we're we're just pulling out all the stops. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different things uh, that Dark Thor is not happy with us about. Um, one one weird. of them is that we called him like transphobic because he he just straight up like, he referred is. to Sky by <laughs> by her dead name. Yes. Uh, and when he was corrected on that, it was a very stupid mistake to make. So, like, <laughs> oh, there's no way he did it. Whatever. And when he was corrected on it, um, he doubled down and pretended like we were the asshole. So, He's now pretending. Yeah. He, hold on. Don't. Well, don't forget, full, don't forget. Well, he's going, he's going full whataboutism now, too, because of the fact that I had Sky's dead name in the description of my Spider-Man 2 video where I acknowledge her because she made she contributed a lot to it. She found a lot of arguments that I then put in my script for that video. So Did I acknowledge her and I, I literally within five minutes. Now I said I yeah. changed it as soon as I could have. Because I wasn't sure, like, was it immediately or was it like, what, was I at work or something? No, it was within five minutes. Yeah, I remember asking you to change that, and it did I, immediately. Well, I I literally pointed out to uh, to Dark Thor. Um, I can actually, I, I can uh, go ahead and, and keep going, Shiv. I'll I'll, I'll um, fetch the. Um, we hold on, let's not ignore guy. the fact that he said right. that he wait, said wait, the wait, Native wait, wait, American. Wait. Oh shit! Wait, I need to let Sky know. So what you're gonna need to do is go into the uh, on Streamyard, go to settings, and mute Streamyard so that you can't hear. Like you should only be hearing us through um, like the Discord, Discord call. I just right. muted the the tab, so I assume okay, that that's should be fine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. there you go. Just just to make sure that there's no problems for anyone, and then you'll you know jump mm -hmm. into the watch together. Is everyone in the watch together? Yeah, I'm in the watch together. Yeah. Okay. So what we're here to do today. Oh, wait, where's the watch together? Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, I, I really <laughs> do. What we're here to do today is um, I put together all the videos that he's made on me, as well as uh, one that he made on Ecom and and the like. Um, and it's all into one video that I've put in the watch together. It's about 44 minutes long. <laughs> um, but not to worry, because he really barely makes any arguments in any of them. They're very vapid. Um, so we should be able to breeze through them relatively quickly, especially the first two he made on me because he like actually literally doesn't say anything. All he does is like just replay clips from my Kenobi videos um, and then like I guess <laughs> assumes that those speak for themselves. I don't know. <laughs> um, every once in a while he'll throw like a block of text on screen and like I guess that's him putting in actual effort. I don't know. Um, but before we watch that, Something that literally just went up, I think today, is um, he put, he did a little video on Southpaw because last night Southpaw and they were doing stream, uh, talking about EFAP's Terrier stuff, um, and we're still Southpaw, going on about it twenty months later. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just mad over a TV show, but it's okay. Just mad over a TV show. Southpaw went ahead and made a little analogy, and um, oh my God, Dominic the Donkey just for, wow, sixty five dollars super chat. Thank you very much. Um, well, damn. We only care damn. about money, so I, I'm, I guess I'm glad you gave me sixty-five dollars. <laughs> uh, hope you all have a good one. <laughs> no, you too, Dominic, Mom. you're supporting the narrative that you're we're just supporting grifters. a grifter, dude. Darth Thor's gonna have a fucking <laughs> thing. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, Dominic, you are now in Dark Thor's sights. He is on your ass. <laughs> yeah. He's hey, like, Dominic the fuck are you gave the money, money to Sheev. <laughs> Dominic, you give the money to me too. I, I, I kind of want like Wendy's or something after this. So. <laughs> <laughs> The dark truth Thank behind you. behind Sheev talks top supporter. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's gonna do an expose you. on you, dumb. It's great. <laughs> um, um, but no, so Southpaw just did just literally made an analogy, and uh, Dark Thor was not happy about this analogy. So let's go ahead and play it. 
Well, can I can I just quickly explain? Sure. So, there's people who are who keep on saying that I called EFAP rape apologists because they didn't like this show. Now, I would like for them to cite one thing, like just anything that that shows that I ever called them rape apologists because I didn't. Now, what I did say, what I did say at one point was they had victim blame a rape victim out of ignorance because I said they didn't seem to understand this character was raped. And in doing so, they made a pretty repugnant series of arguments about it. And so the next day I I said, yeah, they victim blamed. Now, while trying to pull punches there, that got twisted into me calling them rape apologists. And then also people have scrubbed away the context being that they actually did victim blame. So what I have... What I tried to do while we were talking about this was like, uh, imagine if like, and this was completely an analogy. This wasn't saying that Dark Thor had done this, but I thought like, just think of a deranged person um, who, sorry, who go um, basically called like Sheev talks a rape apologist because Sheev talks criticizes Kenobi. Like that was the point of the analogy. Mm-hmm. Um, and it wasn't intended to say that Dark Thor had actually done this. Um, yeah, but I just think it would be within his character to do it, though. He might. I mean, he's called me worse. That's the thing, guys. Yeah, yeah. he's, that's he's called really all these compared you to Hitler. He's called me yeah. Hitler. He said I had less integrity than O.J. Simpson because I deleted oh, yeah, my that Skywalker was a, videos. That was a fucking great. great he's, called, he's called all of us something nasty, I'm sure. So, like, every Many one of times, us probably yeah. has at least one Dark Thorn nickname that we get to wear on our vests. <laughs> Actually, I don't. Actually, I don't. Know. Know. Um, um, just in because sort of a rite of for, passage. Yeah, yeah, I blocked them for being uh, obnoxious as fuck. Uh, so, like, yeah, no, Dark Thor did not call me a rape apologist. This was a fucking analogy. But I don't think he anyone here would be grifter. surprised if he did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause not, because that's not that's not any worse than being an well, actual he called, Nazi. Um, so. He called me racist because I said he's tr- he was transphobic. Because the he point. was transphobic. And then he was like, well, I'm Native American. And I'm more oppressed yes. than you. So I can I can be transphobic. Therefore, you're being racist against my people, the Native Americans. Did somebody the entire, the stream? I wanted to bring that up. His ultimate whataboutism. The, the, the Native Americans have had it worse. So I'm fine with being <laughs> transphobic. Yeah. yeah like, no, you don't get to... Uh, you, you being part of a minority group that's been like discriminated against while well, that's bad does not give you the right to just be transphobic. Right. It's but not a competition, remember, Dark Thor. Do you remember when he said that? I was like, wait, are you justifying being transphobic because you're Native American? And then the next thing he said is like, did Thumbcast get genocided, Sky? No, they don't, <laughs> <laughs> they don't get to dictate what I can or can't say. Because the point, the point was that this comment on victim blaming doesn't come from a vacuum whereas if you were to call someone a rape apologist when they criticize kenobi in which there is absolutely nothing to fucking do with rape there that would be coming out of a vacuum and that would be uncalled for however Mm -hmm. it's not uncalled for if someone did in fact blame a rape victim even if it was on accident but the, the the reason why i said victim blaming and not rape apologist was because it was I at least thought it was an it was an accident. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> before we do anything else, though, I I forgot I wanted to do this. Um, nobody say anything. I want TK to speak, and I want to make sure that the audience can hear him. TK, say something. Yeah. Just uh, let <laughs> us know before we continue. Uh, I think he said something about he got disconnected in the um, in the Discord. Oof. He's back, yeah, but I just want to make sure everyone can hear him. Press 1 if you can hear TK, the the guy who just said words before I did. I could have sworn that I saw his icon moving in Streamlabs. Um, yeah, he shouldn't be moving, yeah. Um. Well, regardless, if um, if it, if it's a problem, then we'll deal with that. But let's go ahead and start this, shall we? Oh, uh, they say can't hear him. Can't hear him? Okay, that's a problem. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is moving. I will unmute him on StreamYard and then mute him 
over the Discord call. So hopefully everyone should be able to hear them that way. It's just we might be dealing with a bit of an echo. Oops. Unmute. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, he's going he, through your audio settings. He himself is muted himself. TK, unmute yourself. Oh. I can't unmute you. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, there so, we go. Can so everyone, can everyone hear Everyone me? should be able to hear him now. I can hear you. Yeah. All right. Let's yep. get into this. All right. Let's, uh, let's get this going. Let's go. Good luck, Crossover 4, and learning how to drive. Who's echoing? There that's, is an echo. That's TK. Oh, TK, fuck. I'm sorry, bro, but I'm going to have yeah. to kick you. Wait, wait, wait. I can, I can fucking mute in while it's going. That'll work. TK is uh, kind of yeah. spoken. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, this might be a problem. I might still have to kick him, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hang on. Mr. Skullface Garcia, thank you for the super chat. Imagine getting mad over the Kenobi show of all. <laughs> He's he mad get... over a TV show. <laughs> well, unironically mad. He was screaming at the top of his lungs about how in 1977 a stormtrooper hit his head on a door. Yeah. So how that dare was you? Everything in Star Wars is goofy. Guys, stop oh. bullying for me for that. that that's Wait. just mean. Come on. Yeah, well, oh, you're bully. a piece of shit for doing that. Deborah Chow yeah, is true. a wonderful, wonderful uh, director. There's a bit of a I echo. agree. So, yeah, I can hear it echo no, again. Okay, I'm so sorry, bro. This wait, wait, I can mute in the stream. I can mute the stream for a bit. Okay. He'll just have to keep talking to the minimum. Turn this up a little. I'm sorry, guys. So I, I usually try to avoid drama, but Southpaw apparently thinks that Rags and Mahler standing up for rapists is like my criticism oh, of his friend Sheep Talk as a grifter. Fucking hell. There's so much wrong with this sentence here. So, What the I fuck does he said, mean he tries to avoid drama? I know. He, he doesn't do that. <laughs> he does the drama. opposite of that. Okay. What the fuck so does he mean? Okay, so now that we've addressed the first few words... Uh, Southpaw apparently thinks that Rags and Mall are standing up for rapists. No. I didn't say that they stood up for rapists. I said that they victim blamed a character who was raped because they did. Because if you've seen the show and you've seen their coverage, and it's on, we talked about it on Thumpcast 53, Jolly Chap was there, you'll see why. It was a thing I said because it was a fact. However, just because you do that does not mean that you're standing up for rapists. It's a little bit more nuanced than that. It, it was like unconscious victim blaming, not consciously defending rapists. Why can't people get this? That's a bit too nuanced for Dark Thor to understand. Yeah, he, he thinks in very yeah, they're fucking dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Let's simplify these words down. Yeah. Like, Oh my god, it's like, no, no, I, I, one, was not saying that they were even that, like, like, I mean, like, what they did was bad, just not that bad, like, <laughs> if we're on, a, like, a scale of, like, the best <laughs> thing that they could have said, the worst thing they could have said, like, this is not the worst thing they could have said, it's the worst thing they've said about the show, but it's not the worst thing they could have said, they could have gone... Uh, uh, they they could have they didn't but they could have gone out there and said yeah this character was raped but she was she was a bitch anyway so fuck her it's like no no they didn't say that <laughs> people keep on acting as though i said that it's like i did not say that i did not say that they said that because they didn't say that just focus on the facts here and i was just trying to paint an analogy of just oh it was like i wasn't even trying to say this is the thing is he's been saying he apparently thinks that them standing up for rapists is like my criticism. It's like, no, okay. The point here was to have an analogy of someone who is completely fucking deranged and throws out this accusation out of a vacuum at someone who criticizes, fuck it, their sacred cow, okay? Um, that was the point. It wasn't saying that uh, Dark Thor had done it. It wasn't trying to directly compare him calling Shiva Grifter to it. But it was just a. Yeah, there's no such thing as nuance. It's okay. 
<laughs> but to be I mean, fair, yeah, Sheev is a grifter, so... Die I after know, yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, just to... Grifter Sheev, you're just to grifter. oversimplify everything... Sorry, just to simplify everything you just said down in Southport, like, basically what's happened is you made a metaphor, you made a, comp- you know, a metaphorical comparison, and he's taken it literally because the man doesn't seem to understand the basics of human interaction or language. Yeah. Uh, it's it's I mean, kind of baffling to behold. If you've tried to... Get- <laughs> use a hypothetical to talk to Dark Thor on Twitter, you know that he doesn't understand it. Just like, so what if this thing happened? I would say, oh, you're saying it happened. Okay, so you're a liar then. Yep. That's just how his brain yeah. works. So, and so that's what he does. And so it's there's one of two options happening. Either he is genuine and he is just this dumb, <laughs> or he is he is just twisting everything you say in bad faith. And like it has, I feel like it has to be the second one, right? Because I don't think anyone is as dumb as he as he makes. Oh, I don't know. I feel like some people really are just that stupid. I, I, yeah, the, I I've seen wanna... a lot of stupid people. Like, um, I got I called wanna... all right once because yeah, I used Pepe members. as a reaction image. But... <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, don't you, I mean, I mean, person. He's called TK. You know, like, he's such a dumbass yeah. all the time. <laughs> I've, I've had. I've. This is the thing. I don't like to block people. Um, but I blocked him because, like, this guy is a waste of my time. It, like, I just it, muted him. I, I try to give. Yeah. Training, so I, I was just, about to say, like, yeah, I muted him months I ago, and I was like, I was straight up telling everyone, like, don't, don't interact with this guy. He's just completely insane. <laughs> you, for some <laughs> reason, you all kept interacting with him. He's funny. Yeah, no, I, he's I, insanely I yeah, yeah, yeah. unironically. Oh, yeah. yeah. Does no, anyone remember when he claimed? Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, who's Son going? Bitch. Every, every, you. Everyone here <laughs> go collectively is just he's just taking the piss out of the joke I was gonna make. I was gonna say. I blocked him because I didn't want to spoon out my eyes of the melon baller. But you know what? Now you ruined the comedic timing. Now it's well, I'm more interested in what, interest <laughs> what Madvocate was going to say anything. Yeah. So. Damn, okay. Well, oh, fair enough. Does anyone else remember when he claimed to have like talk, taught like two college classes? Or did I dream that? I'm I swear. No. I, I swear. <laughs> no, no, I swear no, he no, claims no, to no, have no, taught. No, like, like, I think that he I believe Jolly's about to have a classes in I'm Josh sorry, but I have a stroke here. Thank you, fucking Paul. I don't want him a, to be in it. He said he was like a college professor teacher. and that he knows like six languages. I'll see if I can find but, that. Oh, I what believe him. Uh, yeah, I, I don't <laughs> want him anywhere I, near I an education. Um, he's, he's, at university too, so. he's, he, yeah, you know what? No, no, no. Here's the thing if, if Dark Thor was a professor at an Australian college, I would believe it. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a, I feel like I'm having a mental. I feel like it's too early in the stream for this, but oh I'm having God. a mental breakdown. Plot twist. Plot twist. Dark Thor was Freaky's law professor. <laughs> <laughs> he explained everything. <laughs> That's why he said that that every card is checked at the border. I'm just. Of I'm just. Dark Thor would say this. I'm just trying to imagine, right? Like, can, can you imagine if he was telling the truth and he did teach a college course? That means there's like a legitimate possibility I could run into this motherfucker at some point in real life. <laughs> at there a, is like, a, like, at there a conference is or something. Of us talking about him being a professor in the chat. I mean, so I'm trying to find the exact tweet. Well, while we like, do that, I, I'd like to go yeah. ahead and get through the rest of this quick little video. Yeah, so let's do it. The, yes. actual, yeah. the, the actual video. I'm very <laughs> scared for his students. Oh my god, that added to. So for anyone who's not clear, he's calling, he's trying to highlight a, a, a hypocrisy with Southpaw, where he he's, he was just being bad faith to Dark Thor, and then turning around and talking about how misrepresentation is bad, and EFAP is bad for that. I Even like though that. it's a hypothetical... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Being extremely it's bad really faith shit. with me while trying to accuse me of being bad faith when I mentioned that uh, people bad don't seem to know what bad faith means. Uh, so well, uh, people sorry, in the chat cheap. are saying they can't yeah. hear the video. Videos, video. Apparently sorry, people can't hear the video. People can't hear the video. Uh, uh, don't know why. Oh lord, that just opened a new can of worms altogether. Fuck. That's a yeah. Hang on. Mm, uh oh, spaghettio. Maybe because it's too. Is it just too quiet? Because I have the volume pretty low. Let's try this. Crank it up to 11. Can you guys hear that? I can kind of hear it. Like, you not guys really can hear it? it. Hear what? I'm struggling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm struggling. Wait, wait, are we talking we, about we the audience muted it. video or the... Why or can't 
people. Um, I was asking the audience if they could hear it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not watching the stream. They, so they, they said that they can't hear that. Uh, okay. They're saying so. Oh, it, it's it's quiet. Yeah. It's why is it quiet? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, go. Oh, oh, Sheev. Okay. In the so this is the watch together, right? You have to click yeah. on the volume. Click on the I, volume button. I have it all the way up. Oh, so yeah. then. <laughs> I don't know would how StreamYard works. Would it be your um like it have to your, be something your, with StreamYard, I assume. Your audio yeah, is very professional. Works. Your, yeah. Um it's like five percent volume. Okay, so she what are you using to like have the audio of, of your display coming through? That should be hang on, let me let me look. Settings audio uh, well, Mission Impossible Two is a masterpiece. We need a live-action CW Mission Impossible Two show. Why the fuck is Joker following Dark Thor? I don't know. Why Joe, is Joe, what are you doing? Come, Come on, on Joe. Joe. Stop, stop. Come on. Hang on. Let me this just is in your clone. stop your sharing the guys. stream, and then we'll try it again. Is Should that be... actually ATAT -AT chat? Um, well, that is ATAT -AT chat, yeah. Chat. What? Oh, Mr. No. Mario. <laughs> He's a mutual with me, too. Oh. Okay, let's try this. We'll see if it... Hide. Carl, I'm like, where is... Audience, where is can you hear that? Ritual? Where's Poo Poo? Just heard South Park to say poo poo. It's poo -poo. very important. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad we managed to get that bit through. It was crucial. Yeah. Without that word, we would have understood nothing. That's Where yeah, is the audio test with South Park scene? And then they eat the poo poo. No audio. No audio. What the fuck? Well, now Man, they didn't get to hear me say poo poo. That's sad. We could honestly just, just be making a whole thing about well, fuck. Yeah, it's actually it's actually making a very cogent arguments. We were just making up shit because we can say whatever we like with the audio. <laughs> <Hang> on, <laughs> I, why is the stream so fucking cursed right, today? So, uh, I swear. So Dark Thor, uh, he said uh, Found that uh, my mama's so gay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and it made me I found the <laughs> I'm so. Oh wow. Oh wow. Whoa. So it's. Sky has just dropped the uh, the message from Dark Thor in the, in the Discord chat about how he's saying he's got two degrees in social sciences and philosophy. <laughs> well oh, done, man. Three to you four languages. How do you know three to four? How do you not know how many languages you know? Well, you know, I don't, I don't know whether... He doesn't know whether to count Klingon as a language. You know, he's just... Oh, like that. Taught at several colleges, published over 50 essays and articles. Fuck off. No, you no, you haven't. I'm, okay, I'm sorry. You're straight up a liar. Lie. How, he would how dare lie, you? Jolly. Why would he lie? How, how no dare you call anyone else bad faith? Wow, that's a lot of. I just love that thing where it's like you, you know, you're all misrepresenting me. You're all liars and in bad faith. I'm like, you can't even represent yourself accurately because this is clearly <laughs> bullshit. All right, I, 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 I moved it to the other monitor. I'm gonna see if that, if that works. Oh, He's taught at several movie. colleges, yet gets mad there when is. Sheev sarcastically calls him right. buddy, and then okay. he Just proceeds to call Navica, SK Navica, bro. Navica, Navica. Oh. All right, all right. I'm, I'm gonna... Your point is valid, but I, I want to play this and see if the audience can hear it. In the let's hear them no. hear me say poo poo. In this in this car, I'm like, where is where's appeal to ridicule? Where's poo poo? <laughs> <laughs> all right do you, do you guys hear that is everything good I, i'm talking to the audience here do you hear me ask where poo poo is where is poo poo where, where is, is poo poo i'm a grown hey they heard poo poo shit. they heard it yes, yes they heard oh, it. Yeah. oh yes. yes all right hell yeah all right well, so i can tell you exactly where poo poo is we're currently having to wade through his nonsense <laughs> Well, no, this is the thing is, is poo poo is the name of like when you're just uh, basically go like, ah, oh, that's just too ridiculous for me to even take it seriously. <laughs> no, poo poo is Winnie the Pooh when he's got dementia and can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie the Pooh poo blood and honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting hungry, I'm getting hungry for on, a poo poo platter. Hang on. My dumbass uh, X out of, out of Discord. 
because yeah. it was on the different monitor and I'm an Fuck idiot you. and forgot that like you that's how they're an idiot. I, I had I had no idea when I when I asked this question that it was going to turn into this <laughs> the next day. <laughs> Where's poo poo? Where Open god poo-poo? damn it. It just it's just a you know like Where the, the Witcher it? 3 DLC, Blood and Wine. It's like that, but like Winnie the Poo Poo, Blood and Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Sheev, you might have missed a super chat. I did I? Do you want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. Uh it's from Sam Montgomery. Saw some of Dark Thor's videos a few years back. Man's thinking process has always resembled the rambling ravings of a crack addict. <laughs> Fascinating in a way. <laughs> yeah, Damn, I, I don't man. think he's lying. I think he's just that dumb. What yeah, I, mean, I, think he's, I think he's I lying about being a college a professor. But like, maybe he was a teacher's assistant, and then he took, and then he took that as being no. a college professor. No, that's, that's not, let, let, me, like, let me stop you right there. <laughs> let me stop you right there. Speaking, speaking as a lecturer, there's no fucking word. Have someone this stupid as my teaching assistant? Absolutely not. Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> Jolly. The way that you said that, the way that you said that, it sounded on my end like speaking as Electro. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking as Electro, speaking as a man who turned know. into a bat of eels. <laughs> you assisted, damn. Well, you know, she. You know, it's my birthday, so it's time to light my candles. Fuck it. I was drinking some that piece of shit. Huh, there we go. I saw I'm, AI I'm very bad at server this. list. That's awesome. Fuck. Well, if you can't drink properly, Southpaw, that sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> that I was just AI making sure that I was so over funny. on that. So, okay, we're gonna continue the the fucking video now because I'm gonna get through this. All right, let's Where go. Here is Gish Gallop. Where is Gish Gallop? Where is where is all these other things that Ethap actually unironically does? <laughs> we never said like it's it's amazing. Ethap ever covered like a female content creator? It is a grand we, total. It's of like both. yes, Southpaw says ad hominem is wrong and committed an ad hom against me. By the what? way, motherfucker! <laughs> Sorry, why the fuck did he take so long to put the text on screen? They were silent for like I know like twenty seconds, and then he puts the text on screen. Just have some fucking pride in your work. I no, okay, okay, counterpoint, yeah. chief. No, that's fair, actually. Uh, <laughs> by the way, Chief Talks recently admitted to getting rid of his Rise of Skywalker videos on his channel. Which isn't okay. What? Notice Southpaw uh... asks if EFAP was confident in their position while Wait, they resort to lying. But hang, but hang on a second. This guy claims to be like a college professor. Does this guy does, does this guy not know about revised editions of works? Like, you know, <laughs> if I'm if, if I'm you know if I'm publishing my work and then like later on you know two years down the line I'm like oh I need to put some corrections in that I'll publish a revised version. I guess you'd be like oh so you're saying you were lying the last time you fucking grifter. <laughs> He's a grifter. Hey, yeah. the was the director of Blade Runner was 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 Ridley Scott a grifter for releasing a uh, a director's cut <laughs> of Blade Runner? What about Richard was, uh, Donner with Superman? What about too? Zack Snyder with the Snyder cut? Yeah, uh, oh, yeah he's a grifter. Hard loves. He's, he's a hard grifter. Grifter, yeah. Snyder, yeah, That's so. why I brought it up. Yeah. If, if oh, you off you're that right. Logic, Zack Snyder is a grifter. Yeah. Snyder. <laughs> Checkmate, atheist. Damn you, Snyder. <laughs> Like Where is your lack of God now? Uh, <laughs> okay, so Notice asks... Uh, so they spent more time defeating these arguments. Notice Southpaw asks if EFAP was confident in their position why they resort to lying. So I asked the same question about him and SK. So the question She's was... just a no so, you. I don't get the point. The question was, if they're so confident on their take in the show, why do they refuse to talk about it? Why do they act like it doesn't exist? Why have they done this? There is no terriers taken. Efap Sing say. Grifters. Oh my god. We've never made. Then actually addressing mm. the actual arguments we're making. Also, what was the fucking ad hominem that I used against him? Yeah, uh, I haven't please seen that. Explain that to me. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess this is the thinks, thing, right? So I guess he thinks the the the, the comparison you made is considered an ad hominem, the hypothetical. It's not. It's I think not. he's an mixing ad hominem, ad hominem and alleg- an analogy. <laughs> an yeah, ad hominem, an ad hominem like... is, oh, you're Dark Thor, so who gives a shit what your opinion is? That will be an yeah. ad hominem. Yeah, that's an ad hominem. But that'd yeah, also be accurate. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> well, no, but, but so the problem is, imagine if Dark Thor, what if, what if Dark Thor says something that's actually completely correct, and then I say that as like, well, that's an ad hominem. That's not arguing over whether he's right or wrong. It's just See, what, 
if it does all the fucking that. time. Here's the thing about that. Well, well, uh, Dark Thor saying sorry, something let's... completely correct is purely hypothetical, and he doesn't deal with that. Right? <laughs> 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 that, that is no, let's, just be, let's just be Only really, really clear here, right? Hypotheticals. So, like, just, just to be as, a cl- let's be as clear as possible. So, an ad hominem would be if, like, South Pole was like, I think the moon is spherical. And I said, well, you smell bad, so counter, you know, checkmate. <laughs> Like that's an ad hominem because it doesn't address the argument. It's just me saying that he's a bad person and just completely bypasses the argument. However, if we say if if Dark, if Dark Thor says something crazy and we go, well, that's probably bullshit because Dark Thor said it. That's not an ad hominem, right? Even if, by the way, that's not what Southpaw did. But even if it had been what he did, that wouldn't be an ad hominem because the man has proven consistently that he cannot be trusted and is not a reliable source of information. Therefore, any information we heard from him, we could reliably go, I doubt that severely. <laughs> People need to just learn what these fucking concepts are. It sucks Mm -hmm. because this this word, this this phrase ad hominem, it's very useful because it describes an actual concept. And so then what someone like Dark Thor does is they they really hate it when it apply when it actually applies to them, and then they try to go, well, you're just ad hominem ad homineming me. (laughs) Mike. Ad hominai. Ad hominum. Ad hominem. Ad hominis. Ad hominem. Like like, like verbing. Verbing. (laughs) Ad hominem. (laughs) Ad hominem. Ad hominem. Ad hominem. Ad hominem. Ad yeah. All right. Let's. Phenomena. <laughs> I should not be allowed to speak. I gotta. I gotta get. We gotta get through this sorry. video because like Why this is, is this is the this, this, is, shit, this, this is this is the hors d'oeuvre. This was supposed to be like the like the quick appetizer. We're yeah. like already forty minutes into the stream, so let's. Well, let's let's get through it then. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Isn't that? Because this is the thing. If the, I mean, all I have to say is, if these guys were so right, why would they have to do this? Because is that cowards. not an interesting question? Is that not an interesting question? If they were so right, why I'm gonna be honest. To I'm pretty this? sure that most of this is just um, um, him playing what I'm you so say. Bad like, it's not, me, it's, like he's not gonna make any more arguments. I think. Yeah, uh, so that implies he's made. Doesn't any know how to cut with. things in a in an yeah. editing software. Well, yeah, Lebo, we're like. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's We're it. <laughs> right. Wait, so Dark Thor doesn't talk He's in his videos? Ah! He does the, the, the Twitter berry thing. Yeah, until at least after the match. Okay. That's hilarious. So, yeah, we're about to watch him cover, like, every every one of his videos on my Kenobi video, as well as um, <laughs> one video that he made on my Mandalorian Season 3 video. And then oh, that was, that was about, fucking hilarious. Uh, uh, Ecom. So it's, this is going to be very fun. I can't wait. Oh, his Mando video is like the worst response video I've ever seen. Full <laughs> up. Well, it you might have that theory something. tested by some of these. So it's the so Mando like impressive. The master was over, I'd imagine. And somehow, without any medical treatment and all that time, she survived. And then I'm assuming she escaped the Jedi Temple and lived as a street rat for some time before eventually joining the Empire to try to get close to Vader for her revenge plot. But none of that's really clear. We don't learn when or how she came to be an Inquisitor. Simply that she eventually does and she spends the next 10 years looking for Obi-Wan specifically because she knows he's the one Jedi who can get Vader's attention. And like we just went over, Vader apparently knows Reva is the same youngling that he stabbed those many years ago, but it's not at all clear when he figured it out or if he always knew, nor do we learn why he continues to keep her in his employ if he knows. I just want to quickly say I can hear TK's echo still. Oh, yeah. you can't? I can't. You can't? Okay. So it should be fine. She's planning to betray him eventually and can identify him as Anakin Skywalker because she, to his knowledge, has seen his face and watched him kill countless Jedi before ever wearing the Vader suit. If you want to argue that it's because she's just as... So I should say that for, like I said earlier, for the first couple of these videos, he really doesn't say anything. He just kind of Mm -hmm. plays my videos with like a few like blocks of text here and there. So So basically he does like a Hassan Piker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So he does a Hassan Piker and just like minimally like, reacts to your content. Yeah, basically, yeah. But yeah, so <laughs> for a little bit of this, it's literally just going to be us watching my Kenobi video. I hope that's, that's cool. That, I mean, that's there's worse ways to make videos, so I don't time. know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you're actually, you're actually a grifter and you make a lot of really inaccurate points. That's so, true. Uh, oh, true. Yeah. Kenobi is a masterpiece. We need a CW live action Dude, Kenobi, Kenobi show. Kenobi is so fucking great. You know, it, I mean, it's uh, objectively great. Of course, they can't objectively think it's great. Yeah. I to want to ironically to say it's like the worst thing yeah, I've ever yeah, seen. To quote Dark Thor, I don't believe in that objecto nonsense. <laughs> well, no, no. The, the only way to objectively quantify oh, entertainment objecto. is whether or not Twitter Barry, Twitter Barry likes it. Oh, oh yeah. Objecto nonsense. 
What else to say? He also missed the point of what I was saying completely. I wasn't saying whether or not objective criticism was correct. I was just saying it was it can be wrong. That's what I was saying there. He missed that altogether and just said, well, I don't believe in it. TK, do you, do you seriously think, and I want you to really think about this before you answer, but do you seriously think he actually read your comment? Like, and understood <laughs> it? Do you think he has that know. kind of sophisticated cognition <laughs> that he can look at, that he can look at words on a page and understand them? Because I don't believe that's the case. Ah, <sighs> fuck, man. I, Was it Dark I Thor that said um, that as long as two people disagree, something can't be objective? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. Oh no. I mean, I've heard that from a lot of people, people but yeah, yeah, there are a lot of people. people that is. All, I, all yeah, I have to say to that is so like, all I have to say to that is, is the Earth flat or did the Holocaust happen? Yeah. The answer to both questions is. Uh, yes. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, the answer is yes. <laughs> because, uh... I was traversing this, which would be the, mo the more insensitive thing to say, and then I was going to try to avoid that. Yeah, what, you should have didn't... started with <laughs> yeah. both, the answer to both questions. The answer to both questions just... is depends on who you ask. I guess. The, the, simple yeah. fact is that the simple fact is that Batman made the Earth flat, you know, because he doesn't speak Spanish. It's because right. yeah, and he flooded the he flooded the earth with the flat earth with the he, no, no, he, he flooded the Holocaust with Spanish people. Honestly, that's, true. that's what happened. Honestly, right? the <laughs> oh, real God. the real criticism there is why would the Riddler make that mistake? Why why can't the Riddler speak Spanish? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining that like the Riddler did the Holocaust. It's like why would the Riddler make that mistake? Why would he do that? <laughs> <laughs> why would Hitler make that mistake? So <laughs> Whoops! Why I just Hitler accidentally killed six million Jews. <laughs> why did Hitler do the Holocaust? Oh. Is he stupid? Oh, <laughs> There, there is, there is, <laughs> there is a pretty funny like Hitler reacts uh, like meme video, like the, the downfall meme. It's Hitler reacts to finding out about the Holocaust that like the SS officers <laughs> did it <laughs> without like, his knowledge. So, so he's raising his raising like you fucking idiots. Why would what? you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! One as he is, I would simply counter with the fact that any information she might find in order to draw Kenobi out of hiding is something he would easily have access to as well, if not more so than her. And it's safe to assume that he had no reason to believe she was also looking. But then you could maybe make the argument that he didn't even know about her or figure out who she really was until after she managed to draw Obi Wan out. In which case, we're back to wondering why he even keeps her around at this point when she's already served her usefulness and can now be disposed of. And I'm assuming he'd have to have figured her out by the time of episode three considering that by that point he's actively hiding from her that the grand inquisitor is still alive so why not kill her and sick any one of your other numerous inquisitors after obi-wan or just go after him yourself you see why this reveal all kind of falls apart because we're not don't worry at some point he, he'll actually <laughs> like make a point i don't know <laughs> the content, man. It's yeah fine. I don't think this is very fair use, Dark Thor. Yeah, I I'm more like, so... I feel like I'm histoning my own video. <laughs> At least yeah, your own video, copy making straighten. money off of yourself, it's fine. Not really Revenge just wanders for copyright. That's yeah, true. <laughs> also, why do I keep hearing like a sports whistle? Is who is someone watching? Oh, I'm like... playing. No, I'm playing FIFA. Every time I score, <laughs> my... oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll turn my controller I, audio I, off. Is, I thought I, I couldn't come true because it never FIFA. comes through. It never I keep comes hearing through. Hearing that, and I'm them. like, is that like I my thought... neighbors watching football? Yeah, no, it, that usually been... doesn't come through when I stream. Been... So I thought it would be fine. So sorry. It would have been I'll... so much funnier. It would have been so much funnier if if, if it were Vavuzel as you were hearing. <laughs> 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 it's okay. I'm. Not even watching this i'm playing rocket league substantive information hey. most of what i, I, I just the idea that just screaming in the background so don't worry guys we're watching this i'm just committing a holocaust just don't mind me <laughs> oh <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> i mean i am chief and so i i can't say i've never partaken okay. yeah order, genocide. order 66 just going on in the background <laughs> behind chief no i'm thinking that like yeah. palpatine okay. had no idea about order 66 or any of the horrible things the empire <laughs> it's like done. you did what <laughs> Put that Jedi Wait, with sorry. my friends. <laughs> sorry, you, that, you built a death. What? You blew up what planet? The what star? Isn't that literally the meme? Isn't that literally the meme though, where he's like he calls Vader back up? He's like, you know what? On second thoughts, let's spare the children. We can always raise them to be inquisitors. Wait, you did what? what? Yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I never said kill the children. What the, what the fuck? hell is an aluminum falcon? <laughs> 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 speculation because that's all we really have to go on if you 
moment, Agu. Is that him? <laughs> was that oh, him? Yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, what is the fuck? I thought somebody <laughs> just got <laughs> loaded up in the air with your voice. Was there not? <laughs> Was okay, it so actually... that sounded so weird. Oh my god, it sounded like somebody fucking reached over my shoulder and just fucking whispered that in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> so a few moments ago. I feel was so what violated. The... Was that not I thought... like... Was that not... Was that the best that he could do? <laughs> Why not I just thought someone the hacked... actual French narrator? <laughs> right! I, I thought someone hacked oh, into yeah. the Discord. Oh. <laughs> I just, I just realized, yeah. Like he did a bad impersonation of a French accent. You're a racist, Doctor. Jesus. Yeah, that's the. No, you can't be racist that's against the that's French. That's cultural appropriation, so, like, my brother. You can't be racist. Your argumentation, He's American. Problem with your argumentation, Jolly, is that he is a Native American. So. Ah uh, well, but I, I, I would. Yeah, you, I, I, think he can be I, I would. I would put it to Yushi that the French are a more oppressed nation than the Native Americans, and my source is. Oh. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I mean, Look, man, how many genocides did the French suffer, and how many did the jo Native Americans? How many other lies have I been told by the council? <laughs> jo Jolly, Jolly can make a good case for why the French are an acceptable, you know, acceptable to oppress minority. After all, all those, all those French jokes that we like to tell. Oh yeah, about, yeah. We we know, baguette. They have they have two I mean, just, that one, one, one is red, white, and blue. I mean, to be fair, one is just white. I mean, to be fair, no one loves oppressing the French more than the French. Like, it's something we've done pretty much throughout our history. So, who cares? I fucking hate all of you. Just fuck off. Uh, I mean, literally, the fucking the Falcon and the Winter Soldier uh, finale has a moment where, you know, after talking about how bad racism is, uh, the new Captain America is cracking a joke about, like, oh, maybe you'll get some French fries and a baguette to a Frenchman. Like, <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. I just... I just I just stop the whole show and like the because it's not even a Frenchman, right? It's like an Algerian guy he's fighting. The Algerian guy's like, come uh, on, man, what the fuck? Uh, well, it's it's dude. Well, I mean, he's played by my cousin's he, French. Come on, he's, he's played by George by George Saint Pierre, right? Isn't he? Isn't he actually French? Well, the the character I'm pretty sure is meant to be Algerian, which like Algeria is a country that the, we the, the French colonized and oppressed quite badly. So I, I imagine he probably wouldn't be too thrilled. Oh, I let, let me see. Uh, he's he's French and Algerian. He's French Algerian. Oh, he's oh, okay. He he's is, French Algerian. Well, he is, so he is one French, half of yeah. him is oppressing the other. I was gonna say, like, I'm pretty sure you're wrong. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that he, that's uh, what I call it in a conflict. <laughs> he's he's that, now, don't forget, don't forget, this is Batrock the Leaper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I genuinely thought when I first saw his name that it was Batrock the Leper, and that he just had like this terrible skin oh disease. God. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Be until at least after the massacre was over, I'd imagine. I was just and somehow, without video. any medical it's treatment, he's insane. literally he just replaying anything. what I said. But I'm sorry, what, what, what's the point he's making here? Like, what's the contradiction he's trying to point out? Good question. Because apparently it's self-evident. Let's see. In all that time, she survived. Yeah. Yeah? I feel okay. like yeah. reveal all kinds <laughs> of things apart because we're not really... So that's, that, so that's what he did with the first few videos like of Omni. He wouldn't say anything. He would just play reaction clips like that. Well, like, after oh. hearing his mic, I kind of guess why he doesn't talk. His, you know, I mean, his mic, his audio quality, we're going to see this, wasn't as bad as it is now. I don't know what happened. Oh. I don't know what happened. It deteriorated as his brain function deteriorated. A 1920s I mean, radio <laughs> sounds better. <laughs> I can't um, believe in 1977, guess. Dark Thor lost his microphone. Substantive information. Most of what I just said was pure speculation because that's all we really have to go on. Oh well, so I can clear this we up. The speculation was what I just speculated. Is that yeah, true? we um, yeah. like I mean, every, well, I every this, everything this... I had to infer about Riva's backstory was never in the show. That speculation. Well, no, no, yeah. hang on. So let's just let's just do the. I want I want to make sure we actually address his shitty shitty points as well, right? So the first one when he flashed up Anakin, and his point is basically like, well, if Anakin can survive, why can't Riva? I was like, well, there's several differences, right? The first one is that Anakin is like the chosen one, but the second thing is that like he didn't, he wouldn't have survived had the Emperor not turned up with a full like contingent yeah. of to high tech well, so, medical Reva, gear to save his life. Riva was left for dead in the Jedi Temple. She lightly, she laid there presumably for like several hours, if not days, uh, and she never received any like sufficient medical attention. So like the fact that she survived Order sixty six is damn near impossible because she was yeah, stabbed insane. in like the chest. No, it's all right. She had two stomachs. It's a flesh wound, <laughs> but a scratch. And then I guess the speculation thing is—is is I, I, 
I'm trying to think like what the most bad faith take would be and go from there, right? Because that's probably what he's doing. Yeah. I think what he's saying is like he's going, oh, you were just speculating, and therefore your point is bullshit. It's like, well, no, because the speculation was in aid of pointing out how stupid and well, the smaller asking, circumstances would have to be to survive. He's asking what speculation I'm even making, and it's like it's pretty clear because no, no, I don't I think he is. Within the show. I don't, yeah, I don't think he is. I think he's, how she survived and it needs to I be think he's just, um, one of those ways. I think, no. I think he's just raising an, 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 an like he's annoyed that you are speculating. Oh, I don't think he's so asking he, what you're speculating so, about. Okay, so what he's saying is that like, oh, so none of what you said is fact because the show didn't give us enough information. So why are you criticizing it? Yeah, well, I think that's what yeah. he's saying. Self-explanatory. But like, <laughs> yeah, I guess. The, the problem is that we didn't get enough information. We don't know anything about how she survived, how she joined the Inquisitors. We don't know anything. We just skipped yeah. over a like a huge part of the story oh, yeah right? he's basically being like well there is not enough information so don't criticize well, the lack of information because you don't well, have information well, I, to go I think off it's incredibly simple. simple how does dark Thor not realize the that side of the force is halfway to many abilities we, some consider to be unnatural what are we allowed to criticize then if it's if we can't criticize it when there's not enough information absolutely what? nothing like, there, like basically any plot contrivance could theoretically have some explanation that makes sense but the problem is They're that like close to well yeah. Yeah, like, you can't you can't criticize I mean, Palpatine oh, coming back from the dead and Rise of Skywalker. Like he could have had special cloning stuff off screen. Yeah, I'm sure he, he had some continuity. <sighs> I guess. You know what? You know what? Zemo, he had some moles in the JCTC. That's why yeah. he convinced everyone that he was yeah, the yeah. actor. It's yeah. like, yeah, you can speculate anything to make sense, but like we're talking about what's actually in the film. We're talking yeah. about Obviously, what's in the Zemo show. has magic Jedi powers and he used Jedi mind tricks on the guards so that they wouldn't realize that he actually this isn't the be there. Is for you're looking for. <laughs> Well, he had uh, patience and experience, and the man can do anything with those things. So, you know, that explains it. Fair, yeah. I hadn't considered that. It'd be until at least after the massacre was over, I'd imagine. And somehow, without any medical treatment and all that time, she survived. What? Those are what about isms? Fuck off. Yeah, but that's a problem, too. Are we saying she's that the, she's oh, the, no. the fact you that Darth Maul survived? Uh, so should we talk about Darth Maul coming back then? Yes, I guess. That's yeah. Yeah. It was, Darth Maul should, should never have Maul come back. back. Darth Maul let's never should have come back. Let's one at a time. Darth I think Maul we're all in agreement dead. here, but like, yes. let's one at a time this. Okay. Should, How are we doing it? If we're going to bring, like, bring him back, um, which I don't think we should, but if we're going to, at least explain it, and the show didn't. But also, it's bullshit anyway, because there's no fucking way he survived with everything. He got fucking cut in half. He fell down a, a shaft. He was carried to, like, a different planet, I guess, he presumably on some kind of, like... Yeah, like, what? He, he, he was no. fell. He he, he, the terminal velocity there is no surviving that. No, you down. see, he survived because dark side users, they're more powerful, the angrier they are. So he just oh, got... Sure. He thought... He uh, thought of, he well, thought unironically, of a TV show. Unironically, he thought of a star. Unironically, that argument I think started with Darth Maul. I mean, technically with Darth I know, Ion, I know, like, I know. He, yeah. what I'm saying is, he he thought of a TV show that someone criticized, and he got really mad over it. He's actually a huge Terrier super fan. So. He survived. He survived on that. Yeah. <laughs> like just yeah. again, so, just to simplify this, right? Again, like Darth Maul coming back is a problem. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, if you're going to raise this and be like, "See, but they brought this guy back," I'm like, "Yeah, that's also but, bad." Yeah, that's, that's, what what they, that's what people. Yeah, it's still a problem. That's what people you just like to do. People are like, "Well, Palpatine came back and rise of Skywalker. M Maul came back." Like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, these are bad. He's no, a terrible. Let me ask you a question. And here's the let me ask you. You're pointing to other bad writing, and you're. L let me ask you a question, though. One. For example, like just so Maul coming back, it kind of establishes like a precedent. I mean, like, oh, you can't survive a thing like that. Would it not stand to reason that later on other people would be able to survive things like that? So, like, for example, right, you, see, you, you have a character... You have to look at context, like, right? Well, let's just finish my point. It's basically, like, you have a character who's, like, a normal human, and they get stabbed through the chest, and normally that person would have died in any normal circumstance. And we know they're human, we know the durability. Like, for the rest of the like the film or the TV show or whatever, like we know that humans don't usually survive things like that, but that human did. So would you say that after that, that character um, surviving things like that would be consistent or would you just be piling onto the problem? Like would it establish a precedent or would that, just be bad I would, writing? I would consider that piling onto the problem because yeah. then what happens to stakes? Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyone um, can just come back. I mean, to yeah. use a really no, I agree. Yeah. To, I'm to use a really extreme example of this, right? There's, uh, I don't know if anyone here has seen Sicario 2, 
there's yes. there's a moment in Sakai yeah, there's a moment in Sakai yes. too where someone get, gets shot in the fucking head and mm-hmm. they come back later in the movie and the explanation is the bullet went through their cheeks and missed all the vital bits of their head. <laughs> and you're like I can oh, by the way technically by the way, possible, but Jesus. By the way, uh, he had a bag over his head, so the person shooting well, him couldn't have seen where yeah, he was being It was shot. not intentional. Well, the thing is, that's just like, I guess, extremely unlikely, but I guess it can happen. The example I would use is, is Kingsman. Have you guys seen Kingsman 2? Oh, yeah. 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 The headshot, yeah. Goo. Yeah. How do you recover <laughs> from that? It. Yeah. Goo. Right Special goo. Oh, my. It annoyed Special me so goo. much. It, not only that, they brought <laughs> back the character that died in the first film as well. But and he was fucking wasn't, yeah, I haven't seen Kingsman 2, but I've seen the first one. I know it what is, character you're referring to. It's Yeah, ridiculous. Kingsman 2 is awful. Kingsman 1 is great. Kingsman 2 is garbage. I will say, yeah, I, like the, the, I like the King's shit. Man because the post credit scene is the funniest shit imaginable. <laughs> oh, that's the most <laughs> unhinged thing Thanos I've ever seen in my life. Thanos post credit scene teasing Hitler as no, the... No, like, but you know what the funniest thing King's is? Is that the rest of the film was like so bland and boring and then we just yeah. have like a, the weirdest fucking thing. It's like, they're, you're setting up Hitler. <laughs> what? Steve um, Hitler's that, the Thanos figure. It's great. I that film was such a tragic so waste of Ray Fiennes and Matthew Goods. <laughs> like, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. You know what though? I will say the uh, the the um, the World War the, the the No Man's Land fight scene was pretty fucking badass. Not yeah. gonna it, lie, it just seemed completely out of place in that film. But yeah, I I agree. I it was like it was yeah. it was a highlight. Um, yeah. I was, so Darth Maul. Um, all I have to say is the <laughs> one saving grace of this is that unlike Palpatine, it doesn't really affect the mainline Star Wars saga. Because well. if you don't, well, hold on. If you don't watch the Clone Wars and you don't watch Solo, it's right. fine. As far as you know, <laughs> he's dead. But if you go through the mainline Star Wars episodes, like, well, it ends with Palpatine just somehow surviving. I'm not mm-hmm. saying. I'm not saying this is making it good. It's just yeah, like it's just ah, a lesser impact. Although if you do try to do like race. just a movie marathon, you want to include the anthologies, but you didn't watch the Clone Wars. You skip. Oh, over then you'd that. be. You'd and you're so like, what the fuck? Lost. Why is he scared. here? Somehow Maul returned. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, you have no like idea what lengths movie? he went to to stay alive, fueled by his by singular singular hatred, hatred, hatred for, for you. you. But yeah, I, I mean, wanted I, to show my friends Solo when we were doing like our like Star Wars uh, sort of marathon, but the issue was is like, even though it's my guilty pleasure movie, how do I explain that fucking ending? You just you just <laughs> got the movie before that. Yeah, just, yeah, and and then I missed like the fun little like uh, the Sabak scene at the end, and like I don't know, it's just okay. It's like on, if I'm... you watch Supernatural, just don't you have watch to... the finale. You know, yeah, dude, get 19. a rip. Press the get skip rip. button. Actually, if you're watching Supernatural, just stop watching after like season five. five. Yeah, right. but uh, I get mean, a, get, get a rip like... of the movie. Put in your editing software. Edit out that <laughs> scene. Render it. There you go. Yeah, yeah, if you cut out that scene, work. you could just have it to be like, oh, she's leaving Han. I don't know why. It's, it's, it's ambiguous. I guess that's fair. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I'll do that. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I've do thought that. about doing that to like a few things. Like, There's an episode of Doctor Who that I think could genuinely be good if it was just re-edited yeah. and you cut out a few shit. It's just uh, Rings of Akaten. I don't know if you guys watched Doctor Who. Here's how I would do oh, my yeah. personal edit of something like, say, Kenobi. I would have had it where basically... Um, I would just delete So the, the first episode, <laughs> at about one second in, I'd clip that to one second second before the end so it's just two seconds of a black screen yes whoa that, that would be objectively better way. so yep <laughs> I think you'd be hey i take nothing over actively destroying something editing. all right yeah. most of what i just said was pure speculation because that's all we really, really? have Oopie, why are the you? crap really? like that wait what <laughs> it's on the screen Oopie, are really? you using Oopid, are you movie really? for his phone I mean, I guess. can't Why argue no. with that logic. She what was the very. What kind of garbage that guy is? This? I'm just the guy. The guy. The guy. Uh, he talks like Yoda. Oopid, are you <laughs> really? really? <laughs> this is like you know the 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 Instagram page like a crop boomer memes. This is like that, yeah. but like ironically, oh, yeah. like he's doing it. Like when people yeah, do it genuinely, it's so much Twitter. funnier than the, like the the meme because people are just that stupid. It's great. This Everyone on the ca- on the it count of three, bad. say it. One, what? two, Wait, what are we just creation one. one. 
that I'm was sure very, sounded great very, very nice. Speak. We well, I, I, I didn't, I didn't know what we were going to say. I, yeah, I, I wasn't gonna, sure. I, I was, I, to, I was about to start going. <laughs> really <laughs> stupid? Are you? you kind of really? assumed that we were understanding it. Damn, everyone's out of the loop on the meme. Well, there's so many memes. I just didn't know which one you were picking. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought you said you meant that we were gonna read what was on screen. The really oh, open, yeah. Yeah. really, because that all for right. me would have been funnier for us all to say at the same time. <laughs> right. you know, it's funny. Go on. What? Star Why are we what? showing a picture? <laughs> 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 <What? laughs> <laughs> Look I at was, him, he's crying. Is that a fucking Star Wars crying. theory? Yeah. I was 22, I like, never Star Wars. He's, he's is this a Star Wars theory fucking thumbnail? <laughs> I think it what is. is the arrow? New rock stars type his thing. He's playing his tears. How oh, is this real? <laughs> I guess I'm just stupid then. I guess, I, I guess he, he's just showing any, like, he just picked a random picture of Anakin that he had, like, on his phone or something. Because he's trying to say Anakin surviving is also, but it's yeah. like, again, we already Anakin kind of Anakin survived that. something that real humans wait, have survived. Wait. People have had their limbs severed and have also had their flesh catch fire. Wait, I, so I like, know. And even know. then, I'm not a huge fan of it. Steve, I still I don't know. particularly love and it. Even still, he was also permanently debilitated, even though they were using the most advanced medical t technology. Yeah, he didn't just walk it off. Universe. Right, I'm also Maul is still he perfectly legs, capable. Yeah, he of was like cut in half. See what the rest of his Maul life. Right, guys, I, I was you better. can lose your life. He like, it is took possible. down Savage with his leg. Like, right. Yeah, exactly. This was so an upgrade I know, for him. Vader I know, I... was permanently fucked, but Maul got better. I guess somehow. Sorry, I know. You go ahead. I know why Dark Thor is pointing to Anakin's teardrop because it's somehow surviving in the atmosphere of Mustafar. <laughs> okay. Instead of just instantly evaporating. God, how hot must He's it inside. be there? I never thought about it really. No, they should have just in the building. Cooked. Is there AC on that? If it's on, on, on a hallway? lava planet, yeah. Well, you what? just go. Like, well, it's a Mustafar. It's great for a holiday. Get a tan. Get some black lung from I like all to, the I ash like to in the air. On the, on the ash beach. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm more than willing to assume that would be uh, an in, it's sort of an enclosed space, like windows there, you know, because it's uh, well, it's, it's shielded at that, at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Be until at least after the massacre was over, I'd imagine. I hope that this music isn't like copyright. Like I, I, I really will get so. oh I don't the think Benny Hill theme. A lot of YouTube. I think it's public. I think it's public domain now. Uh, I think because yeah. I, I think I even use it in my video in my second Kenobi video, so it should be fine. Oh, also <laughs> somehow. If, um... If the tear can survive in the atmosphere without being like evaporated, then his eyes should also like if, if that wasn't able to happen, then his eyes should have also shriveled up too. So yeah, well, and I think South Paul was mostly joking. joking. I, I was. He always joking. has eye drops. No on joking him. allowed. Okay. Fuck jokes. Yeah. Fuck that. Shit. Exactly. Jokes creation no, one. No, look, I I, I, I <laughs> just admitted. I just admitted under oath. I think that Anakin's teardrop should have immediately evaporated in Mustafar's atmosphere. He's under oath. I was Why under did no one oath. Check the tears? The <laughs> <laughs> no one checked the tears at the Sith Lord. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm just imagining like they pick up, you know, Palpatine goes to pick up the burnt carcass of Vader, and it's like before we let him on board, we have to check him just in case he's you hiding. Got anyone, TSA you know? checking Anakin's pants. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> before he... <laughs> Without any medical treatment and all that time, she survived. Yep, yeah, more Marvel. woke, my bad writing. Oh, you wait, 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 is he saying that you can Okay, okay. Let's break this down one by one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's break this down one by one. Maul is not half of shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's do this one at a time. Steve, you can allocate someone. Okay, uh, Southpaw, you go. Okay, so first off, Steve did not mention anything about her being a black or woman. Um, and also, this is what about him, and also. Fuck you. Uh, moving on. <laughs> yeah. Well, fuck you, Dark Thor. So yeah, no, yeah. I'm putting no my hand up. Can I talk? But he's just assuming that I'm that I'm a grifter and an alt right. So not even Twitter Barry thought that Reva was woke. So why would she? It's just the it's totally crazy. not that. Also, what is the injury that Reva was his favorite from? part of the show until? Yeah, he wasn't. thought Reva was good. tough. So all like, caps. So like I well, I want to I do want to break down a few of these because we already went over yeah Maul. I was about to say may I yeah we went over Vader <laughs> let's go ahead and go over Grievous and Dooku Jolly you take the floor all right so let's start with Dooku so Dooku didn't survive his injuries he got decapitated the um, <laughs> his worst dead? injury was well, getting his hands cut off which is something um, his worst injury was death so hold on yeah, hold on so, 
Grievous I, I have to cut you off there. I have to. Deadly. I have to cut you off there. So, isn't the canon explanation that Grievous is like a cyborg who like went through? Well, I was like, getting to that. Yeah, we're, we're oh, come oh, on. Yeah. He basically, sorry. <laughs> these are these are <laughs> hell. Himself. Like he wasn't. It's in, not in my EU, fault that you're incapable of bad faith. I will be fair. In yeah, the you. The reason that he's in these cybernetics is because he was he was in a bad like explosion and he had to. He was like well, on the brink. No, of no, no, no. Because like, that's the, not the even clone, true. That's not even the canon. Clone, yeah, the, the Clone Wars canon is that he voluntarily underwent massive surgeries in order to be able to compete with people. Yeah. yeah so, like, if we were going by the EU, then I then you might have an argument there. But even then, he had severe medical attention at, at like a at like a very state of the art place run by the banking clan, and uh, they they got him into a back to tank and they healed him up. And he was like this. He was on the cusp of death. So even then, you really don't have a case. And if we're going by the EU, he didn't even survive. He, he, well, his body was just reused and turned into a robot. Yeah, well, there was nothing left of him. What we're talking about is like the reason he's in these cybernetic implants because he's like, the uh, normal person. But he dies. It, he doesn't okay. survive even in the EU. He he doesn't. He just gets turned to a robot. There's nothing. So that's, just... that's after. I think we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's, right, that's, that's, that's afterwards. I think we're. So, I think he's if best faith he's alluding to in the EU when Grievous gets. Um, but then what's uh, he talking like, about with um, and then that's why he's in these Count Dooku. Oh, I wanted to I, don't know. I, have no, I have no idea I, with I, Dooku. I was about to actually ask about Dooku. I was like, wait a minute. The only thing he <laughs> survived was he had his hands cut off, which yeah, you can survive that. You can have your hands cut off. I mean, cauterizes your wound, so he wasn't even bleeding yeah. out. So also, I, to be fair, we, we, we have no idea whether he would have survived that long term. Maybe he would have died of shock if he hadn't been decapitated you know two seconds yeah, later. No, no, here's, here's, here's what they're going to reveal in Star Wars Episode Eleven. Somehow, Dooku returned. Dooku returned. His, oh. his, he survived decapitation. The the and and it's going to be his head in a jar. You joke, I'm, I'm but I pretty... keep expecting that in some Disney Plus series. It's well, again, Sheep, Sheep, didn't we literally make that joke in uh, when we were talking to Joe, right? Of like that, we were like, oh, that weird robot in the minds of Mandalore. Yeah. We're yeah, gonna crack open his head, and, it's gonna, and it'll be Dooku in there. <laughs> you might as well. It's gonna be like that meme of the Rock in Fortnite, where he opens his mask. It's just gonna be that with Dooku. <laughs> I have yeah. the biggest plot hole of all. Dark Thor claims to have taught like college classes and like he wrote like 50 articles slash essays or whatever, yet he's like allergic to using proper punctuation. Oh my god, I've changed Madvocate. He's a better man for yeah, all this it's, time. It's almost Madvocate. Madvocate, it's almost like he's full of shit. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> just just what? a bit. But yeah, I, so like, I don't want to. I don't want to say anything out of turn here. I don't want to make a bad faith assumption, but I think he might not be telling the the one hundred percent honest truth. Well, that's what? Shapiro As, Grifter. No, so. that's that's horrible. You but it should be it should be worth mentioning that he's specifically highlighting that uh, Riva is female, and that's why I take issue with her surviving because it's not like I any mean, male character survived massive injuries. Here's the thing. Even that's even funny me, without I, immediate medical attention. No. Yeah. Well, Darth Maul didn't, and that was stupid, and we already went over that. Um, Vader did. Grievous did. I wouldn't say Dooku that Vader had isn't even an example. I wouldn't say that well, Vader had immediate. Vader, it was like a, maybe a few hours. But like, and again, I've already said, I'm not even a huge fan of that. So right. like, what's this whataboutism when Here's I don't even thing. think that that's great? I'm an extreme racist great. and sexist, and even I think the Reva thing is just Whereas, stupid. No, <laughs> like, okay, so reason, like, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, so here's the thing, right? So if she had been on record defending this... Then Dark Thor might have actually had a point. The problem is yeah, Dark Thor assumed highlighting inconsistent standards. Right, yeah. but the problem is that Dark Thor assumed that Sheev was okay with this, <laughs> and then tried to to highlight this as well. Southpaw, I can explain why that works in his mind. So you see, in his mind is like, well, hypothetically, would she be okay? Oh, no, 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 he doesn't. Could, he could. That. No, but that's the point. He would <laughs> he think doesn't. hypothetically, but then he would like, but wait, but I don't believe in hypothetical. So obviously, he does think. You see, <laughs> <laughs> hypothetical can be too much in his brain. It's like my know, source is that I made reality, it the fuck up. <laughs> reality know, can be whatever the fuck he wants. wants. You, you know the concept of like, if you're a two dimensional person, you can't possibly fathom a three dimensional world. He thinks in two dimensions, so he can't possibly fathom <laughs> nuance. Yes. It's basically how it is. No, he just thinks he's beyond a non hypothetical being, and he can't think of the hypothetical dimension. 
What a fascinating <laughs> mind this creature has. Honestly, <laughs> that's <laughs> why we're doing this. It's funny. Yeah, it is. It is kind of anthropologically fascinating to like dissect the inner workings of, of the very shallow puddle that is this man's mind. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that, like, like researchers need to like search. Like, they, they need scientists need to research his brain when he dies. Like, he needs to donate his brain. <laughs> well, we, hang on, Southport. We'd have to find it first. <laughs> Yo, let's go. It's probably the size of a small peanut. I thought, I thought you, you said, said small penis. penis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, don't talk penis. about the size of his That's penis. That's the mean. It's right. He's hanging brain. His brain is so small that if we were to crack open his head, there wouldn't be enough to spread over a small water biscuit. <sighs> but yeah, so Dark Thor, I feel that. bad for yeah. your students. So round back to... <laughs> he doesn't have any. They're not real. Round, round <laughs> oh, right. To... Uh, Mad Advocate, are Dark Thor's students in this call with us right now? <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist, I am Dark Thor. Or, well, oh, shit. I don't fucking know. No, but so to round back to what Southpaw said, yeah, if I had ever been on record defending any of these things, then maybe he'd have a case. But instead, he just assumed that the, that these are things that I would defend. Right. It's not... we, have a, we have a term for that. Um, it's called bad faith. Yeah, so... It's. I don't think. Uh, hot take. I don't think that it is whataboutism if you actually have someone on the record of being inconsistent and you are pointing that out. Well, it's not. I mean, technically it but, is, yeah, but it's it's the good version of a whataboutism. I think. I think. I think that. I it would is say there's still nuance. I don't think here. even if she had def defended theoretically Darth Vader, the, the mm -hmm. nuance would be the fact that Darth Vader seeked medical attention. Well, uh -huh. so yeah, and, okay, so, and so, was the most powerful force user of all time, and yeah. didn't lose any of his vital organs, and was I, I, like only survived for a couple of hours. He lost I guess an would, arm and his legs, and that was I, it. It wasn't even his waist. What I would say here is, even if Sheev was being inconsistent, it wouldn't prove that he was wrong. However, it is a much more... being inconsistent, yeah. But it is a valid thing to counter that with. Like, so how I would do it would, would be is, so if, I, if, if Sheev had actually said something that I disagreed with, because I don't disagree with this statement, but if he had, if I did disagree with this, I would be explaining why it's not bad using a more solid argument and mm -hmm. then i'd be like so this it's not bad because of this and also you're being inconsistent with what you said in the past that's that's the s tier way of pointing out an inconsistency break we down don't. the argument first and then go also you're a hypocrite we don't do that here so mm. anyway let's continue Most of what I just said was pure speculation because that's all we really have to go on. Why is it pause? Why are we showing this? <laughs> yeah, Joe Boyega. Who is he? What the fuck fuck is your just a reaction oh, image, I guess. I, guess <laughs> I don't think he understands how to use reaction images. He's such a boomer, man. I mean, well, so even it, I'm a boomer. And I say, okay. so, Wait, it's supposed to be a reaction image? I think yeah. so because John he's like Wayne confused, like confused and bewildered in this. In this yeah, second, what she yeah, said. Yeah, that's how I feel about this whole goddamn. What I said was so bafflingly stupid that, that like this is his face when. Yeah. That, so, that's my face looking at this face reaction. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. there is. It's it's crazy to me because there is a way better like so it, it it conveys the exact same emotion but it's so much more obviously a reaction meme. It's this it's this one right here. <laughs> the first in Cat Guardian. <laughs> Just so uh, everyone can see, I'm gonna put it up on the stream, on the screen. Oops. Or not? Uh, on the star screen. I'm just, I'm just a bad person who doesn't. You're a fucking grifter, man. Yeah, Sorry. you just want money, fucker. You monster. How dare you Penis want money face. in this, in this, in this economy? Man, God, no one cares. Cockhole. I'm doing Sheev my best. Sheev is an irredeemable monster. Sheev, if I ever meet you in person, I'm gonna slap you with a dead tuna. Or well, whatever. I'm just gonna. I would uh, jerk you off with sandpaper. Okay, that's not too far. Hang on, is that better or worse than being? Is that better or worse than being slapped with a live tuna? Depends. Well, if it's <laughs> dead, uh, I, I actually, hmm, jolly. Because if it's a live one, I, you're you're adding your animal cruelty to that, surely. You know, I'm see, that's the thing. Though, I don't want to commit animal cruelty. I like, I like fish. Fish are cute. I'm getting, I'm getting flashbacks. Yeah, but killing too. the animal is, is a gross. No, I'll just buy one from the store. I don't know. I'm yeah. getting uh, <laughs> the guys like uh, where the guy like throws the fish back into the into the ocean. He's like, be free! And it, like, yeah, like, like, shucks it. My name is literally the sea. Like, I just, I just, I love the ocean too much. It can't hurt. I'm getting, so cute. I'm getting flashbacks yeah. to uh, whales. 
Jolly, did you I'm ever watch? I'm gonna poach your mother. Oh, Jolly, did you ever watch? Uh, what the, the fuck was the... that noise? <laughs> is that a moan? Don't worry, so I'll, I'll, I'll patiently <laughs> wait for you to be able to say your sentence. <laughs> yes. Jolly, did you ever watch the the uh, Jonah Veggie Tales movie? No, I didn't. Oh, know. Oh, that was awesome. no. good. Yeah, the the, the, the Vites so being good. fish slap. <laughs> <laughs> masterpiece that just came up into my mind because of that. so i made a video a while back on davy jones and there was some stuff involving like jonah and the whale and stuff and uh anyways all i had known about like since i'm not religious personally the only thing i'd known about jonah and the whale was from that movie so i had to ask <laughs> my friend who actually knows about the bible about that stuff but i was just saying like yeah is is, is veggie tales accurate <laughs> well, that means because I watched that as a kid, so that, that was my first exposure to the story as well. I actually remember I was, not even knowing it was a Bible story, and then like they started going over it one day in Sunday school, and I was like, "Oh, like from Veggie Tales." <laughs> wow, I, I was intimately familiar with the Bible story before I went and saw the movie. So, how about that? Well, that's you're older than me, you yeah. fool. Yes, because we're old. Yeah. Ah, yes. Old. Damn. Yes, we're Southport. We're the old ones, I'm afraid. Yeah. Am I the no? Because Sky and TK are here. I was gonna say, am I the youngest person here? Oh no, TK surely is comfortably the youngest. TK is like seventeen. Oh. Well, Fucking infant Jesus. Wait, yeah. wait. How old is Navicate and C? Thirty. Oh, thank God, I'm not, I'm not the oldest. I'm not the oldest either. <laughs> oh, thank God. Navicate, how old are you? Thanks. This is important oh, for science. He's muted. Uh, song said my name. Sorry, he... quick I'm PP awesome break. Studio. I'm twenty-five. Soon. You're 25 nice. soon. Wow. Soon. I didn't, yeah. I can't believe that I'm older than Advocate. I can't believe that I'm well, younger he... than that. Uh, yes, I can. Advocate is the youngest here. He's 11. No. Fucking hey, <laughs> wait. I, I have a question. Know if people know that I'm, joke. Actually, I, I have an important question. Here. I have an important question to ask Advocate, who is on a PP break. Where's Poo Poo? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh my God. Batman, have you ever noticed that every PP time is Poo Poo time? Well, no, I got it backwards. That's terrifying. Yeah. Every poo poo time is pee pee time, but not every pee pee time is poo poo time. Why do you sound more like Skeletor than Riddler? Fuck <laughs> I was doing Joker first of all. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, you need, we need, we need SK for that because SK has just mastered his impression of the Joker by by doing a wolf impression. <laughs> what? Oh shoot! Oh god! Oh, god. Someone's got a fan blowing. Oh god! The oh, helicopter god. outside. Good. I can't hear oh, it. Um, Chief, by the way, uh, Odin's in the chat wanting to join. Oh, yeah. What well, tell see? him to just freaking... Hang on. I got this. You joined both. Wait. Where's your icon, Odrin? Yeah. Yeah, Bitch. You, you fricker. You fucking... All right. Fucking All right. Frick Odrin. Fricks. Odrin. Odrin. You freaking fricks! Odrin, just... just have oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Odrin needs Odrin, to know... Just, just, all right, Odrin, shut up. Don't say anything. You will echo into your voice. So what you need to do is you need to go into the Streamlabs. You need to go into your settings. Streamyard. You need to pick, sorry, Streamyard. Sorry, Streamyard. You need to go into your settings. You need to click uh, your audio settings so that um, uh, your speaker is something that you're not using while you're actually you're using your actual headset in Discord. And she will have you muted in Discord, but he will hear you through Streamlabs. Okay? Yeah. That way the audience can hear you. The audience will hear you, um, and then there won't be an echo on Sheev's. It's a very complicated process. Yeah. Also, yeah. you might you might want to give yourself a like a like a profile picture. Yes. Just a thought. Anyway, I'm Ooh, playing. The why video do we now. have to do this complex system? Because, yeah, I don't. I don't know why. Why. I just usually use Discord on Nico. Yeah. Well, I am. Slept, and I don't know how this... to, I'm a bad. I'm bad at things. Um, is just how really bad at everything. Sheev, I've He's a thought player. like Madvocate and Shandy and every. And then, and once you've got that situated, just click the the watch together link. This is how Sheev is able to like have this watch together playing like in the Streamyard for. Just, sorry, yeah, on Streamyard, uh, for his audience while also hearing us. Yes. I believe. Yeah. Okay, whoever's got a fan going, uh, can you? Can you yeah, turn that, turn that shit off, please. Thank you. That's so better. Much. Yeah. It's, okay, because I, I like I have no AC in here. So. I well, I do apologize. If you want to like, work like a like a mute system, like you like push to talk or whatever. That's too much work. Um, Open a window. Yeah, I don't know. It's we're hot just, here. We're just swelter. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna fucking die. 
All right. Take a close Learn, to, do Learn to suffer for all right. your craft. You know what? You know what? Put Sarah in the chest. Why not? Take your, take your clothes off and just time. do a sauna, all right? Just just go fucking naked on stream. <laughs> yeah, you're well, not like camera's not on. That's yeah, true. It's not like anyone can see you. <laughs> Yeah. I, I mean, other, other than the, I mean, other than the neighbors who are peering through your window, they can sit see you, naked but... on my nice chair. I, you know I could I mean? be the like, only one wrong. clothed out mm -hmm. of all of us, for all I know. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that so much. I'm gonna leave it ambiguous whether or not I'm wearing clothes. Jesus I mean, Christ, only, Steve. I mean, the only clothes I ever wear are the bowler hat no, I'm just and the monocle. Palpatine in his underwear. <laughs> 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 I'm just like over here in my fucking sweatpants and my Star Wars T-shirt, man. Like. Do you think Palpatine's ever slept in and just like just ha laid in bed while the Empire was just running itself? I mean, we saw yeah, Duke and Palpatine. Yeah, that's basically all. Of oh, yeah, that's what emperors do. Entire yeah, world. it's ready to conquer it and it run itself. Yeah. yeah. All right, is just to make sure is right. everyone in the watch together? Because I'm, I'm about to hit play. Yeah, we all are. Yes, are I'm dying together? for more Dark Thor. Please. Oh yeah, Sorry. hello, Dark Thor be until at least after the massacre was over i'd imagine and somehow without any medical treatment and all that How time she see this survived. Clip, i don't oh know God. he's just gonna keep playing it i know he does this for the first couple of videos just let's it's just is so he one about us being Wall well, invader are speculations what oh my god what, does that even mean? what does that mean what? explain like yourself what, fucker he doesn't understand what she meant by speculation He's like, uh, I wonder how she survived, but I, uh, so, these are the ways she could have survived. Saying, does he think I'm saying that Reva surviving at all is is, is, is speculation? No, I think. So yeah, I no, she think didn't survive. She is like hallucination. Is Reva if I were to be best right faith, <laughs> if I were to be best faith, the thing he's saying is like, so her, the way she survived is speculation. Except we have characters who have survived before. And so you don't have to speculate. You can just be like, oh, they, she survived because these other characters survived for the same reason they survived. Which is speculation. So you, that's that is speculation. a form of speculation. Yeah, because that's an inference. <laughs> Does he just say the word I don't. An inference is speculation. Yeah, I, I just tried to best faith him, and then I realized he's fucking just dumb. Doesn't Sorry, work. my bad. I'll, <laughs> I'm not trying to defend him again. I'm going to see if, he, I'm gonna see if he's uh, like... Uh, responded to my my DM on Twitter, like saying, "Hey, you know, you're still welcome to come on." Inviting, mm. indeed. Uh, Sheev, you're way too friendly with him. Jesus. Oh, I, I just want to. Well, I think it'd be I hilarious. What honestly. happened? What happened? Wait, what, what I miss? I just got disconnected for a second. Oh uh, well, where we were watching the, the video. All and... invader are speculations now. Yes. Yeah. Basically. What does that even mean? Good question. That's a good question. <laughs> them surviving is good speculation for another time. But are you are you in the watch together? Or are you all? Yeah, are you I am. The, okay, it was just cool. Discord. I got disconnected Let's for a second. Do Here's this. the thing: like you, you, you're seeing this out of context, so it doesn't make sense to you. But we're seeing it in context, and it doesn't make <laughs> and sense. It also doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's. Uh, so we're all in the same boat here. It just it's just we have different <laughs> perspectives. Look, maybe okay, 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 don't pause him. He's let him way ahead of us. Let's yeah, I let would, him cook. I would absolutely kill, by the way, to see uh, this this version of Star Wars, but with with pirates, space pirates, RRs. Oh my God! Fuck <laughs> wait, so, wait, so, 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 so essentially, you're saying you're getting mad about a series about space pirates intended for children. Yeah, it's of course. Intended that's, for pirate that's, children. That's, well, wait, who, who the fuck said <laughs> that that Firefly was intended for children? The oh, fuck. <laughs> Was it actually? I've lost no. track at this point. I'm just gonna play. It. I don't know. Let him cook. Yeah, Let him cook. This is what I just said was pure oh, never mind. Because that's all we really have to go on. <laughs> how come uh, Vader how didn't just use the Force to catch? That's a good. That's an actual valid criticism. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Com. Why do you keep? Thank dark. you, crack. Com. What's that's with something. the whataboutisms? You're just assuming that I defend this. That's a problem <laughs> in Empire Strikes Back. Oh, crack.com. I wonder if this guy. <laughs> I wonder if this guy thinks because well, he could make his own graphic. Like he has to take a graphic. Well, he must think that I think that the first six Star Wars movies are all perfect. Does this guy not I'm, seem to, to understand that, that we don't well, actually obviously have are. sacred cows? He, he's and we are trying okay to bring this up as like I'm trying to be you, you hypocritical, but like I, I'm con I'm more just confused what the fuck he's trying to say. Well, he's trying to highlight again inconsistent standards. Like, like I don't see I don't have a problem with this when I do. So I shouldn't have a problem with other stupid writing, which again is like, like we said, like that doesn't excuse the stupid writing. It's still there, nonetheless, whether or not you want to admit it or not. Yeah, 
This is it's, so all that would be is, doing is highlighting my inconsistency, but like it's not because I don't hold this position. So, what? okay, so uh, I'm up. sorry. Uh, okay, you I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Um, so, uh, in my video coming up, there is a point where I have to talk about when people are criticizing inciting incidents. I'm like, okay, it's fine to criticize co like coincidences that are driving the plot forward when a story is just filled with them. However, when it comes to the the coincidence at the beginning that gets the whole thing going in the first place, we call that an inciting incident. It's the whole reason the story is happening. We leave those alone. And, I'm, you know, I cite things like, um, I mean, the inciting incidents of Spider-Man and A New Hope. Like, no one in their right mind is going to complain about R5 breaking down when he does or the spider just happens to uh, bite Peter. No, I would it's definitely like, I would I, definitely complain about R5 breaking down. Yeah, when he does. Well, I, think is, I don't I don't consider that the inciting incident. Like I would say the yes. inciting incident is the space chase over Tatooine. You know what? Yeah. That, that, that might be won't capture cuz like we don't need to, what, yeah, that might be what, what, what someone what criticized SK it like about. if someone criticized it like why oh why are these people here? Why are they over Tatooine? Who is Leia? Who is Vader? Yeah, why the coincidence would be that I'm they sorry. get boarded of over Tatooine in the first place, their destination right. rather than earlier You're right. or later. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. So here's the thing. SK is the one editing the section, so I might have uh, just made a mistake there. Um he he includes the visual of R5 breaking down there. That might be I'd have to like relook at the section again. The point is, though, is like there are actually like legit coincidences where it's like, no, you leave those alone. And yeah. the the whole the whole point of just bringing these up is not to go what about them is like it's just to go no, this is part of the building blocks of storytelling. This is how all stories all stories have these things. So if you complain about an inciting incident and one thing just to make up some bullshit to complain about, then it's like, well, then your standard is untenable. Well, it just doesn't work. It's that. It's that theistic fallacy that that they like to they you know, hey, they're, like, they're like uh yeah. well, my argument and you, were, you were gonna you were gonna talk about the puddle yeah. fallacy yeah well, i was yeah it's the weak so, anthropic principle pov you're a you're a puddle and you're you you're waking up and, and you're sentient and you're looking around in this world and that's mighty convenient that you just happen to be in this this crater that's perfectly accommodating to your needs and like that's what that's how theists look at the world when in reality we're the puddle. We are this shape because that's the shape of the crater that we're inside of. Right. Yeah. You know, like yeah. that's the exciting incident of existence. And for some reason, people think that because the chances of us coming to existence in the way that we did in the Big Bang is so astronomically unlikely, that must mean that God did it. One of the, well, yeah, so that's a the fucking um, mistake. We're basically a mutation in a fucking petri well, dish. Yeah. To, again, to, to, you to, loves to, to make that argument. It's fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. to, to to put this argument through the ringer, right? Like to make it as tight as possible. So, if someone says, "Oh, it's really unlikely," you know, that of all, you know, the, the 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 conditions for life are just so perfectly fine tuned for us, isn't that like very unlikely? Doesn't that suggest a creator? And the response is, "Well, that would only be well." So the response would be, "That would only be true if this was the only universe, and the universe could have been any other way." Um, <laughs> Otherwise, no. We're just we, we are in this universe because this is the universe that is accommodating to life. So of course, that's the one that life. Yeah, you can only in. say can it's I unlikely if you have other heard. universes like, to oh. compare with, right? Like to be like, oh, yeah. there's oh. another universe that will, like another thousand universes. Well, no, no. It's, 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 if, if there are other universes, that make that defeats the argument. It, 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 for that argument to hold any water, we have to be the only universe, and the universe must have been able to be a different way than it is. Now, mm -hmm. hot take. Uh, so when there's an actual flaw, such as a character not doing something that they would be able to do and could be able to do and should be able to do and we have no reason to believe would he want wouldn't to wouldn't want to do it um you don't get to what about us in that like oh uh, so you complain about the gsg9 soldiers just closing the distance instead of shooting him <laughs> well this happens all the time in batman movies like yes it's fucking bad in those movies too that's the point yep. it, it like uh, closing the distance not equivalent to an inciting incident or, or uh, characters you're, surviving you're implausibly, these I'm things that sure are just not. Fascist, so I mean, yeah, oh. things, characters are surviving implausibly to things that just people shouldn't survive from. Is like that's not equivalent to the inciting incident. Like we're not talking about the building blocks of storytelling. Like clearly, this is just fucking shit writing. <laughs> well, you see, Sheev likes Empire, so he must not have any criticisms about. Yeah, it. I must think that the movie is. It's it, again, he's thinking in binary. I think the Empire Strikes Back is good. I think it's the best Star Wars movie, which means. There can't possibly be any flaws in that film. It has to be perfect. Oh. 
I mean, she, she and I literally, we had an entire phone call where we went through that movie together and we're like, we love that movie. We think it's fantastic. But there are two big plot problems that happen yeah. in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the the whole thing about the Empire following them to Bespin just doesn't work no matter which angle you look at it. I think yeah. that the uh, the Battle of Hoth is also really dumb. Uh, we could have a conversation about that sometime, I guess. Yeah, we could. Because I might I might push back against a lot of your points, depending. You might you on, might yeah. be able to you might be able to push back against me on it. Like I I'd be I genuinely have issues there, but I could be wrong. I'm willing to I'm willing for someone to prove me wrong, so I can say that the Empire Strikes Back is a better movie. I don't have a problem with people proving me wrong on that. Well, you're just mad. You're a liar. You're, you're a liar. You're a grifter. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Self poor. I'm lying so. through my teeth. <laughs> Southpaw's just a hater. Yeah, he is. He's held that. He held that fucking. Why are we doing don't this? Actually what think, is this? Why are what? we showing this? Why? He doesn't actually irrelevant. think that you would defend this, right? Dark Thor, uh, please talk. Let us hear those golden pipes, please. He knows I don't like the sequels, right? Does he think the only yeah. Star Wars thing I don't like is Kenobi? What I fucking love <laughs> is that I know yeah, that, that I know that for Sheev, the frame is different, but it's ended. <laughs> Let me show you the, the frame that we just paused on. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's literally the very moment. <laughs> thank, thank you, Chewbacca. He's just standing there taking it. <laughs> Visible, um, but it is it is touching Kylo. It's, it, sparks are flying now. Yeah, and it's I mean, like a second later. A second later would be when he would actually react. I'm gonna just yep, try to put that like on. like that. <laughs> Considering how far that that hits stormtroopers and makes them fly across the room, how does it? Oh no, he should be a fucking so little. Oh, don't should, you know the dead. Jedi? The Jedi have super durability. Yeah, he's, he's not, not a Jedi. Jedi. He's a Sith. Okay. They have super oh, super durability. Don't, don't yeah, even that open that kind of soldier who just has a fucking mind drop on his head and he just blows up into a bunch. Okay, did you get chunks. disconnected? Yeah, I, I did for a second. I'm back now. Okay, you're good. I love how yeah. whenever you talk about um, the Force Awakens, the people will both defend the fact that the gun shouldn't affect Kylo because he's got durability, but then also should keep him alive and the interim enough so that he can lose against Rey, even though the fight demonstrates that he's a gaining power from the wound because he keeps punching it, b has a full range of movements, and c has not impeded his ability to use the Force or fight with a lightsaber. So, well, shiny. It's having a I, I put it to, to. Yeah, I, I put it to you, shiny. That you haven't considered the idea that the bowcaster had read the script and knew exactly right. what it was supposed to do. Damn, did, you're right. Did someone? Did someone? Oh. Um, just put it on the lowest Sisu? setting. Did Bo someone just make a CC reference? Who? Did someone what? just make a CC like reference? reference? A CC reference. That that name mentioning a, right. a mine hitting a soldier in the head. Because oh, yeah, yeah. oh, that does C, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That happens in Sisu. It's a good movie. Everyone should watch Sisu. Yeah, because I saw a funny clip on Twitter, and it just hits him in the head, and he just blows up into a bunch of meaty chunks. I was just sort of <laughs> thinking, like, it, it's on this fucking great Twitter page. If you guys aren't following it, it's so funny. It's just, I think it's like a violence out of context. It's yeah, that, so that, funny. that that that's from Sisu, and okay, it's, a, yeah. it's a genuinely great movie. There's also this one with Bugs Buddy just clubbing a guy's kneecaps out of nowhere. <laughs> my my so favorite fucking vicious. <laughs> my favorite out of context violence involving Bugs Bunny is um is the one I think it's the it's the it's, it's like a new uh, short called I Want My Money. Yeah. Have you seen that one? I don't think Golly. so. No. Are you typing? Uh, I was. Yeah. Sorry. My apologies. All right. It's just when it, when you do that, it sounds like you are burying a dead body. Good. Oh well, wow! I'm definitely yes. typing. He's definitely not. Def- very very that yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely typing. I don't know why you'd think yes. it was a dead body. I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know why you'd think that of me, Sheev. What have you heard? I, I threw out. Did, I did someone talk? Who would talk? Uh, <laughs> I'm not at liberty to disclose that information. Oh, um, uh, also, okay. Also, also, can I mention something here? This whole thing is used as a defense for Ray beating Kylo. I should also mention that Ray is also thrown at like a tree at like. Uh, so hard that she should be dead as well. So I don't see how that could be used as a defense. At the very least, yeah, not her spine should be in seven choosing, pieces. We're picking and choosing yeah. like it, which yeah. injuries count. Sequel but fans, anyway. you know? Intelligence. But anyway, yeah, apparently I'm de- I am I defend this. Probably because Kylo's a white male. So, yeah. Hey, yeah. I mean, there's I no shame in being racist. 
I'm going to help until at least after the massacre was over, I'd imagine. And somehow, without any medical treatment and all that time, she survived. And most of what I just said was pure speculation, Kylo, because that's all we really have. Elaborate, motherfucker. That implies he's a sequel defender. Dark so that was, one, that that was the first fucker. video. Yeah, that's, this that's, is the next video. What? As we Jesus. all know, that was it. He said nothing. Yeah, As we all know, the dipshit said that was nothing. So bad. Jesus fuck. And I thought my videos were shit. That was one of the worst things I've ever seen. What a waste of time. <laughs> it's just your video with the fucking, like, yeah, Steve, copy song. strike him, please. This is just a real. That would be funny if you did. Honestly. He is literally <laughs> just stealing your content. I, I just realized something in episode all. three from if the I, clip that just came up. If I cared at all, I probably would, but I just don't. Dark Thor is a professor, yet he doesn't know what fair I mean, use like, is. If someone, Stop if saying that. It hurts <laughs> my soul. If someone <laughs> took my entire Kenobi video and uploaded it in full and was getting, like, monetization from that, I'd be like, fuck you. I'd get that taken down. But, like, otherwise, I don't care. Oh, my God! He just yeah, broke his arm! Forward. What the he fuck? He has, like, an audience what? of two people. This goddamn video that was said in the chat. Holy fuck, that's violent. Oh, my <laughs> God! <laughs> Jesus! Oh! Ew. He just broke his fucking neck! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just an average trip to the chiropractor. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's an actual cartoon! What the fuck? <laughs> I feel awful for bugs. What the fuck? Jesus, Jesus <laughs> Fuck. All right. Anyway, that's that's, that's <laughs> what I'm doing to freeze. Nobody check your car at the border in a week. I'm Holy gonna fuck. I'm going to save that. <laughs> let me um. Uh, oh my god. Steve, let me let me try Jesus. to get find the uh, the actual short on on HBO Max, and I'll um. I'll send it to you without a watermark on it. Oh, Wait a minute, please. what's, oh what, what's on screen now? What, what's that? Sheev accused me of media literacy. Let's put that Accuse your charge to the test. How well does he charge. know Star Wars? All right, we're doing some trivia. Let's go. Hell yeah. Whoa. Fucking do this it's shit. Obi-Wan responds with the classic memed line from Revenge of the Sith that everyone remembers. I will do what I must. Before turning on his lightsaber and striking that signature pose. Yeah, baby, give it to me. Check all those boxes, you dirty <laughs> whore. And there's Holy more shit, play. damn. Andrew, you got me bricked up, Sheev. Then you will die. Which fans of Rebels might find familiar. Then you will die. I hope they even make the whole thing You're... Rebels so they cut his helmet in half to have the face underneath. It's mm -hmm. almost as if they're taking all the best parts of one of their few somewhat adequate shows their and using it here. Yeah. They're and sacred they cow. Recycler. Well, yeah, they pretty much because they can't come up with anything new that's good. So they I ran out of things to steal from the other thing. thing. There we go. Hey, well, I tried to take K to SO and mince him up into the droid from Solo, and it just didn't work. Yeah, pretty much. And then don't forget, she's back in Indiana Jones and Dial of Woo! Destiny. <laughs> I can't wait for that. It's going to be a massive. I can't thing. wait either. Oh my God. I can't wait for it to only make $300 million while needing a billion to break even. It's going to be so much fun. You're just a grifter. Oh. I'm a grifter. I want Lucasfilm dead. Damn. A few mm. moments like this throughout the fight, and really throughout this entire episode, where the show blatantly rips off aspects oh, of Odrin got disconnected again. Up. That sucks. Mm. Uh, maybe he'll be back. Um, their movies and shows, whether that was for ironic reasons or because they're actually good, well written moments. Hello there. But no matter the case, they just come off as cheap and hollow here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So no this audio. is what we're. What? This is what we're. I remember what, what this video is now. Now he's gonna show me that like Star Wars references other things sometimes. Okay, that, okay. that has nothing even to do with your point at all. That's not even remotely related to your point. Yeah. Well, but now we get to watch. Some this, have elected so. to use the term parallels, but I think the word they're actually looking for is plagiarism. <laughs> There's a key difference between a parallel and straight up copying someone else's homework. Yeah. And I do think for the most part, the examples we have here are nothing more than parallels, as cheap and disingenuous as they may be. But when you have Obi-Wan slice off half of Vader's mask and beat for beat recreate the scene from Rebels for your own emotional payoff without adding anything new or of substance, then I don't know what else you want me to make of that. You're stealing from someone else because people People like that, and you're doing it under the guise of a symbolic callback. 
So again, okay. yeah, Star Wars references. Other Why things. is this relevant, Dark Thor? This has nothing to do with anything. Parallels, but I think the word they're actually looking for is plagiarism. These are references. This what isn't plagiarizing. Is this? Also, American, American graffiti, graffiti is one of George Lucas's movies. Yeah. Oh my god. Also, like, <laughs> whoa, a diner. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, the Never seen wheels. one of those before. And so like, Dark Thor just doesn't seem to understand the difference between plagiarism and an homage. An homage, yeah, that's what this yeah, it's is. It's like saying the the Cosmonaut. season two of Ted Lasso was just like plagiarizing after hours. <laughs> it's like it's Cosmonaut like thing. It's basically, you know, there'll be a visual reference here versus ripping the context. Because, of course, the context of American Graffiti is not being lifted because that would yeah. be a knockoff. But the context of Kenobi in that scene is pretty much the same yeah. context from Rebels. Context Ergo, is, it's you know, a like, ripoff. If the plot of Attack the of the Clones was literally just beat for beat the exact same plot as American Graffiti, then, yeah, we'd have a problem. Even even then, like, that is still George ripping himself off, so I don't know how how yeah. bad that would be. But, like, that'd still be pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah. A better but Kenobi is straight be up just ripping someone else's work. Took a line from American Graffiti <laughs> and shoved it into the the films. Yeah, but uh, no. th that would be just nicking the dialogue. But in the Kenobi scene, exactly they were, what they they were in Kenobi. like in the Kenobi scene, they were like, okay, so in Rebels, they cut like she cut Vader's mask in half, and they had like a heart to heart uh, with like one of his eyes showing. So let's just do that again, and we'll just we'll just tear what what the emotional beat was from that. Is someone using a razor? Maybe I am. Could be, yeah. <laughs> oh, yellow vehicle. What? Oh, yellow vehicle. God. What? Oh, this is from the reaction. This is from Yeah, this, this is, is from, from uh, Mueller's, Mueller's, from Mueller's video. video. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. thing is from Mueller's video. Well, yeah, so here's what I he'll do. <laughs> uh, here's, he, he does this with me, but he also does it with other creators as well. He'll just sort of play other people's clips um like as like back as like b footage while talking about about something like he i've seen a few of his videos on like on like as or nerd Rotic or whatever where he'll just be playing my kenobi video as a b-roll <laughs> oh yeah no he does that in that video <laughs> in, just a fucking video where he, he also talks starts about off. like i think the the wolf call or something i think sk's video <laughs> about the effect and about. there's the wolf call and then he just fucking cuts to my video like my video yeah. that i posted at the end of the year that's just called let's have a chat and he just has the fucking background playing while yep. there's like two screenshots on my fucking twitter it's just like so much <laughs> effort. one thing he does in, in one of these videos that we're going to get to uh it, just at the start of one of the videos about me he just plays a snippet from Mahler's Rise of Skywalker video, like with Mahler talking and everything. And there's no mm -hmm. reason for it. It has nothing to do with the rest of the video. I don't know like what goes through his mind when he makes these videos. I really, it's, it's an anomaly. But if you know, Southpaw, I went back and watched that clip of Bugs Bunny and goddamn, I'm so terrified. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, need you to sh I need you to show me in full that short because that's horrifying and I need to know if Bugs gets out of that alive. <laughs> yes, I'm actually well, kind of scared. I don't think so. It's um, I'm worried for Bugs Bunny. I'm worried for Bugs. I never <laughs> thought I'd feel that in my life, but I'm worried for Bugs Bunny. Oh, Odrin's back. Let's throw him in. God hey, Odrin. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Oh, it's Mummy Dummy. That's the name of the. That's the name of the short. So if you go to HBO Max and it's under uh, Looney Tunes cartoons, I think. Wait, um, that's a real thing. It's so not that's like, like a parody. That's like it's an official canon. This is an official cartoon. What the fuck? <laughs> dumb, yeah, season three, episode two of Looney Tunes cartoons. They could get more with a lot. You get to see then. Bugs Bunny just get fucking annihilated by, uh, by a mummy in, in very graphic detail. <laughs> That's well, the worst Bald Mountain you project. Shiny, well, I just well, saw your tweet. <laughs> while Night at Bald Mountain plays in the background. I mean, that song is pretty. It's it's dope. It's it's yeah. a it's a it's a it's a it's a great song choice. Yeah, uh, he deserved favorite. he deserved it. Let's be real. Oh All right, let's geez. let's let's get a move on, shall we? Wait, Chief. Someone in chat is asking about your Discord. They've they've been booted for some reason. So here's the thing. Uh, I uh I I I made a little funny, and I I'm already fixing it. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Did you so right, did proceed. you boot him? Maybe I accidentally might have been. <laughs> All right. Well, you you deal with that. I'm gonna. I'm yeah. Gonna no. Don't on. worry. They're 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 on band now. So Sam, you can you can rejoin. So I'll go. All right. Bro's kicking people from my server. 
Really hey, it was an accident. I was trying to prank him. Blatantly rips off aspects of things we enjoyed oh from God, this. Is, this song is from uh, Halo, right? No, I, I wouldn't. No, what I'm am I thinking sure. of? I know well, it's from. I know it's from. Um, it's a horror f game. Okay. Dark, no. I, well, the point is, I, I'm assuming it's not copyright because is it Dark Souls? was able to. <laughs> Dark Souls, that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know why I said Halo. Because those aren't even remotely the same Halo. Yeah, well, same same game. Game. I mean, yeah. potato, potato, really. I mean, Splatoon and Modern Warfare. That's the same yeah, thing. I mean, just, well, the point the point is like I'm assuming it's it's not like copyright or whatever because Mahler was able to play it in full at the beginning of his Rise of Skywalker video. So, yeah, I guess we'll just I guess we're fine. The other movie. Keep an eye on the stream health. Why, Django Aaron Unchained. What? Wait, but that's not. But that's not even part of it, it is, is, dude. Is he saying because Jang, like the name Django, exists elsewhere in media that this is a problem with Star like Star Wars oh. ripping it off? Django <laughs> Unchained came after Attack of the Clone. Uh, no, but obviously Django Thunder. Unchained is based on Django, the the well, old yeah, Western. Django film. is older than Attack of the Clones, but like, yeah, oh, he's, just sure. using, uh, like, he's just using a Django a Unchained meme to. Oh, but yeah, it's just a name. But it's, it's also just a name. Are we going to say that Luke it's Skywalker? A real name. Is, I didn't, I didn't Django know is a real, real name. Django. I didn't even. Real, I didn't know that. This fucking. This would be. Well, I guess that means that. Uh, it's, like, it's like, oh, you named your character Luke. Well, that's oddly. That I mean, you know, because like that's, that's a, a rip off name. from the Bible. That's from the yeah, Bible. That's from yeah. the Bible. You piece of shit. You fucking. Yeah. Fuck oh, George. Would be George amazing you if he used that as an argument. He's like, oh my god, Star Wars has been taking from the Bible. You named your character Boba. Well, that's a T. Well, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to defend, my, I'm my, I'm gonna defend the fact that I didn't know that the Django was a real person. Um, yeah, so it's, a, it's not a common fucking name. Like, who gives a shit if it's used? Doesn't, no, it's doesn't not, mean it's not anything. It's not the same Django as the film Django. It's Spelled not yeah, it's name, a completely yeah. different yeah. personality. Yeah. The, in Django Fett's name. The D is silent. Yeah. It's also Just, like... The D it's stands like, for Dark Thor. He's just not understanding that a reference is much be. different than plagiarism. It's just so it, annoying. It's like, oh, yeah, you're like using a, a like name? A, it's like a context that he's missing. Like a, because an homage is not the same thing. It's straight up. He's the kind of person. So, so in this situation, he feels that what they've done is that they've cut out with massive scissors bits and pieces and then stuck them together like they've been going through magazines and then <laughs> making that as a finished scene. If we're take, taking this as an example of other things that have done similar homages, the difference would be if you artistically drew the entire scene taking inspiration from other things, which is, you know, mm -hmm. your, your diner taking inspiration from, what, like, eight, 80s diners that used to be more common in America. It's, like, that, that's not even the same thing. N not mm -hmm. to mention, like... It, he thinks the, reusing the climax of something else has the same gravitas as just using a similar name. Or the same name. Yeah, oh. it's so fucking That's, and that's so fucking that's idiotic. You're a fucking idiot, Dark Lord. Yeah, did you know that they've had racing in other movies? So pod <laughs> in, What?! You know no what? way! <laughs> you know what? Uh, at least in The Last Jedi, the throne room scene plays out very differently from how the throne room scene does in Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. That's closer to a parallel than plagiarism. Even yeah. the bombing scene, the bombing scene Ryan Johnson uh, liked was from Pearl Harbor. And if you compare the scene from Pearl Harbor and the beginning of TLJ, even if the bombing scene is fucking dumb as shit, it's, it's still original. It's you still can't, an it's, homage, it's an original yeah. scene. It's, it's, it's an homage. They haven't just cut and pasted it. There we go. Yeah, we I'm finally like... found something positive to say about The Last Jedi. It took us Whoa. five fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the rebel? I mean, scene? it's got redeeming qualities. Like it's, I mean, there was it's the, well shot. It's got the was, one scene. Yeah, with the, there was the scene well, where the uh, and then hmm. no, remember because then Finn. But there was also the. Uh, well, there was that part in the in the third act, right? Where don't there was that one that, explosion uh, that looks hmm. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Luke I, looked out at the twin sons when he died, and I clapped. I clapped at that, and when he chugged <laughs> sludgy green milk. It was beautiful. Right I when Wu was got three TIE fighters in one shot. Homage. That one kid used the force to summon the broom. Woo! Oh my god, bro. He inspired a new generation of Jedi. Woo! I it's love how you've all become plain It's Basil Oregano. <laughs> Played by Jimmy Smith. 
She's uh, Leia's non-biological father. Space <laughs> World War II bombers. I'm gonna come. Jimmy Smith is in Dexter, and every time I rewatch Dexter, I forget that he's in that show, and I'm like, oh god, that's Jimmy Smith. <laughs> really, throughout this entire episode, How do you come where up the with Basil Oregano. Came, that was that was RLM Red Letter in their uh, Rogue One yeah. video. Oh, I don't watch their shit. Oh, shit. Well, really wow. funny I was just about, watching about, like, fan service. their newest oh, parents, the best yeah. of the worst. S- Basil Oregano, played by They're Jimmy Smith. S- Sophistic Autistic is asking, <laughs> what's this all about? I said, it's Dark Thor. And he says, Just Creations? That's a name I haven't heard about a long time. Oh, Sophistic <laughs> Autistic, do you have do you have history with him? <laughs> he apparently does. I think oh, everyone wonderful. does. He really does just go around accosting people, so yeah. Yeah. It's it's one of those things where it's like one in five people have met Dark Thor. He fucking he became like... friends with Twitter Barry because Twitter Barry was hating on Madvocate. Oh, it's that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. And they were they both agreed. agreeing that Kenobi's better than Andor. Yeah, yeah. We were like, oh yeah, in the Snyder Cut, we love it. It was so funny. I was like, oh my god, of course these two would be friends. You both are the same. It's horseshoe theory because they're like on the opposite side of oh, the yeah, political definitely. spectrum, but like, oh, but they're Vincent just Martin. Equally yeah, dark. there is some serious Dark Thor lore. Yeah, we're we're catching you all up on it now. That's what's happening. Yeah. All right, let's go. Soft aspects of things we enjoyed from the other. I really do want to get through the first two videos because after this, he really does actually start talking in the videos and making real points. Well, <sighs> points is a generous term, but he, he, he makes arguments. No, honestly, he might better off. He might be better His off. Content is just hold on, hold on, hold on. Even if you want Sophistic, Sophistic replied and said, kind of. I got hate because I felt bad that Patrick Willems got a copyright strike on his video, and he said that I couldn't. I couldn't feel bad about that because I'm a Mueller fan, so I can't feel. I think that was him. Anyone that's ever been like a fan it. of Mueller cannot feel. You are, un- un- you are an unfeeling, unfeeling, inhuman piece of <laughs> shit. Oh no, God. yeah, he, he actually thinks that. He thinks if you believe in objectivity, that means like you can't have like subjective Feelings. opinions on anything. <laughs> and, like emotions. Guys, wait, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. So basically he oh. thinks it's like being a Vulcan. Yes. Okay. That's exactly what Patrick uh, Willem seems to think. People yeah. are you guys are fucking mind. idiots. People are mm. not logical, okay? I wish you could see <laughs> what I see. Which is funny because all human beings follow some form of logic. Yeah, yeah it's impossible. We are not, every we are not purely well, yeah. emotion based. We would never get anything done. Well, we're not always right, but so we can follow some Asians. form of logic. No, it can only be one or the other. He was not always do the right thing. Because again, he's thinking in a binary. You guys, you guys have seen. Binary. You're either logical or you're or you're emotional. You can't be both. You guys, you guys have well, seen. Well, this is the. Come um, to Patrick Willems using that logic. I could walk up to someone and punch him in the face, and the logical. So if he wasn't being illogical, he would function by uh, dancing a jig and being incredibly happy. <laughs> <by focusing>. <laughs> <laughs> they don't work on logic, do they? You know, it's weird they used that exact argument yesterday. It's freaking me out. Well, anyway. <laughs> So was that yesterday? Guys, the day before? You guys have seen uh, yesterday. Um, I, I think we when we had a talk about objectivity. <laughs> Let's South Pass. Uh, I, I South used the same example for that some people art. work on logic. Right. You guys, you guys gotcha. have seen planes, trains, and automobiles, right? No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, well, fuck. I, I'm I'm going to try my best <laughs> to paraphrase it. Um. Everything is not a battle. You have to discriminate. You you make <laughs> tweets that are logical or sensible or rational. You're a miracle. Your tweets have none of that. They're not even like rational accidentally. Honey, meet <laughs> Dark Thor. He's got some rational tweets. Here's a gun so you can blow your brains out. You'll thank me for it. I could tolerate any insurance seminar for days. I could listen to them. Go, sorry, I could I could tolerate any EFAP for days. I could listen to them go on and on. They say, "How can you stand it?" And I say, "Cause I've read Dark Thor's tweets. I can take anything." <laughs> Wait, wait. When Mahler goes to funerals, he feels no emotions he, and simply points out the flaws of the deceased. <laughs> <laughs> That's his eulogy. He's just well, like criticizing his entire oh, life. You know, what this, you know what this reminds me of? Did anyone ever see EFAP's coverage of Cinematic Venom? Where he's like, you know, my mother died yeah. and I felt nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of it reminds me of that part in Succession when Connor goes up to give the eulogy for uh for Uncle Mo and he's just he's trying to be very like non-controversial cuz the press is there so he's just like 
Mo was alive. His, name, or, you know, <laughs> yeah. like he, he just he gave very generic, like nondescript things, and and then ended it, and everyone just kind of looked around. <laughs> Has anyone here seen Succession? Am I the only one? I, I think it might be the only one. Halfway through season oh. two, I've well, not seen it yet. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Chief. I don't watch bad I shows. To, That's I why I don't watch it. Andor. God damn it. <laughs> Was just creations the same guy? Sorry, this is a this is a chat from Sophistic. Uh, she was just oh, creations uh, the same guy who thought Mahler was racist because he compared Poe to Zorro, and since both are Hispanic people, <laughs> it's racist. It, that does sound like fuck? I don't know. Yeah. 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 Poe to Zorro. I have no concept about that. That's that sounds... something he would say. So we'll just go with the S. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like that's just bad faith. Wow. Oh, something that he's never done before, of course. Of course, yeah. He would never assume. We would never stoop to his level. We we would never hypothetically (laughs) entertain the idea that Dark Thor was bad faith. What are we talking about? Yeah, he's he's great. He's a he's a good guy. I wonder what a great guy. What a good guy he is. He's a certified college professor. Why would you impugn his name? I wonder what Dark Thor's brain interprets when someone says hypothetically. Just kind of like. It just blanks that word. It's like when you try to, it, like when you don't speak a language and you hear people talking and you just don't understand. That's what happens when he hears the word hypothetical. Well, it just it just changes them oh, literally in his head. Yeah, it's just, it's just it literally. Stop working. Or it's like you know when like a T Rex can't see you if you're standing incredibly still. <laughs> he can't hear you if you say the word. Oh, I just, I just, if you're speaking hypotheticals, he can't hear you. Yeah. I just, I just have a, I have a thought, right? hypotheticals. Wait, hang on. I just had a thought, right? Like, it was if, if he can't deal with hypotheticals, then the, the figurative use of the word literally will melt his brain. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. I just realized something. We're five minutes and 56 seconds into a 44 minute long video. Oh, yeah, we, we need oh, to yeah, hurry. We need to shut yeah. the fuck up. For movies and shows. I need spaghetti soon, so. Yeah, I, I want to eat, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be here a while, so. Yeah. Why are you playing this clip? Explain Except yourself. Oh, Wait, so that's oh, lying in the people pay. dying. Yep. Wow, that's not even that's so not even Padme. Reference, so Padme was in in a medical facility. Factories, okay. Yeah. Factories exist elsewhere in media, guys. Did you know? And in in the real world. They just to be fair, period. I think it's been confirmed that it was. No, wait, no, it's not been. That that part was a uh, inspired by modern times, times not real world. But I think the word they're actually looking for is plagiarism. Three uh, characters three, exist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? With a what? woman in the middle. A what woman in the middle. Damn. That's a woman in the middle. Yeah. A woman in the middle. What the fuck? Woman in the middle is the spin They're off standing of next to each other in the shot. That sure is true. I. I I, I am a huge fan of the woman in the middle cinematic universe. <laughs> <laughs> Man, his brain oh my is insane. God. What, what brain? Fuck? What the fuck? That's a good question. There, oh, there, there, someone, like, someone, someone in chat cover. earlier a long time ago had said, like, this guy has 600 subscribers. You're wasting your time. It's like, how could we be wasting our time? This guy <laughs> clearly made this so people could see it. Like, I mean, we're just. I think we need to appreciate his artistic genius. No, yeah. he's autistic genius. No, that's even offensive to autistic people. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's sorry. an autistic person in chat. Well, also, I mean, you're autistic, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Me so you've got to pass. Oh. Well, <laughs> Dark Thor is in a league of his own. Anyway, so I'm just going to say the N word in the chat because I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, 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 no, he legitimately seems to think that, like, he legitimately seems to think that Star Wars just plagiarized like the idea of like love triangles and three person like <laughs> trio, like just trio characters. I'm just, oh, that this was person, invented man. the idea of a threesome. Yeah, <laughs> no. they, they, they did. There were no threesomes before Star Wars. Wait until he finds out that that love triangles exist in real life. Anyone who uses the hero's journey is chopping the original. Chief, don't be stupid. Journey. There's no way this man's going to be in a relationship with even one person, let alone two. Oh, imagine. That's just sad. Imagine being someone that could like actually, that could actually understand Dark Thor. That could like meet him and then actually like understand what he's saying. It's like that part. I wonder what he's like in the Pikachu, real world. Like, wait, you can understand me? What would it? Be? <laughs> well, he, <laughs> yeah, like, shiny. Well, imagine, he doesn't live in the real world. Imagine being like a romantic partner for this man and having an argument oh, with God. him. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, no. oh hey, you know what? what? <laughs> the misrepresentation. The oh, my God. Twisting every single word. That would be, I would never, I could never. 
Hopefully I think it's safe to uh, assume you guys have all seen like the uh, like Alice in Wonderland, right? Like the Disney version. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Silly, goofy, very, very bright and colorful and silly. I can imagine Dark Thor just fitting right in there. Just in a world <laughs> where nothing makes any sense. <laughs> He held on those graphics really long again. Yeah. Dark Thor, can you make a fucking point already? As a guy who works in broadcasting, I'm a little disappointed, honestly, seeing uh, graphics. Oh, yes, long. title crawl. Yes, it was okay. a reference ah, yes. to Flash Gordon. That's what this mm. is actually. But again, it's an homage. It's not ripping it off. It's not. Like, that's okay, like so, saying that's like saying end credits in a movie are ripping so off. If of Star Wars, movie. yeah, like what the fuck? If Star yeah, Wars, yeah, the very first movie is the blueprint. So yeah. Star Wars opening uh, crawl read forward chapter two following the wake of dictators war and rumors of a of war of ravaging Plagueis the wise the purple death is like okay you'd have a point there but you don't it's just using a similar style to then say something different yeah and I mean this isn't like so I guess by his metric any other uh, film that uses um like a title crawl is also plagiarizing flash gordon because you know star wars isn't the only one that does it not to mention but like it, is, i guess is the vader mask wait they used cameras like... to film both movies didn't they what the fuck who's echoing they they just copied they copied flash gordon or and then flash gordon copied whatever used cameras before it Whoever invented the camera is getting so much, like so many royalties for. for <laughs> like, Wasn't that Edison? The entire every know. single film ever made. For sure, it's Edison. Uh, you know, after like 1939, owes uh, the Wizard of Oz everything <laughs> for having color. <laughs> yeah. Every film that's animated owes Snow White and the Seven Dwarves everything. That's, I don't. That's, like, I think the, the British Empire should get royalties because George Lucas ripped it off. I think the British Empire should get royalties for the U.S. existing. So, like, does this guy not seem to understand, like, the concept of... So someone goes and looks in um, in Disney's Robin Hood and sees the very obviously re recycled assets from Snow White and points this out. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, well, there's dancing in this animated movie before that. And there's there's a woman clapping in this animated movie before that. like, it's a fucking point. You know, we're all ripping off Mesopotamia <laughs> because they had a civilization. They were the Fun first. fact, the first movie to ever get a sequel was the KKK-sponsored movie Birth of a Nation. So Empire Strikes Back is now tied to racism. There we go. Yeah. Every sequel. Puss in Boots, The, the Last Wish. Pretty. Have you guys ever seen Birth of a Nation? <laughs> no. I've okay, seen it's so racist, it. but it's also inadvertently hilarious. I kind of want to know. It's really funny, but also if you don't have a stomach for that shit, it can also get really boring. Mm. So it's like a 50-50 I mean, on that. Kind of let this play because he's he's just making the same point. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. really yeah. throughout this entire episode, where the show blatantly rips off aspects of things we enjoyed from the other movies and shows. Yep, yeah. characters do stand next to each other sometimes. Wow. Yep. Some have elected to use the term parallels, but I think the word they're actually looking for is plagiarism. Man, this is just not the problem. only thing. <laughs> <thought. laughs> Make a he fucking really, point, you dipshit. He really thought he had something with you here. Yeah, this guy man. is fucking moronic. Jesus. Oh, Sheep doesn't know Star Wars because oh, he doesn't know packs. that Star Wars is Oh, a Commando Cody. Commando Cody. <laughs> Commando Cody. <laughs> I do believe, yes, Commander Cody is a reference to him. Yeah. But, like, so? We, so no one okay. else is allowed to use the name Cody. That's my name. Damn. That is actually Sheev's name, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sheev, you grifter, damn it. You're, you you're stole parent. from Commander Cody. Okay. I'm, I'm, only, I'm only plagiarizing if I go commando, so like you're, I just need to always be wearing underwear. Your, your, parents, <laughs> oh my God. your parents ripped off of uh, radar men from the moon. I can't read the, the rest of the text oh, because it's, it's Yeah, white. it's a bit wide on white, yeah. so... Radar Men from, from the Moon, moon. yeah, 1952. 1952. I is love there, those like, a part where... movie names. That's is that even really the same thing? He's recycling. Really like, back to American same? Graffiti. You've we already, already made this one. <laughs> <laughs> so is this gonna be the rest of the video? Please let this be uh, the rest of the video. I think it is. Yeah, we're just recycling. Oh my, oh my god! god. Everything so far so from Dune. Oh, I'm okay. curious. Oh no, he's not gonna show. He's just showing an image. A desert. Like, see, oh. it's still from Dune. What? He doesn't need it's to prove it. Point. Yeah. See, he's just like, see, there are people online that say it's still from it's Dune. Like, it's like, it's like it's they, from they did get ideas from Dune. That's true. I mean, he the Dune Sea is named everything. After. Every film is fucking inspired by another film, except for the first film. But you know. 
It's like that you're always getting inspiration from other things. It's, the first film was inspired you by ever real heard the life expression, things. expression like there's no such thing as an original idea. Yeah. yeah. And it's like the, the this is a, this, he's gone so fucking far off the rails because the point was that Star Wars was copying from itself to get like member berries. Like how you mm, remember that? It's, it's like reaching it. off of the emotional beats from an actually well written scene. Yeah, because yeah. the only thing I was saying. Because when I any do you creative think when endeavor people will see take the fucking inspiration scene, from other things, do you think when people like see Star the scene did, just... in, in um, Attack like I, of the Clones, he's like, "Oh my god, they're just doing this so people will remember modern times and like, like I don't, the film I don't because they like any, modern times." I don't feel any impact during the "I am your father" scene because yeah, fathers have existed for thousands of years. So yeah, there's nothing original about this yeah. one. You're just for ripping off the idea of fathers, sex, ripping off certainly. the Bible for real. Sophistic yeah. Autistic says, Southpaw, there is a movie called Southpaw. You are a ripoff. Better get ready for your time <laughs> on bootleg zones. Now, here's the thing. That movie came out in 2015. Guess what? I made a PlayStation Network account called Southpaw LP in 2010. So that movie is ripping off of me. Oh, you should be getting paid by Southpaw. I should be getting paid. Yeah, I should be getting paid by Southpaw. Yeah, fuck Does Southpaw. the LP stand What's for loose pussy? Left? It was supposed <laughs> to stand for Let's Play. I was going to like do Let's Plays and shit. Oh! That's yeah, that makes that, more sense. That's cringe. No, let, let, let's just keep going because it's yeah. We got. I want to get only so much we can defeat this one point over and over again. Yeah. Far oh, God. I and... ripped off my dad because I look like him. No way. Forbidden mm. Planet. Yeah, you. It's actually quite different. You can. Tell You've made your point. Yeah. A you reference in It's yellow text in space. Whoa, yeah, text, text moving. In space. Never and been it's moving before. upward. And Whoa. slightly okay. into the distance. On a, we little get little the point. We definitely needed to see the full thing. Some have elected to use the term parallels, but oh, oh my god, you've played that clip a hundred fucking times. Hey, I get it. Come on. Again and again and spot. again. Okay. No, we're both. God. Oh, I thought he hated Mahler. Why is he using his footage? So, I just I have to highlight that he's been on this point for what four or five minutes now. It's like okay, it's so the entire video. He's bringing up modern times again for the third time. It's like yes, so, factories do exist in other media. I'm aware. Just. Creations. Creations one. one. Nice. Uh, <laughs> although I don't think wait, SK wasn't in uh SK's wasn't in the here, yeah. I didn't he, realize he wasn't in the stream yards though, was he? Uh he I wasn't. wasn't I just I just threw him in, yeah. Oh, okay, I gotcha. <laughs> no one. Uh, I didn't realize he was here. Yeah. <laughs> uh hey SK. Hey. Hello. We're on yeah. the second video so far, and Hello. he has actually not made a single point. So well, I just have to highlight like he's been on this Imagine one point for like shock. five minutes. He's been on this one point for five minutes about uh, claiming that, well, Shiva's wrong to call us a you know, plagiarism because homages exist because he doesn't understand the difference between these two things. I'm like, okay, so even if this was homage and this wasn't plagiarism, how does this actually like negate anything else that Shiva said? Like, <laughs> if, you're going to, if you're going to pick like a bad argument, like I, I, I get there's a lot of arguments in Shiva's videos and it's not, it's not practical to respond to every single one, right? But if you're gonna pick a bad argument, pick a more important one, maybe. The problem is yeah. this isn't even a bad argument. It's not. It's, I mean, yeah. Not it's only like, is it not oh, a bad argument, it's immaterial. Well, let's say I'm wrong, and like this scene is great, and it's not leeching off of anything. Like that's just one thing, and it's yeah, like what, honestly not even a big, a big part of, of of my criticism. I like I don't really care that much. I'm just annoyed about it. Yeah, no, like all things said, considered, it's actually I, one of your smaller criticisms overall. Like you have yeah. much, much, much bigger ones, ones that could actually be up for discussions. That's not one of them. That's just it's, so minute in the grand scheme of things. Name one unreasonable thing he said. <laughs> it's not like. It's oh, not I like sure can. I agree with everything you said. It's not like you presented like, uh, nobody checked the card at the border as like a serious major deal, <laughs> <laughs> and it's so <sighs> profoundly wrong. That's like, I, I just go through, it's like, you went to college, right? You said that you went to college? Like, are we sure that we can take, uh, I don't take, believe it. take your word on this? To be fair, they let anyone in college these days. People are so... Including, <laughs> including uh... It's one uh, thing to go to Plankton. college, Southwell. It's another thing to claim to be a college professor. I went to college. Yeah, SK, do, do you know fun. about that? How Dark Thor claims to have taught, like, college classes and he's written, like, what? 50 <laughs> articles. <laughs> slash yes, yeah, yes. we're not kidding. Check the, the, check the chat. Oh, no. Check the chat. There's oh, a tweet. There, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm do we have there. verification on that? No way. Let's scroll up. Yeah, well, we have verification up. that he said it. 
Yeah. Yes. Well, I have degrees in social sciences and philosophy. I know three to four languages fluently, working on two more languages. SK, SK. At several colleges. SK, let me ask you a question. <laughs> let me ask you a question. How, How do you speak, do you speak three, to, three four? to four languages yeah. fluently? How do you it's not know how many other. languages you speak fluently? Oh, yeah. Maybe I know Maybe you can speak the fourth language fluently or you don't. Or, I don't. Uh, my, my name is Dark Creepio. I can, I am fluent in six forms of communication. <laughs> Dark Creepio. Uh, I'm, I'm finishing this fucking video so we can get to the actual stuff. Yeah. 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 It sounds like he's talking anyway. We're two hours in. Jesus oh my God. Christ. Don't worry. Also, Steve, modern Times is so along. much fun. You guys oh, haven't seen Modern Times, it's so much fun. I love that. So movie. It is. Like, it's like a it. comedy on the right. Oh my god, this point, we already proud. said this Why? point. Why does he episode, keep doing this? The show blatantly yes, real. repeat the clip one more time. Is he Whoa, keep we doing that? Sheev, when you say the second video, oh my do you god. mean a second <laughs> car? A party? red car. What's up, What? Off? Do you do you mean that there's a second video to link in this watch together? No, this is a collection of videos. I think. But this is the second video that he's made. Think. Fuck. Thank yeah. fuck. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Hold I on mean, a second. I just have to say this. So, Cars came out in 2006, meaning that Lightning McQueen is actually a ripoff of this scene from Revenge of the Sith, which came out in 2005. <laughs> yeah. Which yes, is a ripoff of rip the from stuff. Tucker the Man and His Dream from 1988. Yeah, meaning that Lightning perfect. McQueen, like, it, it just, Lightning McQueen is just well, a fucking knockoff. Tucker man. the Man and His Dream is ripping off of whatever movie came before that had a red car in it. it. They had cars, yes. Pretty sure American Graffiti had a red car. Oh my Whoa. god. Why is the parallel what? supposed to be here? I don't understand. I'm assuming I... he pulled this. Like, this is just someone else, like, made a video of all the different things that Star Wars pays homage to. But I, I don't understand their example here because, yeah, he's in a the red 80s theater. Transformers car no, had it's, red it's, cars. Okay, it very clearly isn't the red car. You see. Tucker, the man in his dream, also has uh, a, a, little, a, little green a, green a tiny, a tiny, a, a tiny green frog band. It, yeah, he's 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 right there. He's talking to Dazzle Oregano, played um, by Jimmy Smith. Yeah. That scene of Tucker, the the man in his dream, that seems way more like the scene in um, the first Avenger, uh, Captain America, the first Avenger, where uh, oh yeah, yeah. How Howard Stark, Stark is revealing yeah. the flying car. Yeah, yeah, like the women sitting around. Like that's a very clear visual, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean that's before. that's just kind of like standard presentation of 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 the times, like, yeah. Because yeah. The, the film is supposed to be in the forties. Uh, yeah, for some years. So. It's my Tucker, candy, the man man. in this in the dream People invented the film. Ajax is also and this is another thing, Lucas George Brown. Lucas movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Isn't there a Rebels episode that plays a lot of homage to TX? At, at Racing TX? in a tunnel. And also, Whoa, again, vehicles Whoa. going Whoa. through a what? tunnel. What? 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 No way. No way. No way. This, this oh feels, my God. It almost this feels like the Snyder is the blueprint yes. tweets that you see. Yeah. <laughs> there was the blueprint. Hitler was the blueprint. Army formations were in Nazi Germany. Just Creations 1. This is Hitler not was the blueprint. Stormtroopers are based on like Nazi enforcers because those were also called stormtroopers. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. In uh, I thought it was not a secret that the Empire is based on fucking Nazi. But no! It's okay! Because in 1943, a stormtrooper <laughs> hit his head on a door. Oh no. Fucking hell. I understood that reference. This guy is so goofy. I didn't. I, I can't with this anymore. Oh my Again, god. We get, uh, we oh, we're back to this me. I my thought god. you hated Mauler. Stop using his footage. <laughs> oh my How long god. is it going to do this? Like that, that one person who DM'd you being like, do oh, your skip videos ahead? are shit, no, but they're good I eye do. candy. So I <laughs> I'm not actually like like in the favorite of the things we enjoy. And then Obi-Wan's Oh, we're actually at a different video now. Great. Sorry. That was it? The show blatantly. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Kenobi, Kenobi was, was the first. first time, so. What? The yes, that was that was that was so Here we're All right. Right. It's amazing Bunch that he included yeah, the clip of you in talking circle. about homage versus plagiarism in mm -hmm. that. The, the college professor doesn't understand homage versus also, pr plagiarism. Also, I'm sorry, if, if all their Star Wars content was stealing Nah, I actually things, just, I would, took an that essay. That would also be bad. That would I be took bad. somebody else's yeah. essay, submitted that, and it's just an homage to the other original essay. Like, Yeah. 
So I think the reason why the clown detector is going <laughs> off the charts is because Dark yeah. Forest. So, so <laughs> is it that was like video Dark two. Is it not suspicious Whoa. that every time that you turn on your clown detector, it's just like just screaming <laughs> at you? Is it not? Is that not just a, a little bit coincidental? That just it's always just on. Clowning Create one. No. Oh, clowning this is video one. three, and he. This is where he actually starts to speak. So it's gonna be great. Oh, whoa! Um, Look at his voice. Wow. This is the one I think. I think Odrin. This is the one that I watched with you, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know why he has this thumbnail here, because this is my thumbnail. But this is another person entirely. Um, I don't know why that's here. Whatever. Just felt worth pointing out. Dissection of this pathetically bad. So that's Dark Thor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally, it's terrible it's talks. Take, take note of Tala in the, the top right because he's going to belabor that point a lot. So, here we're continuing our dissection of this pathetically bad Kenobi video put out by Sheep Talks. We've had differences of opinion. Who considers my content garbage? Yeah. Yeah. Garbage. <laughs> I wonder why. I think he's a bigot, but I'm like him. What? I'm actually going to do this weird thing called the research and provide. <laughs> 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 He's doing the research, the research. guys. Yes, Perfect. the guy who could understand that I'm stressed yeah. is like, wait, at the very least, how, how could that person have production their value name? on his videos? Yeah, at least Source, I don't like. This is, I made the same guy up. that thinks I defended rags. Hey, <laughs> yeah, uh, some great research, dude. Thanks. Sk. He, SK, uh, he the first video we covered was, oh my god, it's so stupid. Uh, he, he did we said, cover the South Pole and SK character assassinate me? Yes. Yeah, yeah we, we covered said, that at the beginning. He, <laughs> by the way, he also said that Mauler and Rags stood up for a rapist. Like okay, one, true. I didn't. One, I didn't say that because two, they didn't do that. Like just because they victim blamed doesn't mean doesn't mean that they stood up for rapists. I would defend them on that. Christ. For as shitty also, as they are, um, it's just like they didn't do that. Look, he can't even succeed I'm, I'm at criticizing back at the the comment where he says the he taught at several colleges. So <laughs> the context is that he claimed that Sky was was it gaslighting Southport. Sky says, "Wow, you really know nothing," and. As a response to, he knows nothing. He responds with how many languages he knows. What well, is the point to be like? Oh, I do it. know things. He took it literally. He's very <laughs> yeah, He's Very literal. <laughs> He's nothing literally Drax. Don't put this really guy bad. in the same camp yeah. as Why me. I, I, find find that fast, I would catch it. Look, I'm autistic too. It's fine. I can say it. They think I'm <laughs> hiding in the literalism. But I am the literalist. <laughs> he considers me a bigot. I think he's a bigot. But I'm like him. Yeah. I'm actually going to do this weird thing called the research and provide this <laughs> even more weird thing, the evidence. But we're going to start off on the a good note. That's an eyeball. Well, Leia's just hanging around. The lights go out, confusing the two stormtroopers who are no doubt still contemplating their life choices. And then Obi-Wan's <laughs> lightsaber flashes to life, taking out the trooper to Leia's right. That's a weak lightsaber. Turning it off, circling around yeah. the trooper on the other side and killing him second. You'll notice how many hits it took Obi-Wan to cut down these stormtroopers. <laughs> like Obi-Wan's lightsaber accidentally switched over mm -hmm. to video game mechanics for this episode. That's mm -hmm. inconvenient. Either that or you're telling me that the armor given to the average stormtrooper is stronger than that of Darth Vader. Later, which uh, that's awkward but yeah <laughs> well shocker i do agree there is a problem there's not a problem technically with kenobi but yes the sabers what? and star wars are inconsistent sometimes they're lethal sometimes are they but it not really but I it mean, comes down to what media is using them inconsistently like the i most, just I the, most... the example that comes to my mind is the lightsaber that hits Vader's shoulder um, in Empire Strikes Back, it doesn't cut straight through him, but it cuts straight through the the bars on the side. I mean, it cuts straight through his arm in Return of the Jedi, so... Yeah, I was isn't, gonna say that. isn't there also an inconsistency uh, when a lightsaber like hits a guardrail in Return of the Jedi? Yeah. Um, sometimes it'll cut through him, sometimes it doesn't. That's yeah, fine. The guardrail was made of Beskar, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's inconsistent, but I think in this case it's a bit more stupid because yeah. like that was like an inconsistency back in the 80s when the technology wasn't exactly up to par we live in 2023 where i've seen people on you YouTube can call it a production that very scene itself you're, and that's you're, also like you're... a background thing like 
what is yeah, it a so, railing? Like, who cares about the railing? Right, and I've, I've seen somebody on YouTube take yeah. the scene from Kenobi and fix it. If that's possible, it's there's no excuse for Lucasfilm. Yeah, so like, I, I mean, a, a good faith person, uh, sorry, a person <laughs> engaging, faith. a person engaging in good faith with media recognizes that okay, at the time that this came out, like the technology wasn't as great as it, as it's supposed to be, or something, you know, and they just they let that go. However, as, as time marches on and technology advances and digital effects advance, it becomes far less excusable for effects to look very cheap. That's just how this goes. Yep. Production okay. values have higher expectations, just like video games have better expectations for graphics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New so things keep powerful. setting the bar. Sometimes they're very heavy, sometimes they're very light. So there are a lot of... It. I don't know what... I don't know about that. That's sometimes they're very heavy. Sometimes they're very light. Well, the, the lightsabers, lightsabers and uh, like the Disney Wars kind of feel like. I mean, kind of feel I, like, like baseball bats. I think the only like, example the that I can really think of is like the dark saber is yeah. portrayed to be heavy, but like that's a until it's thing. not. And we're. Mm. I, I mean, I don't know that anyone here is a fan of that. No, it's <laughs> sometimes heavy. No, if you resist it, and that's a strange yeah. rule that the rest of the lightsabers don't have. But because yeah. the dark saber is special, it gives you the power to rule over. Mandalore. It's special because it's black. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god. The dark saber can say the it's N word. A, it, it's not <laughs> like they're. Uh -huh. It it's seems like the sabers are a little heavier in the sequels. Uh -oh. I don't know. It's a big well, black so saber. what? What that probably comes down to is, and this is technically canon thanks to the Clone Wars, but like lightsabers are actually heavy. It's just that the Jedi have been trained to use them their entire lives, and they're skilled warriors that are physically in their peak, so to them it's basically nothing. Whereas if you have someone like Rey picking up a lightsaber, you'd expect that she'd be kind of swinging it around just Wait. disjointedly. Like it's yeah, like an actual together. sword. When's that yeah. in, in Clone Wars? Uh, Anakin hands Padme his lightsaber, and she says, oh, it's heavier than I thought it would be. Mm. But that, that's, I don't think it was like that heavy because she's still holding it pretty easily with her hand. Like, well, and that's not the blade is, itself, yeah. that's just the handle. But like, have you ever it, swung around a sword? Uh, yeah. I can hold the sword in my hand, but when I'm actually swinging around a sword, it's a lot heavier. Yeah, but that, that, there's a difference because a sword has its weight at the end. She wasn't referring to the weight of the blade, she was referring to the weight of the handle. Well, I think that the. And it, she's mean, essentially just saying it's heavier than she thought it was, not that it's like 50 pounds. Well, it like weighed down on her on her arm, like it. Like she I'm, I'm, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm confused. What are we arguing here? Because it doesn't really like. Yeah, uh, well, no, 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 getting mad over. No, 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 no you're missing my. You're missing my point. I, I, you're missing my. No, I, Jesus Christ! I haven't spoken like ten minutes, guys. Come on. Um, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm not speaking literally. Don't do a, a dark thought. <laughs> um, the thing I'm pointing <laughs> out is that it doesn't matter either way, right? Either the weight is canonically in the blade, or there is some weight canonically in the blade, in which case, yes, the sequels do seem to screw around with it by making them into baseball bats. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Or they're not, and it's in the hilt, and Star Wars is just very bad at showing weight in blades. Either way, it doesn't really matter to the point that's being made by Thor, Dark Thor here. Which is that they're yeah. inconsistently applied... But again, I don't problem understand inconsistencies. How... There's a problem no matter what your answer is. Yeah, but the thing it's is, much. the thing I'm confused about is like, I thought he was, you know, because the the thing that I was actually highlighting was like that, like the uh, the blade itself had like took several hits to cut through the stormtrooper armor and that that's bad because that's not how lightsabers work. And he's saying that they're inconsistent, but then he's saying it's because they're heavy. And sometimes oh, yeah, they're that's light. a different type of thing. That's a different thing. Yeah, we're not talking yeah. about the weight of the lights. We're talking about whether or not it should be able to cut through stormtrooper armor. Yeah, this is a different. So I don't. I still feel like he's fucked up, but okay. Of course he has. <laughs> yep. Inconsistencies with sabers. As far as the armor issue, well, that's when Kenobi is on God mode. What? So the what? Even what? <laughs> what? What? He's on God, God mode. mode. Did you say God mode? God mode? Mode? Mean. Yeah. Yeah. I saw on Jedi Is that Master how he survived the team. fucking railing dropping on him? <laughs> he had super durability. <laughs> <laughs> super durability is, God is God Never forget mode. that platform of you know 65 what? tons. That, that explains... That explains how Doc Ock survives so many punches from Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> he was on God mode. He's on God mode. Spider, yeah. He waited for his God, God mode that explains bar to how fill Rima up. Survived. She was on God mode. <laughs> Spider-Man was actually just playing uh, the PS4 game, and he put it on uh, like the fucking hardest difficulty. So he couldn't, uh, the Jedi are on God mode. <laughs> <laughs> they have the Matrix.
Okay, I guess he's on God mode. I don't know. On God mode. Yeah, he's just on. I don't know what that has to do with the Stormtrooper armor, but all right. Well, he's saying that he only was able to cut through Vader because he was on God mode when he cut oh, through Vader. Oh, my God. So it's I a matter of God mode. Yeah, so it, I thought he said he was mode. providing references and evidence. Where's the evidence that he was on God mode? I guess because well, he looked you... at all the rocks. I don't know. Because he yeah. <laughs> selected the proper difficulty. Bozo. The lightsaber well, because... is only as powerful as the person wielding it, apparently. I guess. Well, I mean, I get best faith, right? Like, he's saying that, like, he was using all his strength when he cut through Vader's mask, whereas in this, when he was rescuing Leia, he just wasn't. Yes. Why? Why he would wouldn't be he be? Urgent. Yeah, he's like he no, wasn't on God mode. Here. He was ready for the he bar to fill on up. God mode. What? It was recharged. He holds Jeez. back the ocean like five minutes later. <laughs> his See, his that's when he was on God. Oh no, wait. Yeah, he was filling the bar. It's like a flip. And then he you can switch. Like, and so he's like a he's video implying, game. So he was feeling so the bar. So just admitted under oath that he's holding back when he needs to save a hostage. Shocker! You cannot escape me. I'll chase you while I'm on God mode. He's playing. He's playing Metal Gear Rising and he just goes in Ripper mode and he's able to just fucking destroy everyone just super, super quickly and shit. And he goes back to regular mode and it's like, ah, shit, my power up went, got deactivated. <laughs> or he literally, like, like touched the superstar in Super Mario Bros. <laughs> <It's indestructible>. <laughs> I <laughs> have an army. We have a god mode. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, bro? God mode didn't activate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really powerful armor. Yeah, Kenobi still can penetrate because you know he's on the Oh, what? And then we're finally gonna get to the fascism and sexism. Oh yeah. Finally. Finally. So he was on God mode. Beyond that, there's also the sexism and fascism, of course. There's a clear correlation between those two. And now the main motivation for this video comes out. Joe Pesci is supposed to convey. What he's the fuck is this piece of shit? Fascism and, uh, I don't know. Sexism. He's just kind of he's just kind of using whatever is on his camera. He's roll. laughing at Sheev. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's really damn stupid. He just really yeah. likes Goodfellas. Trooper escort and forces her to take action. And I'm not fucking with you here. She actually slaps one of the stormtroopers, <laughs> which seems to do a great deal of damage. <laughs> this one guy, I swear. The other trooper. Uh, the hell of a slap. Go ahead and just pocket that weak ass lightsaber. You don't need it. Apparently, just slapping a stormtrooper in the helmet. Is <laughs> it's more effective, even. So Slappy over here stumbles back, and Tala goes. Hey, TK, oh, no. is TK here? He's fucking isn't. Oh, did, did TK leave? Yeah, oh, his I can't see him. power dies. I was about to say, we draw to say how great stormtroopers are. They can't survive a slap to the face. They can't even survive a Sheev talk stream. It's well, pathetic. These these stormtroopers, they really need they really need that god mode. <laughs> Helmet and pulling on him while going. She's going god mode right now. When I tell you that this scene made me burst out laughing the first time I watched it, I'm not. <laughs> okay, well, I listened, and your whole point is about the armor. Which no, 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 no. The point was that what? she she slapped a stormtrooper like lightly, like not even hard, and it yeah. caused him to double back, like like get disoriented and, and stumble back into the wall and be and be out of the it's fight for like slap. five seconds. It, yeah. It's more like she pushes her hand it, into it doesn't his have face. Anything, I mean, the armor is yeah. a factor because, like, if if he wasn't if wearing have armor, a helmet, then her slapping him in the face might have done something. But like the yeah. fact that he was wearing armor and she slapped him, like, like what's so not like, clicking? So that should do literally if nothing. Wearing to a helmet, you need to do a little bit more than slapping them. You need to like hit their helmet extremely hard so it like rattles, like it, like their heads rattling in there. It might like disorient them a little bit. But a slap so, is gonna. Yeah, be you'd enough. have to smack them with a sledgehammer to do that, so not to, fucking slap them. To any yeah. of you, to any of you who've seen Andor, remember the part in the finale when Brasso headbutts a stormtrooper like really hard and it knocks mm -hmm. the stormtrooper over. I take issue with that too. But even then, he's a big ass dude, and he actually like headbutted him. He didn't just use yeah, and then mm. daintily <laughs> slap him on the face. Like yeah. he fucking went hard, and even then, I'm like, that's a little, that's a little extraneous. I don't know that I buy that. Why the fuck does the cartoon that he's using have like six fingers? <laughs> Wait, why is he also using cartoon. the visual of the guy from Dune? Why the fuck is he there? Yeah, I don't know what it's, the point it's, is. It's it's uh it's Ford from Gravity Falls. Oh my god. She Wait, as, as an uncultured swine who hasn't seen Dune, is this still in Skarsgard? That's still in yeah. Skarsgard. Yes. Holy yes. shit, of Dune. Holy sh no, Dune they your mom, Dune, Dune, your mom. A different thing. Oh my god. 
Well, he's great in that, by the way. Because I love Stellan Skarsgård and will watch anything with him. He's a beautiful creature. Yeah. You're going to rewatch Love and Thunder for his 10 second cameo? I watched his 10 second cameo and that's it. Now you got to watch the whole film too. I'm not a true fan. I sat through the first two Thor movies, not because I cared about Thor, not because I cared about superheroes, but because I found out Stellan Skarsgård was in them. That's fair. All right, now you got to watch Pirates of the Caribbean because Bootstrap Bill. Hell yeah. No, oh, yeah. Answer. So, how powerful is the armor used by the Stormtroopers? You don't answer the question. What? what the fuck what is Wait, is he playing your, the visuals from your video sheet? Yeah, he's just it? playing visuals from my video. Yeah. He okay, because that confused the fuck out of me. Um, no, that's weird. Uh, yeah. So, don't don't pay attention to the B roll because it it typically doesn't yeah it's mean. like when watching a dr- critical drinker video just ignore the the visual part and just listen to <laughs> yeah, it yeah he's not gonna bother and make it line up with what he's saying ignore yeah. the visual part of the visual medium <laughs> yes uh, so he's making a uh, podcast with- I may as well have downloaded this as like an MP3 and just uploaded it there's yeah. been a there's been a historical uh, criticism of stormtrooper armor durability or strength in Star Wars ever since Return of the Jedi. Yeah, because the Ewoks sticks fucking rocks. threw rocks at them, yeah, and it took, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah the most elite space monkeys, according to palpitisms. Objection, Your Honor, what about ism? Objection sustained. Yeah, but also, <laughs> like, I love Return of the Jedi, and I do think it's a good movie, but that whole thing... So Everything you think we're all aware that they were originally movie? supposed to be Wookiees in the scripts, right? Yeah, which would have made so much more sense because they're fucking Wookiees. They're like seven feet tall and they're really strong. Yeah, if they throw a rock at a Wookiee, they're gonna fucking knock the shit out of them. So if a, mean... a Wookiee threw a rock at a stormtrooper, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I would believe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that if you if you were like if you were like David and you were throwing a rock from like a sling. Uh, at a Wookiee, then it's like, okay, probably. Yeah, that would take out Goliath with that thing, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Is a Wookiee yeah, stronger than a Goliath, or not? What do you think? Which came first, the Wookiee or the Goliath? Oh, that's, also, that's a better question, Chief. <laughs> now, to counteract well, the Dark what... Thor's argument as well about the armor, even if the Stormtrooper wasn't wearing armor, I highly doubt that someone casually pushing your hand into your face Wait, hold on, is going to make you so there, disoriented that you're going to fall over. Why is, why is there an there EFAT meme here? On the screen, this why? has to be video. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, we need to do speculation. So, is this going to be a reference to EFAP, or is this going to be a reference to the scene in the EFAP meme of Revenge of the Sith, in which the EFAP meme would be irrelevant? No, it's, he's Place literally just, he just needs something to be on the screen. I guess. Fucking Christ. So I thought he hated EFA. Just Creations 1. One. Waiting for analysis. We didn't analyze the armor, so I'm still waiting. Huh? <laughs> Neither. You didn't analyze the, references, the armor. You idiot. I'm not analyzing the armor. I'm analyzing the fucking fight scene. If you just pay attention. Uh, Sheev, you got, you got a new super Ooh, chat. Dumbass. Ooh, I got a super. I got a spooper chat. Ooh. From Sam Montgomery, two pounds. <laughs> thank you very much. God mode was how Dark Thor became college professor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Well, ha ha ha. Fine, funny. That's not analysis. Oh, I, I thought he just Again, jumped in just, when he started comment? going, ha ha ha, very he's just, funny. He's just putting a random uh, thing ha, on the screen, but it, it, it's actually relevant, I guess, because it's on my video. It's mm-hmm. funny you all are crapping on this show when it really exposes how flawed your precious original trilogy is. Um, okay. No. Uh, I when think did actually, anyone ever say that? I think I, I, was... I, I, I watched the I watched the Kenobi series and it really bolsters my my uh, my love for the original trilogy. I'm like, man, those were some pretty solid films, weren't they? I mean, yeah. I, watched, oh, I watched. It Return didn't for me. I, Oof. I watched I watched Return of the Jedi <laughs> in a theater earlier this month, and it was like, you know what? I don't think it was a very good movie, but this is a hell of a lot better than what's coming out these days. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, At least that's some fucking heart. Ooh, another super chat. This is one from Jasonian. But guys, the reason why the Ewoks were able to overpower the stormtroopers is because they were in God. <laughs> <laughs> what if what if what if the Ewoks aren't on God mode, but the gods are on Ewok mode? Oh. oh my god. What if That's the real Ewok question. were the god mode we made along the way? Uh-huh. <laughs> the real god so mode is inside us all along. Then, then, then how would the, the reason why uh, 
the reason what, what why Happy mean? didn't realize that Vulture had taken the ship is because Vulture had God mode. He had a God, <laughs> God high vacuum, vacuum steel. steel. <laughs> <laughs> so, so wait, if the Ewoks, if 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 the gods are on Ewok mode, then what does that mean about what the Ewoks felt of C three? Is C three PO? C three PO was mode? literally in God mode. Holy he shit! He is so the God a, mode. Of actually, the God like, mode. okay, so so here's here's the tier, right? So there's God mode, then there's Ewok mode, and then there's <laughs> there's C three PO mode. The C three PO doesn't even have a mode. He's just a god to the gods. He, he's <laughs> the one that made one of the R two units start uh, fucking up, so R two would be bought by Luke. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> R5 just went god mode. It's okay. <laughs> R- R5. Hey, hey, that's that is how uh that's remember that extremely convoluted way in which uh that that one pilot uh gets involved in the Mandalorian what episode five? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was on god mode. He was on god that's mode. Just, that's a, and, and that's that's how R5 was able to tip him off to their location. R5 was on god mode. The pterodactyl mm-hmm. was able to out, was able to snatch the kid up at the beach and out, and outrun all the jetpacks because it was on God mode. How did Loki lose <laughs> to Hulk? Loki was in God mode. No, no here's the thing, Sophistic. Loki Hulk was, was in Hulk in mode. mode. Okay, Hulk Hulk mode is a, like a whole other tier. All right, Hulk out. Oh, and then there's Jar Jar mode, of course. Oh, dear. You can't course. forget about Jar Jar mode. The, the highest tier. Waiting. Yeah, that's above Jar. That's oh, above C three managed- mode. Well, ha ha ha. Fine, funny. Comedy. That's not analysis. You said analysis. I'm waiting for the analysis. Please give analysis. Just to grab. I'm waiting for you to make a point. Him and then so like I'm, I'm an, now, I'm, am I, am I not analyzing it? Is this not analysis? That looks like an analysis. <laughs> That's not analysis. What nope. the fuck is this? This is also uh-huh. like thirty no, seconds of like four hours of the Mandalorian convert. No one should be analysis at the border. We have five <laughs> jokes in every single one of them. They're always bangers. We just now managed to recuperate after that devastating blow a second ago. What a fucking train wreck. You know, as I go through this episode, I realize I'm doing that thing I sometimes do where I simply explain what happened and assume that that speaks for itself. Because <laughs> That's how I felt making my okay, video, so too. Just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Madvocate, you had that great bit in your video where you were like, I guess I have to explain why why Bale calling Obi-Wan in episode <laughs> 5 is, is really stupid, so I'm yeah. going to talk to you all like your babies, and that's like one of my favorite bits <laughs> in your video. What, what, I'm, what I'm doing with my video is like, after I play the full clip of them talking about episode 8, I just like, it just cuts <laughs> to my cousin Vinny, and he just goes, everything that guy just said is bullshit. Thank you. <laughs> it's like this, this I feel is, like I don't this, have to actually <laughs> argue against this, right? Yeah, I this is like the sound of someone who's just mad it. over a TV show. It literally <laughs> is. Sam yeah. Montgomery saying, "Hey, He's South, again, maybe, maybe you know, Zemo was able to impersonate the psychiatrist because he was on God mode. <laughs> <laughs> it was in psychiatrist mode. He was in psychiatrist mode. <laughs> no, no. See, the actual." The actual uh, up like like S tier of modes, right? It's not Jar Jar mode. It's Zemo mode. It allows Zemo. you to read the script. Zemo. You can read the script. Zemo, Zemo and Joker in the Dark Knight read the read the script. He, he, oh. the he was an he Ewok psychiatrist. Or be spicy by criticizing Dark Knight. The... On oh May. yeah, I forgot that that people don't like that. Sorry. That's like a that's not not a very popular take, Sky. Yeah. <laughs> so I cow. forgot that people think that film's good. I like <laughs> it too, Chad. Don't <laughs> tell me. Okay. You know that you're not allowed to criticize the sacred cows. Dark Knight is shit. <gasps> Look, oh, you're just not old enough to appreciate Dark Knight. Dark, okay? Dark Knight is you, terrible. You're young. Nobody I'm checks... assuming Southpaw. I'm assuming you're young, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody. Dark Knight is shit. Nobody checked the the fairies at the border. Issue <gasps> is no one checked the Batman at the border. Again, is the armor, and you're saying, I guess the helmet should absorb a lot of damage. You no, didn't a lot of damage. Said, it's well, a fucking slap. Not even a slap. It's not it's, a lot of damage. So you're not getting brain damage from that. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's yeah. not. You're not gonna get brain damage from that. <sighs> what armor. happened? That's nice. I'm just gonna be confused. Is the armor? I still hear like someone's got like something go- going on their end. Is like a, like a razor or something. What is that? I'm shaving Amy. my balls. Oh. Amy. Nope. I'm gonna mute myself. Check if it's me. It stopped. Yeah. So it, it's hit guy. <laughs> yeah. We found the culprit. Cool. It's I don't know what FIFA. the fuck it is, but you the know. FIFA game. Okay. FIFA. Well, if it's FIFA, not the FIFA and a razor. 
the PS5 not, overheating. You can do anything about them. That's fine, I guess. But you know, I think yeah, Sheev's just know. saying this because she's trans. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't Sheev's know. a grifter. You don't tell us. <laughs> so we're still left with an open question. Is this? Okay. Wait, what, most, what is that is image on the? What's it? The last with what the. What the fuck is this editing? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> women can learn martial arts. I just remembered Odrin and I were making fun of this when we, when we watched it. So what he's going to start doing is just showing pictures of women doing fighting things because his. <laughs> Damn, that's going to be God mode? Are, are they in God mode oh, oh, too? Oh, oh, so he's trying to infer that you don't think that she can do that because she's a woman. Yes, he's calling me sexist because even if a man did that, I don't. Have, I, still I have a huge problem with just about as much sense. Well, now, you see, now he's showing examples of women doing fighting things. You you say, mm. Sheev, you say that that slap doesn't look like it could do much damage, but. Have you considered that there is this blonde cutie in the army <laughs> yeah. doing this really cool looking sidekick once? Well, I mean, sure, it doesn't even valid. That's an even easier uh, way to just, That's an even easier way to dismantle this, right? Like, if we want to just, if it's just one example, can, you know, cancels out another, and you're a sexist because you just picked that one that happened to be a woman. So, she, you've seen Dark Knight Rises. I have. <laughs> so, you, you may or may not notice this. There are several fight scenes in that where uh, Batman punches thin air or doesn't do anything, and the guard just randomly goes down anyway. Would you think that's bad? Uh, well, Batman is a white male, so no. I... <laughs> oh, okay. Well, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I guess that Dark Thor is correct. Dark Thor, yeah. can, Dark Thor can clip that out of context and then play it well, no, he, he will well, take that. <laughs> well, honestly, that what, what, a, what an amazing twist that would be if it turned out like we were doing a stream and it turned out she was actually just I like just a white supremacist sexist. <laughs> <laughs> I have a swastika tattooed on my forehead. He's got, he's got the, big... the game of Among Us, and there's two racists in this call. He's got a giant swastika <laughs> flag behind him. <laughs> yeah, he turns his camera on by accident during the stream, and he just see it fleeting. <laughs> that would be mighty awkward for Steve's us. His favorite movie is American History X, but only like the first half. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite movie is Black Klansman. I specifically well, yeah, relate you know, to Adam Driver's character. South Park. Uh, uh, you sure? <laughs> the, uh, yes, so sure. like, the thing about the thing about American History X is that you know it gets woke after the halfway mark, so you know that's yeah. why you should just turn it off. Yeah. 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 Have we ever oh, thought of uh, the yeah, funny like, little like, like, YouTube woke. comments of like clips of American History X? It's depressing. People going like, "Derek's right here," when he's like oh, rallying no. xenophobic skin. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's no. depressing. Oh, there, there are people who take American Psycho and like Fight Club as if like they're praising the. the are, are we? That are, is... Yeah, idiots. Um, yeah. All right. Question mark. I mean, the helmet can't be invincible. A trooper can still what? be hurt with the helmet. It doesn't have no, no. The slap yeah. is going to be. Even if he didn't have the helmet. Yeah. So, like, if I shot the stormtrooper tor in the base, the the then yeah, the the helmet's not going to really do much for him. I think. Yeah. If you took a hammer to it, yeah. Yeah, but like not a pathetic little like slap. Slightly slapping it. Yeah, no, that's not gonna do anything. You can oh, punch somebody in the face, they can still be capable of fighting. Oh no, like, no, he's gonna do it. Gonna <laughs> are we gonna, use the, are oh, we gonna see the clip? Here we go. Ethan? I mean, where's the analysis? I'm still waiting. <laughs> no! 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 So close. What was the point of that? So can you do no. one thing right, nice. Dark Thor? <laughs> No. Can still be hurt. You should have left it in. The Jedi have super durability. I mean, where's the analysis? I'm still waiting. Because I trust my audience to not be a bunch of brain dead idiots. I guess I'm gonna have to differ with you there. I do think <laughs> oh you God, kind not of this meme. Um, so ah, that's a really <laughs> ironic thing to say. Dark Thor, you literally used an image of someone who wasn't the character in the show to explain that her slap should have done damage. Yeah, no, his IQ like, score idiot. is probably lower than the average temperature of Alaska. To be fair, I'm not expecting my audience. I'm not. I'm not relying on my audience to be stupid. I'm. Re I'm relying on them to be stupid. Just <laughs> creation <laughs> one. No one should be stupid at the border. Jolly, uh, Sam Montgomery says. Well, Jolly, have you not considered that Batman might have been on God mode when fighting Bane's goons? <laughs> I mean, Batman can see bullets in slow motion. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Batman yeah, forget God mode. Batman has Batman mode. He's he's got the I am Batman thing. That supersedes God mode. The, the, yeah, the reason the reason that you can beat uh, anyone in God mode with prep time. Yeah. <laughs> the reason that Bucky survives the uh, the GSG nine sequence is because he was on Batman mode. Yeah. <laughs> Analysis. You haven't given us anything yet. 
And I am going to try to stop that. But there is some even stupid. Well, all I can say is <laughs> try harder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I have some advice for Jesus. you. Uh, try harder. Dark Door, <laughs> Just Creations 1, whatever you prefer to go by. I have some advice for you. When clipping someone, you need to try harder because you need to not just stop in the middle of the sentence. You should you see there's this really cool thing about editing where you can, well, you can choose. You can choose exactly. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe cut Sheev off after he says that he's going to try really hard. He's definitely just, editing this on iMovie. Like, there's no way he's not. He's he's doing this on a fucking touch screen on a, on a cell I mean, phone. I've edited this stuff on iMovie. <laughs> he's doing I yeah. Really I've edited it on iMovie, and I actually take the time to make no, sure he's, it doesn't look like this. But no, Windows he's, Movie he's Maker. He's having he's having to use his fingers on his phone. That's why. I can edit a better video on Microsoft Paint. <laughs> something <laughs> funny randomly. I can edit so, a better. I can edit a bit better video with fucking film and fucking scissors. Like I swear to back God. Back in the day <laughs> when I I used to do uh, work for Geeks and Gamers in like 2017, um, yes. they I, I know they <laughs> Jeremy you he edited his fucking videos on his iPhone. Oh my God! Well, I mean, it's like, that's no Jesus. fucking it's a way. Real thing. No, that doesn't surprise me. Jeremy's kind yeah, of an that idiot. was a joke. I was joking. <laughs> you just single-handedly also... discredited this entire stream by <laughs> by mentioning that. Well, I'm yeah, running this entire stream. Did he also right rename now, so... your life's work Barf? <laughs> now, now, now Dark Thor is on your ass, uh, shiny. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you used to work for Geeks and Gamers, which means well, yeah, he's, he's, he's going to be all, all of us um, part of Geeks of and Gamers. Look, work now is a very liberal term because work I am implies a fan of Geeks and gamers. that I actually got paid for what I did. Mm. Oh, that's even oh, worse. You're just a grifter, then. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he just he just employed the use of slave Shiny labor. just wants money. Rename yourself money, money, money FX. Money I was seventeen at the time. FX. That is no slave excuse. labor. I swear. <laughs> Shiny, you're such a grifter. Stupider things to come later on, so I Stupider frankly things. don't want to waste too much time. Things I heard it too. Did he do that on purpose? Is this actually meticulously well edited? I don't Hold think. No, I just. No, I, I think it was an accident. It's just, it's just how we paused it. <laughs> really needed explained to you why an unarmed woman taking out two. Ah, that is the word. I said woman. Woman. Uh -oh. Because that's what she is. There's a suspicious uh -oh. amount of women here. If she was a you man, have I would have said, said an person. unarmed man. Yeah, I should have been more more uh, yeah, exclusive, human. I guess. We, we like to say We're unarmed sentient people. Being. An unarmed sentient entity. An unarmed sentient being. No, wait, exclusive? <laughs> you mean inclusive. Because woman is exclusive. Person is inclusive. Hmm, okay. And pulling on yeah, she, fucking what about people exactly. who identify as helicopters? Well, sorry, but I'm a fucking Nazi, so like I don't know all these different... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna get clipped out of context. Well, he admits it! <laughs> <laughs> so he's just admitted under oath to being a Nazi. We <laughs> <laughs> don't want to waste too much time on it. If you really need it explained to you why an unarmed woman taking out two stormtroopers by simply slapping and pulling on their armor is fucking ridiculous, then just... Click off dude, this <laughs> dude even the amazing Spider-Man 2 has okay, a better well, explanation for something similar because at least Harry pulled a taser. <laughs> so, um, That's true. Like, if I were the choreographer of the scene, what I would have uh, had Tala do is I would have like had her quickly grab one trooper's blaster, um, and then because the the trooper would be holding onto it tightly, right? All she would have to do is like. Uh, maneuver herself around the guy so that he's then between her and the other trooper. Maybe or, sweep the legs or something. Or try to like like she pulls like hard enough that it pulls that trooper forward right, and she's like able to sort of like smack the other guy with him, and then she's got somewhat of like a human shield, like she's got yeah. some sort she of. She pulls an one. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, see, if I were choreograph uh, uh, choreographing this scene, I would have actually quit and just left the industry because this is fucking lost cause. Yeah, well, that's the that, that's <laughs> thing. It's like, it's like I just would rather not have the sequence at all. Yeah, yeah. But like, like if I, I don't, think, I just because what I'm saying is like I don't think there's a good way to have this scene. But like, if I'm, out. if I, no, so I'm not saying if I'm the writer. It's like I'm, I'm the choreographer, and this is my job. It's like okay, I'm going to do the right. best that I can with what I've got. Right. Yeah. I think if I if I'm mandated this, to have I, this I would scene, just kill myself. But if I'm, <laughs> Damn, oh, okay, shit. No, if I'm, I, I'm determined. All right, I'm not going to give up. Uh, if I, if I am tasked with doing with choreographing this scene, you overthrow Deborah Chow, take over as director. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you fucking stage a mutiny. 
and yeah. then you 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 you, re, you just take stage a coup on Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm <laughs> Civil War. There's a secret war at Lucasfilm between Southpaw and Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> My special sources have told me specifically. The yeah. slaughterhouse arrives all the same. <laughs> you will never be George Lucas. There is no George it's Lucas. That's why I stepped in. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Then just click off this video. You're clearly a lost cause. Okay, well, it's been pretty fascistic stupidity. So <laughs> Whoa! Fascistic stupidity. <laughs> Think about that. He's out of nowhere, Jesus. <laughs> what is this guy is like so insane. He, he's the type of person that hears Anulax batteries and goes, Harbulary <laughs> battery. <laughs> we already compared oh, him to Arbulary Drax because he takes everything literally. <laughs> I, I literally did that at the beginning. Okay. Of There's this, no room stream. for nuance. So. I just love how he thinks uh, he's pretty this. It. Uh, at Disneyland, there's this Ant-Man restaurant, and they actually have Harbulary batteries, and that is actually the funniest detail I've seen in my life. <laughs> Just out of everything, I've, everything ever. Wait, wait, that is wait, the is that, funniest is that, shit. Is that, a, is that a menu item? No, no, no. It, it's just like part of the because like it's an Ant Man restaurant <laughs> supposed to be like the size mechanic, right? Uh, um, and it's just one of the pieces of set dressing. It's still funny though. You know, they told us all that you were conceited douchebags, but that's not true at all. <laughs> Damn it! I'm using my left eye. <laughs> <laughs> Sexism. The analysis after all this time was unarmed woman takes out two men. So, well, uh, okay, yeah. so there's a little no, more. No, it was an unarmed no, man taking armed. on two armed men, it still wouldn't work. You said it, yeah. Unarmed. You'd have to have a, someone who armed. is incredibly about, strong. Yeah, so again, like I already brought up Brasso. Um, that's a lot more believable because he's a big dude and he fucking headbutted him, but like. That just doesn't. That's still bad. That's still not. A I good could thing. see uh, Solid Snake or maybe James Bond doing that, but uh, oh, well, even still, so. well, yeah, one's a super soldier, one's a member of MI6. Yeah, well, yeah. If you want an example soldier. of a female, you, you could right. use Black Widow as a character. Yeah, sure. Be a Black Widow. Scene I could that see that. Pulls us off. Not Civil right. War, but I mean, some <laughs> some movie, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a scene in Avengers where she takes out some like unarmed men, or no, she like she takes out armed men in armor or something. I don't know. She does in uh, I'm on too. Mm. Yeah. What's the analysis? Well, I mean, we just knew she takes on the nope. aliens, so we moved on to Leia and Kenobi in a hallway. Well, yeah, I had already explained why that scene was bad simply by describing it and showing it all for you guys to see. I'm yeah. sorry, I, I, I feel like that covered it. <laughs> but also, also is, is that a Ryan uh, Kennel? Uh, yeah, he's. Background. He's 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 lumping me in with these people who say make Marvel male again. I've never yeah. ever said that. I have I never been criticized for the super writing MCU. again. I think that would be a good thing to do. If uh, well, so, Chief, I don't know if that's true, right? Because I remember directly on a call with me, you said all sorts of things like you know up with the fourth right and down with anyone that's not white, and you said oh, some yeah, crazy I'm shit, man. So you know, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I mean, I'm gonna just go on record and say if um if every single Marvel character was a woman, but Every Marvel movie that came out uh, from this point on was as good as the first Avengers. I take that. I would take that yeah, so me too. quickly. Oh, Hell God, yeah. yeah. Awesome. I would take that as well. Uh, even if, even if the movies are bad, me. I'd still take that. Would not. Sorry, wait. Wait, what's the? <laughs> even if the movies are bad, I'd take it no matter what. Oh. I, I'd, take, I'd just take all the superheroes. Actually, I would if they were filmed by Michael Bay, so it's all desaturated and they look all sweaty. I mean, oh, like, don't forget, don't forget that Michael Jay would would shoot it very fetishistically. So I mean, hey, hey I'll just say <laughs> this right now: we get Tarantino Email on it. Iron Man, that's the way to make it. Happen. Hell yeah! No, uh, why are you complaining? You get to look I got at a women. thing. I got a thing for engineers. What can I say? Yeah, I, I, I those make Marvel male again thing is like guys like the movies are so fucking yeah. shit. Regardless of who's the Man dominant gender. Like Multiverse of Madness and Thor: Love and Thunder were two of the worst MCU Phase Four movies, I think, and they were both like the main characters were both white men. No way, home's worse. And that's also a white man. <laughs> yeah, three white men. Oh, so, yeah. It's, it's not yeah. as if everybody criticized Thor: The Dark Didn't World like back that. in the day. Yeah, no, it's not like that's the thing. It's just like nuance. <sighs> Come on. Uh, you made this vicious, sexist remark. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> Vicious. <laughs> Vicious. <laughs> Vicious. <laughs> now, unlike other people, despite what he thinks, I'm tolerant. Okay, fine. You're a raging fascist and a sexist. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. He has, he has proven this. 
hardcore. Oh, uh, is, is, is he? No, what, what's he about to say? What's he about to say? Just can analyze stuff. Even a sexist Even can analyze. Fascist can analyze stuff. You didn't analyze. What are you? What are you there. focusing on in there? What are you what saying? What are you looking at? I have never made a video on Brie Larson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't, give a, I don't give a rat's ass about Brie Larson. Why are can, you can, showing me? That's your mistake. You can I just say how funny it is for people to complain? You're still going on about Terriers 20 months later? You're still going on about Brie Larson seven years later? <laughs> <laughs> You're still I, going I, like, genuine, genuine question. Like, why Why is it specifically Brie Larson that all these people are like so hyper focused on? Like, she she said one thing one them. time. So there's a, a video. So, white men yeah, just, there's a video uh, where she says like, "Oh, a wrinkle in time." I don't want to hear what a forty-year-old white man wants to say she, about so, that film that wasn't made for made you. Made for you, yeah. She yeah, is, it's it's so that she's true. Correct. Well, hang on. She's, but that's just true. Yeah, she's yeah. accepting. She's accepting an award that has to do with some something to do with women. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm not trying to mm -hmm. ridicule it. That's just, uh, it, but it, you know. Social justice is already at the well, forefront, like like it's it's already topical uh, in this environment, right? And she mentions that like uh, black and female um, critics, like like black women are severely missed, like or underrepresented in terms of like critics, right? Like the yeah. vast majority of people reviewing a Wrinkle in Time are white men, and she says, "I don't care what a white man or what a forty-year-old white man has to say about a Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made mm -hmm. for them." And then that was then twisted into her saying that she doesn't think that white men should be critics. Which, SK, remember when when EFAP sidestepped I do. your criticism I do remember. of them to then well, complain so about people claiming that that they said that Jay Nicholson or like that women shouldn't review things on the internet that that, that like people were complaining. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, oh my well, god. Wow, they're funny. Oh they my got god. mad. At that I, I will clip. say about that pretty They got mad at that it. clip uh, when they made like an EFAP movies on. A movie she made because they were yes. like yeah she, she said that 40 year old white men shouldn't uh yeah I forget what they fucking said they also did uh, but they keep uh kept making a joke about the, the how is there a wrinkle of time uh efap movies yeah yeah they so did a wrinkle in time EFAP shit. movies it was with jay longbone and, i will um, say mm -hmm. uh Jenny Nicholson did kind of discredit herself really, really fast when she decided to make a fucking 9-11 analogy to fucking defend The Last Jedi uh, Kamikaze oh, yeah, scene. That oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was, oh, that was oh, oh, my God. God. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, like, I used to be a fan of hers. Not anymore. That was pretty, that was pretty yeah, sick. Honestly. That was really fucked up, so... But anyway, I'll... so can I quickly talk about that Brie Larson thing? Yeah, go ahead, so, Shiny. Everything that I've discovered about Brie Larson... <laughs> screams a lot to me that she doesn't know how to interact with people so i i kind of feel like a lot of it is that she doesn't know like how to interact um and that like that's got to do with at least from my inference how her, her mother was like very helicoptering her her entire life and trying to mold yeah. her into the actress that, that she would never be able to become yeah um, she's talked about how she's so, very so introverted that... and that people expect something different from her than like so that, that is, is kind of like why I feel sorry for her. But at the same time, when that specific quote where she says, um, I wasn't made for a 40 year old white man, um, that invites a whole other line of, of reasoning. Because, of course, films have target audiences. Uh, that, that's just how films are made, that they have a, a group of people that they have in mind that they want to sell it to. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the actual enjoyment of a film, anyone should be able to enjoy it. Um, right, but that's Can I just finish this? Uh, if we start saying that certain groups of people cannot have an opinion on a film no. based upon their ethnicity, that's not what she's then saying. I think that opens that's up all of the can of worms. But that's, that's not at all what, what you, again, that's not at all what she said, though. Like, she said she didn't like, want to hear so, what a white man has to say about a wrinkle in time. That is yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just draw a, a comparative statement, right? So let's say, like, I'm not interested in what uh, an Amazonian tribesman thinks of Lord of the Rings. wasn't made for them. That's not me saying that Amazonian tribes people can't enjoy Lord of the Rings, although they're not allowed to enjoy Lord of the Rings. That sounds incredibly That's dismissive. Just, I mean, not no, really. I think that is fair enough. <laughs> like, if you want to get a point out, that that's an immediate turnoff for people, and people can e easily take it, like, a pretty negative way. Um, what if okay, I, turn I, around, I, 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 I don't, don't want to hear what Jenny Nicholson there, think thinks about Star well. Wars because it wasn't made for her. Okay, okay but the so, thing is, like, Star Wars very clearly wasn't made for people like her, so that would just be, be wrong. Just, yeah. in, just in theory, if I if I came out and said that, 
if I said Star Wars was made for men, uh, I don't want to hear what Jane Nicholson says about it because she's a woman. Well, no, that would no, be interesting. No, no, again, well, no, because then I'd be like, you're an idiot, and the reason that you're specifically being an idiot it does scream of sexism because you've clearly misinterpreted who this audience is in a way that's confirming your pre-existing biases, right? Well, I, I suppose okay, the, the bone I'll throw you here is I think you're right when I think when you say she's not particularly socially competent and that there's a better way of wording what she said. I do, however, think that like anyone with half a brain cell who isn't looking to be offended would read what she'd said or hear what she'd said and be like, oh, she probably means this. Right. So, like, <laughs> when I say I don't care what EFAP has to say on anything, it's like I don't really care for their opinion. Yeah, I don't value their opinion. However, that's not saying that he can't have an opinion or mm -hmm. that other people can't value their opinion. Um, it's just that well, I don't. But I wouldn't yeah. go further, right? I don't even. I don't even think she's going that far because basically she's no. talking like in a capacity of critics, right? So she's like, right. she's not saying I'm not interested at all in what any white male thinks about this movie. She's saying I'm not interested in hearing the general consensus put forward on this, put forward on this movie by white male critics because it's not they're not the people this was aimed at. So they're not the, the people who are yeah. in the best position to I be, made the, yeah, be the, the critics. Exact of this. same theoretical statement about Star Wars, but then the exact same theoretical statement made about a different film, but with a different race that. One's considered sexist, but not the other. I don't get that. Then I if, don't. If, think if we're so. theoretically going with I the exact don't. same quote. Okay, so give me so give me an example in the other direction, then. All right. Let, let's say um, I don't want to hear what Anita Kizian has to say about Doom, for instance, because Doom, I, I would say, is is very male target audience. Or like I don't think Frank, Frank Herbert. Herbert. Well, hang on. I don't. I don't think Frank Herbert would agree with you there. I don't think he sat down and wrote his book and said only this is this is only for men. Well, I'm trying to think of something which. Well, how about how about like Dun how about like Dunkirk? Man. Wait, no, you because said you Doom, just not Doom, not Doom, right? right? You said Doom, game. the video game. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, I said, oh, sorry, yeah. I said Doom. Oh. Uh, uh, Doom, Doom. Okay, oh, again, no, I, I would yeah. disagree. Sorry, I misheard you. Then, in which case, I'd still like I'd say you have a slightly better point there, but I'd still disagree that I don't think the people who made Doom sat down and were like, "We don't want female players playing this game." Well, That's like anyone who well, enjoys. Then why oh, wait for me to explain it if I could? Is like so. Because it's a film about the experience of being a black woman in a certain way, mm -hmm. in the same way where, like, if I made a, a, a film about the experience of being trans, I would very much more care about the opinions of trans people than um, mm -hmm. cis people talking about it, because it's an experience that cis people can't understand. Mm -hmm. And it would be in the same way to say that, um, like, a 40-year-old white man can't understand the experience that Wrinkle in Time is supposedly about. I well, don't know, I haven't watched the film. I, 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 I can't, so, I, I, I'll, I'll hang on, because this will be the last thing I say on this, right? Because I think we should move on. But um, yeah, I'll even push back slightly in that direction. I'm just like, I don't even think it's... it's you need to be like really careful when you make statements like this of just like who your audience is. So, for example, if a trans director made a movie about the trans experience, but they were the movie was intended to be for cis people, it was intended by the director to be like, I want cis people to try and understand what it's like to be trans. Mm -hmm. Then I would be more interested in hearing a cis person's perspective than a trans person's perspective because of they course, were the person it was made for. It's yeah, a different type. And of so, like, but yeah, I get, I get it. To, to to give Shiny the the the, the kind of example in the other direction for him. Uh, I'm not particularly. I'm not particularly interested in hearing what a white male critic has to say. About, sorry, a straight white male, white male critic has to say about Owl House. I, 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 as a person, I'd be very interested in hearing what they, as a person thought about it. But I'm not interested in that show being judged by the standards of white heteronormative cis males because it's not mm -hmm. intended to be. Um, like, do, do, you see, do you see the difference? I think it's fine for someone to not care what Anita Sarkeesian yeah. or like. So if 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 the vast vast well, vast if majority I'm just specifically of... discriminating against Anita Sarkeesian based on her gender, that was the the point of the that I was trying to make. So the specific example. Well, that, but it's that's not a thing, discrimination. Like, so... It's just a statement of who's best. Okay, well, I, what, I, I think, think we should you, move you, on. But... Because well, well, you've got two people making the same criticisms. So you've got like Anita Sarkeesian making the criticism about Dune Doom. So just to be specific, uh, and then you've got like say Saigon of a Cat theoretically making this exact same criticism. To to dismiss one based upon their gender, like if I was to dismiss any Dickesian because of her gender and not because of what she's saying, I think that would be at, at, you know, actually sexist. Um, so but it's not about dismissing. Uh, uh, again, so this is it's actually one nail it down. The thing we lost in this thing is not that she doesn't like that she doesn't think people aren't entitled to an opinion or that their opinions don't matter in some kind of like uh, sense of like that of worth right she's saying that like when it comes to judging a thing the intended audience of that thing are the people who's who's you know their yay or nay is really what's going to make it right like if i make music the opinions of deaf people don't really matter to me 
Right. Oh, but that's yeah. the, the, the part that I, I'm agreeing with with Sky. So I, I didn't get to say that because uh, Jolly already jumped in before I, I could respond to that. Oh, but yeah, I, I was I was definitely um, I, I definitely agree with Sky that like if you made a film about a particular experience, um, like, because I suppose when when I'm thinking more about films, I'm thinking more about uh, I don't know uh, the Great Escape, or I'm thinking about Star Wars. I, mm-hmm. I'm thinking about absolutely anything. You know, th- the films that are supposed to be, they might have target audiences. Um, even Doom might have a target audience, but it, it's not designed in mind for a, a specific, you have to have a specific experience previously to enjoy that. And yeah. So um, I, in, in those particular cases, I would have to go and understand A Wrinkle in Time. I'd have to go and watch it to understand the context, if, if that does apply. Mm-hmm. However, um, I do see where Sky is coming from. Re- regarding, I'm I'm so sorry. One last, I, I just wanted to chime on this. Regarding uh, whose opinion of Doom is like I I like if if uh, Anita Sarkeesian is not in Doom's target audience, but Stargon of Akkad is, then I am going to find Stargon of Akkad's take on it more. I am going to care more about that than Anita Sarkeesian's because if Doom is somehow bad by his standard, even though he's in the target audience, that means something a lot more. Then if it's not good by Anita Sarkeesian standard when she's not even in the target audience, like I'm not the right person to talk about horror movies. People shouldn't care about what I have to say about a horror film. I'm just but an enjoyment of a horror film isn't something that you would base down to gender. No, but the thing is, the, the no. point of it being about gender with something like A Wrinkle in Time is because that the the experience of the film relates to gender a video game like that you wouldn't relate it to gender so for example i hate i yes. don't really like shooter games so if you were to talk you were know, to ask me about like my opinion on shooter games i wouldn't be the person to do it not because you know it's just because i don't have the experience of being into mm-hmm. shooter games you, you'd ask someone that has that experience it's the same thing about if you're trying to portray something in a film relating to a very specific experience such as a you know, a black woman, then you would ask a black woman about that experience if it was well portrayed, rather than a white man who doesn't understand that um, that experience in itself. I think video games is harder to compare it to um, because a well, lot of I just think there's just a... based on like ways of playing in genre. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll put it like as... Um... I'll, 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 agree, I'll agree in theory if I haven't seen A Wrinkle in Time and I don't understand. Yeah, I haven't either, so it's all in theory. So for it, me it, too. if you're if you're, you're, you're if it's accurate, then I will certainly agree in theory. Yeah. Um, and, but I think we could probably agree it could have been word, worded a lot better. Oh yeah, I agree with that too. Oh yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, I would also. I, mean, I would also ask: um, Is this would this be analogous to I don't know? Let's say addressing criticism towards the Mario movie, and someone were to say, "Well." The movie was made for people who played the games and were fans of the games, um, and mm-hmm. it's not made for like typical uh, film critics out there that are covering it. I think that's a, yeah, like I think, I, I think it's fair if you were like I want to hear what Mario fans have to say about the film rather than like general. They'd have yeah. a lot like, more. I care yeah. way more about what Jeb says about the Mario movie than I care I, about what a random person on Twitter. Yeah, says. I the, the, mm-hmm. the sentiment of what Brie Larson was saying was I care way more about what people in the target audience have to say yeah, right. than people who aren't in the target audience. And the problem is that a lot of uh, a lot of white men, a lot of fragile white men. <laughs> you know, not to say that if you are a white man, you are fragile, but people who heard this got really upset about it, even mm-hmm. though it's like if you're reading it in good faith, there's a pretty understandable interpretation of what she means here, even if it's not like got the best wording. But like someone who looks into this and then assumes that Brie Larson is actually like a race of sex is like, fuck off. Would you would you say that there was a failure to make a basic good faith inference here? <laughs> Absolutely. This is just a problem with this crowd in general. It goes all the way back to the Brie Larson grifting days. Oh, so so you're saying they're incapable of good faith? Yes. 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 And all, <laughs> at, 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 at this point, at this point, I'm fine with saying that these guys are incapable of good faith. We, I mean, damn. we do need to move I on. Think we should move that. on. Yes. Um, yeah. But I do. Yeah. Before we continue, I'll read out the super chat that I got from Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. For <laughs> I love that dollars. In my opinion, I think the sequel trilogy was bad because of how they were written and how they handled Luke and the other OT characters. So that's like every person yeah, does in anyone... Paul's opinion. <laughs> yeah, I will say this, Megatron. I, I, I love seeing Transformers fans. Jazz, I actually so. disagree. I dislike them because the main character is a woman. Oh, yeah, that is true. Uh, anyway. He's really kind of cutie, though. 
I'm really yeah. showing my true colors this stream. I hope you guys are cool with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dark yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. We'll 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 be like Mauler. We'll just uh, you know twiddle our thumbs. You know, just sit, sit there, sit here with our thumbs up our asses, just not really say anything when you're when you're going on these diatribes. Yeah. It's great. Good. Good. Cool. Armed men. Can I imagine a scenario where this is possible? Yes. I can imagine a scenario where an unarmed. Okay. So. Show it to us. Yeah. First of all, she she's armed. Um, yeah, Red I guess I want to know armed. what he's gonna say, but like you're just showing pictures of women characters, and depending <laughs> on the context, it, maybe it makes sense that Padme, for instance, like I don't know, like if she was in a fist fight with Newt Gunray, I'd be like, yeah, of course she fucking won that. <laughs> but like Padme herself isn't even that strong in terms of her physical strength. Her main strength is politics. Yeah, like she's good with a blaster, but like I mean, in, a, in yeah. a combat you situation, I don't know that she's gonna do. But again, like against fucking Newt Gunray, I, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. fine with that. Against maybe like two stormtroopers who are escorting her to a prison cell. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, just how tall she was sexist. when her when yeah her well, clothes were ripped out apart. Like I'm just saying, like. Also, why would you stand directly next to your prisoner? What, like, surely you'd stand behind. Them, why is right? she not cuffed? Yeah. yeah. Why is she? Why was she allowed to keep her calm? Like, the only reason she sprung to action was because her calm started going off because Obi Wan started talking to her. They why did they not take that off of her? Yeah. Why is she allowed to go God mode? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfectly possible. It's possible. I'm not even trying. It doesn't fit the context. To get female subscribers. It's rare but possible. Like possible. possible. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm not even rare, but possible. <laughs> so Thank God, we're playing that again. Unarmed woman. I two armed oh, this is this is possible. literally just. I, I can believe it's possible. I can believe it's possible. I can believe it's possible. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to play the clip of him of him saying it. Female subscribers. He says, "I'm not trying to. I'm not just trying to get female subscribers. Like, like, okay. <laughs> what? Sure, you're not. Jesus. You've never felt the touch of a woman, Dark Thor. I didn't think you were, but I, <laughs> oh now I'm suspecting it. I don't know. <laughs> now that you mentioned it, yes. if he didn't yes. lampshade it, then I wouldn't have assumed yeah. anything. Or it's like you know, very you, suspiciously specific denial. You know, uh, imagining you like you go outside of work, right? You like you're you're walking by the dumpster, and your coworker Randy is like putting something in the dumpster, and you're like, hey, oh, hey, man, have a good night. And he's like, yeah, I'm not I'm putting not like a dead body women. in here. Like I'm just kind of you know, I'm taking out the trash, and you're like, well, I didn't think you were, but now I kind of want to, I want to <laughs> see, just for my own safety. Yeah. Have you noticed yeah, that um, like this is a random like, example? Um, That's never it's happened. Like to that me, really. It's like that <laughs> joke of like people keep asking me questions that my never committed war crime shirt is answering. Yeah, have you like <laughs> noticed that when I when when talking about like victim blame, I'm like, I'm not a rapist or anything. I just think that this is really bad. You're like, oh, hmm. uh, why did you <laughs> um, have to clarify that? <laughs> yeah, now that's in question. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Maybe don't uh -huh. lampshade horrible things about yourself. <laughs> Maybe don't say he's horrible. horrible. He's, just, he's, he's just a simp. Uh -huh. It's not horrible mm. to be a simp. It's okay if you want if you want to have a girl from Dark Thor. Dude, Dark Thor, I, can, I can hook you up. I, I know some... <laughs> I know some, I know some insane women. Yeah. <laughs> There's a suspicious amount of women in his audience. I can hook you up with some exes. I've met yeah, a lot I of women, guarantee... unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you'll stop that making videos point. like this if you get a girlfriend. If you touch some grass. We believe in you. No, I don't think that relationship would last more than eight seconds. Well, again, because like what, one can everything hope. Everything she says in bad faith and twist her words. Exactly. He would just and every time she complains, the toilet yeah. seat was left open. Because <laughs> he's a piece of shit. And he's like, do you hate when I flush the toilet? And it's like that's that's not what I said. <laughs> I, know, I know some. I know some women who also pretend to be college professors. <laughs> god. Oh my god! I have, I have met I have met many women who pretend to be college professors. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't want to know. Possible. The you said analysis. So far, we've gotten one maybe valid point with the same. Maybe, maybe. maybe. I, personally, maybe. this is a valid point. But others, reasonable people, could disagree and say. I don't see a problem, but at least that's a pl yeah reasonable. So, uh, what, why does that matter? What other people are like? I could disagree. Like, so okay, is... then then raise the point. I guess he's trying to art, like really paint just how bad I am at this at this analysis. That while he does agree with one of my points, you know, he's throwing me a bone. There's an argument to be made about why it's actually wrong. Am I going crazy, or have I only heard him take on two points so far? 
Yeah, he's only um, yeah, the armor much. and the and the the lightsabers. But there's, I mean, and then the, like okay. you know, the sexism that so, avenue. Well, SK, when remember, shot? remember when SK? Remember in the first our first coverage of EFAP exterior streams? Uh-huh. I waited till like we were later in after we'd gone through almost every argument. I was like, "Hey, chat, have they said anything that's correct yet that we haven't just rebutted?" I do remember. Yeah, I waited until I had a lot of references. Not two, a lot. Yeah, so like yeah. that. That that says a lot more than if it's just like, oh, he has like one point. I agree with that. This other, this other stuff is like you've only addressed one other point. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. it means a lot if you I have mean, like I'm... a dozen <laughs> arguments and they're yeah, all. Yeah, you address two one. of my points and one of them is right and one of them is wrong. Then that doesn't mean I'm bad I'll... at my job. That just means I got like one thing wrong. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm I'm more fixated on his statement that reasonable people can disagree because how the fuck would he know? Like he's never, he's never one he unreasonable thing. It's like it's like what what I'm dealing with in this video is like okay, so it's not like nobody checked the car at the border is the only incorrect thing in this like heap of arguments. It's the funniest one. It's, it's like a whole it's ocean of inaccuracies. Sure, yeah. yeah, it's like it's it's a huge gish gallop. I'm gonna break it down point by point by point. This is the funniest one, the most iconic <laughs> one for a very good reason. But the rest of the arguments are bad, and I'm like, now, I didn't address all of their arguments in total about the show, but I addressed a pretty big one. I'm like, you know, it's just maybe you shouldn't trust yeah, what they say. Maybe you should. You want to know? Them. You want to know what makes uh, the actions of Hank and Brett okay? They were let go. They were it, let it, go. No, you. They know were let go. The the the, the reason that the, that the show doesn't acknowledge that the characters are bad people is because Brit is smiling at the thought of <laughs> that is uh, someone in chat just said why is his mic quality terrible trust me this is when it's good it's gonna get a lot worse <laughs> this is when it's good <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, i swear to you it gets worse he, he downgrades yeah valid issue everything else was just like Fascist, moronic nonsense. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Holy fascist, fuck. You see he likes that word. That's not he, Tala, Dark Thor. That's I'll someone else, you second. fucking idiot. He's not wearing armor. <laughs> this is clearly, like, this isn't even full-on sparring. Like, I, I've been in martial arts classes. I know what these people are doing. Or did he just Google women fighting? This is... Yes. Yeah. Or like yes. women beating up men that's, or something. If I were it's, to, like, in matches like this, this is, it's not scored if, if, if you can were, like beat the shit out of the other person. It's scored by how many correct punches you land. Literally, yeah. this dude, is, dude, it, I, it, it's not. It's supposed to harm them. <laughs> it's literally a warm up. This is a warm up exercise at the beginning of the class. If if I were put, if I were to put him on a scale of Dark Knight Rises goon to Batrock the Leaper. He is well below <laughs> Dark Knight Rises goon. Yeah. Okay. So I just no no no. I'm sorry. I'm I'm very triggered by this as someone who's who's done martial arts classes. So if they were actually sparring each other, they would be wearing helmets. They'd be wearing a lot more gear than just their gloves. This That's right true. here is just they are just they're 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 doing like a drill for like practicing their technique, their form, not well, he throwing any weight behind those punches. Southpaw, and also he, he didn't put any thought into that. He just li- he literally googled women beating up men. Yeah. Just, yeah. And, well, and then I have to, I have to nitpick this. I'm so sorry. Uh, the guy doesn't have his hands up. The girl doesn't have her left hand up, and that's apparently proper form in karate or taekwondo. But that's highly triggering to me. As someone who <laughs> Dark Thor, where is the evidence that this guy stumbled around like a bobblehead after this punch? You, you say that women can't fight. Well, here's a you know, picture. He might have recuperated pretty well. Yeah, that's, a that's what I'm session. saying. He'd have a better example of an MMA. Who- Fighter, what if what if they were just posing? What if she didn't even punch him? But they're I think yeah, they they a stock fine. photographer came in and all was like, right, "All right, do some poses." Well, well, context is I, I beyond him. So. Just you you well, say that women there. can't oh. fight men. Well, here is a picture of a black belt in karate throwing a punch with a nebulous degree of force behind it at a dude, <laughs> while her other hand fails to protect her head. How Ergo, long? It just fucking hit me. Fight. How long is he? So, um, it would be a much better like uh, comparison if if you were to uh, just take a little bit of time looking at videos on YouTube, seeing if you, if you could find maybe like footage in the news or whatever of a woman kicking the ever loving shit out of two guys who are armed to the teeth. That would oh. work. That would oh, be very good. 
Yeah, yeah that, would, uh, that would do a lot. That'd be yeah. funny. Although, yeah. I mean, this, if they, though, if this they were, uh, the, the, I mean, the problem with that, of course, would still be that, like, um the this theoretical woman actually kicking the shit out of two guys that are armed to the teeth like would actually be employing real fighting moves and not just lightly slap. slapping them in the face yeah but i want to I wanna this also... is basically like saying the earth is flat because look at this picture of the earth t- that i took like when i was on a mountain look how flat <laughs> the world looks it's wanna... so flat obviously I want to clarify uh, my my comment on having taken martial arts classes. So I am not trying to nitpick uh, whether this is proper karate or taekwondo. Yes, you are. I'm not entirely sure what. You're just uh, a grifter. This could be either one. It could be a totally proper form, but like in terms of self defense, this is shit. Yeah, the motion blur is whoever brought brought up that point. That's that's good too. It just hit <laughs> yeah, me that he fucking put she hulk. A... Oh yeah, I've been, I've been someone waiting with Hulk powers. Like, yeah. why is that? Why do you think that's a defense? If you replace Tala, idiot. if you replace Tala with She Hulk in that scene, I would fully buy that she'd be. Yeah, because she has she has super strength. <laughs> that's not Tala was on She Hulk mode. You promised and said analysis, so you're lying. You what promised you evidence, and we got you're nothing. Lying. You're lying. What the fuck? I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for the research. You're lying. Whole time, and it's. Hey guys, I'm just gonna be a sexist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. I'm gonna be, you need to open your next video I'm with that. Hey that guys, game. I'm gonna be a sexist. Hey uh, guys, I'm gonna be a sexist. We need a screenshot. We need a screenshot of Wedge. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna this wedge, okay? into a sexist. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be a, wedge be a sexist. Meme, all right? Can you change that to your channel trailer? Oh. Like just, just that clip. You <laughs> start your next video. Be just that. creations one. It's one. I like being sexist. It makes, <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> I'm saving the screenshot so I can make memes out of it. It's gonna be wedge and it says, I'm, "I'm gonna be sexist." Red five. I'm gonna be sexist. Sexist <laughs> <laughs> leaders. <laughs> Sexist. I'm just imagining that movie. Like, no, like red one standing by, red two standing by, red three. I'm gonna be sexist. Uh. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Uh, there are women on Yavin, so I think it's best if we just cut our losses and get out of here. <laughs> so Dark Thor only takes things literally when it benefits him. Who would have guessed? Because he's saying you, you said no, I'm gonna be a sexist. sexist. Oh, that's someone... hyperbole. Hyperbole, obviously, Someone's but wanting just elaboration on the literally. just creations one. So his his Twitter at his Twitter handle is literally just just creations one. <laughs> we call him Dark Thor because that's like the shortened version of his really long name on Twitter. But like, <laughs> did you know but that just creations one is just hilarious? <laughs> his full name is Dark Thor, the Neo Usual Anti Nazi Pro Tolkien Pro T L O U. Imagine that someone procreates with this right, guy Joe, and we get a Just Creations 2. <laughs> <laughs> I love that his profile picture is... Um, he put it, he put it in uh, his... With Netflix. If, if someone That's actually the, um... procreated with him, he would probably put Procreation in, it, in his uh, Twitter name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Pro Creations One. <laughs> pro Creations Pro The Last of Us. God, imagine imagine this guy being your father. Oh, I'd rather God, have Darth Vader. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, let's hope this guy's never. Daddy, but... you're not a college Look at professor. what they need to mimic a fraction of our creations. <laughs> <laughs> I sincerely hope his genes never pass on. <laughs> well, just to um, I so... with him. You know, I, I just will say never that not create. everyone's built to be a parent. I'm not going to insult him personally. I'm just saying not everyone should be a parent. Just I, I hope I'm going to insult him personally. I, I, He's a bitch. I hope that if ever he tries to pass on a pair of denim pants to someone, that they just don't accept it. That's how much I don't want his genes to pass on. <laughs> when when they say anyone can cook, that doesn't mean anyone should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jolly, we mean everyone me? can. He's passed on a meme instead of a gene. Jolly, were you gonna say something to me that I think that, that, that I missed? Probably some racist. No, no, don't. Uh, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, of course. All right. Christ. Oh, whoops. God, I hate the space bar. You can be a sexist, but still do analysis. All you just said is that's an unarmed woman. Great. Unarmed women. Ah, yeah, that's all you said. Fuck. That's all you said. You said unarmed, unarmed women. I'm very scared of unarmed well, women. Okay, hold up, hold up. Read what Thanos is saying here. Just I let have that deep, sink in. Dark thoughts to consider. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> is that me reacting to a woman beating up a man? I'm sorry. Because uh, I agree. I, I missed the part of Tala. I missed the part where Tala uh, does a huge sidekick. <laughs> uh, he was again. He's forgetting the fact that these slap. people aren't wearing armor. Well, so like, well, hold okay, on. So you know how they're cuffed. If she's cuffed, but like the actress is like trained in savat or some big kickboxing martial art. Savat is the is a martial art that George Saint Pierre is actually trained in, um, and you see it showcased in in his uh, fight with Captain America in the Winter Soldier. By the way, um, uh, if if she while cuffed did a kick like this to a stormtrooper's throat, I could believe her. I could believe that buying her some time to deal with the other guy. Um, but she didn't do that. She lightly tapped the other stormtrooper's helmet. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's she, kind of you should have. I mean, if she, if she had like tripped them up, and you know how there's like kind of gaps in the stormtrooper's armor, if she had like tripped one of them up and then like kicked them really hard in the throat once they're on the ground or something, yeah. like I don't know, that could. You know what I was actually thinking of was I, I was thinking of Mystique in the original X Men movies. Mm. She's like all about this really acrobatic, kicky, flippy shit. Like she's able to. I think that she actually has a fight scene in X Men Three where she's able to do this for a short period of time. Um, like that's never been an issue yeah because she, yeah mystique like she gets a good grab on people like she'll grab people like by the neck and then like you know kick them and knock them out because mystique's hits actually look like they hurt yeah yeah if, he, so. if she like right hooked him that mm -hmm. would be more believable and you could hear his neck crack yeah, yeah. like i said just ha or like have her kick him in the throat have her have her use her uncuffed hand for whatever reason to throat chop him. Do a Do an Liam uppercut. Mason and take him. Uppercuts are actually really effective. Or, just or make it look more impactful. Literally, take him in the like, butt. literally slam her, her hand down tube. onto the top of his skull. I'd be just like, ooh, that would probably hurt if I had a helmet on. Take take him in the balls. Yeah. It was clearly like a first take of like she didn't know what she was supposed to do to the stormtroopers and the stormtroopers didn't know what they were supposed to be reacting to. Like they did what they were being paid to do, but it doesn't mean they could yeah. make sense. Just fucking do another Sheev, take. You should have be a criticized the. Child. You needed to criticize the troopers themselves more. You can't give dipshits like this any leeway. You should have said. Uh, you should have mentioned how the the second trooper didn't use his gun even though it was right next to his hand. New York. He just kind of like says... stood there. Neo Arcadia says he will single-handedly need a license to be a parent. Yeah, we will have to create an entire new branch of the government, the Department of Parental Licensure for Just Creations One. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, God. Get, let's get this fucking video. We're not even halfway through at all. You just Jesus moved on. Christ. So apparently, sexism okay. Yes, fascism is okay. Ooh, Great, what? good for you. I'm waiting for some analysis. All you gave us was maybe half a valid point on Saber, which is not even a Kenobi issue. It's a Star Wars issue. I noticed that, that, that this, uh, this dude with a hoodie um, is not wearing a helmet. Also, no, she's, she's elbowing him in the face and yeah. not lightly. She's also clearly him. throwing that's her probably... body into it. You can see she's basically yeah. pivoting, throwing yeah, all of her force into it. probably going to hurt a lot more than what Tala does. Yep. And it's an elbow versus a hand. Yeah. An elbow is all boned. You get hit in the jaw with that, that's going to fucking hurt. Ray Stevenson is dead? Oh, yeah, that happened. Oh, you don't notice. Yeah. I did not notice that, no. Rest in peace. Hmm. Let's have a moment of silence. Also, why the hell are the fucking Inquisitors here? What is what is this at? Very brief moment. Is it because she why beat they him off technically screen. by stabbing him? Is that Even what though saying? he shouldn't have stood there to take the stab, yeah, whatever. Fuck Thankfully, he has two canonical stomachs. So yeah, he has two stomachs. Sure. He's stupid, but apparently you are. <laughs> You're some vicious, lying, sexist moron. But mm -hmm. you did take at least half a valid point for the safe. So Ooh. you know. There you go. So, so in this whole two and a half hours, you made at least two and a half points, maybe. And you've so, made zero. Yeah, this is pretty much. <laughs> I feel like I'm zero for two here. Yeah. <sighs> Which, unfortunately. And yeah, it's pretty sexist. Is he really th too lazy to uh, like get actual footage of a woman like hitting a man? Because they're all posed pictures. I don't fucking get it. Get a fucking video, dude. You can't screen record? He, he's don't scared have the technology? 
Now he's scared that by watching the video, he'll download right. Because he can he's... obviously he downloaded my video, so clearly he, he can download. Video. <laughs> he downloaded he has all to his download video. Steve's video. He has to download all these images. Like, yeah, you, so... if you can download something, you can download a video, probably. <laughs> Yeah, he's scared of watching a video and getting a boner by seeing a woman beat a man. <laughs> so that was video three. Um, I'm a sexist, yeah. confirmed. This is video yeah, four, the you. one I was talking about, where he just plays a snippet from Mahler's Rise of Skywalker video, and then it's, it has nothing to do with the video. Oh, great. So this will be fun. Or that. Stay tuned, folks. The First Order then sends some troopers after our heroes, and they begin to fly while chasing them. Oh, they fly now! Well, I'm almost halfway done with this video. That had, oh, that, wow. just, that had nothing to do with anything that's going to be said in this video. I just because guys... she flies now. She She's entered now. God mode. <laughs> <laughs> they fly now? Overwhelmingly terrible. I could really only spot maybe two valid criticisms made within a long, long time. And some of these points are then negated by the person admitting, well, this is based on speculation. Oh, not very much to respond to that. Wow. Which doesn't negate the point. Holy anyway. cow. This person literally contradicts and is lying within the space of less than a minute. That's downright consistent then, isn't it? All the stormtroopers are blind. That must be why they have such bad aim. Maybe that's why that dumb motherfucking stormtrooper bonked his head on the door. <laughs> I make Star Wars perpetually goofy and capable of telling any good stories with depth, nuance, or subtlety from then until the end of time. No, but unironically, the kind of logic... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is an underrated visual for it, talking about the leaps in logic. <laughs> um, uh, uh, you got yeah, Megatron, time. leader of the Decepticons, another five dollars. Thank you very much. I think all of you guys are cool and very level-headed. Definitely stubbed. Uh, also, I love Transformers, mainly G1, Beast Wars, uh, Arm Armada, Animated, and Prime. I don't know. Based. I grew up with, uh, I grew up with uh, G1, Beast Wars, uh, and I also watched Animated, and I've seen some of Prime. Those shows are fucking kick-ass. I, am, I grew I am, up with uh, Transformers Cybertron. I grew up surrounded Ooh, nice. by Transformers. I, I'm going to <laughs> read this super chat in good faith and assume that I am included in that. That I am cool and very level-headed, and I would like to thank Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. He said um, all of you. You are not level-headed. You get mad over fucking TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I I called my friends rape apologists because they didn't like a TV exactly. show. Exactly. Yeah, and you're sitting here talking about good faith. Yeah, you're just yeah. obsessed with EFAP. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't spend four months being mad that they didn't like a TV show. Once oh a month, oh, a third of a fucking year. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, a year and two thirds of a fucking year. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> to be exact, get a touch grass. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm actually expecting for this part so i'm preparing for it ahead of time we all understand why that's obviously dumb we can move on okay cool well these stormtroopers may be blind but thankfully for our boy they ain't deaf in fact he uses the same move on them that he'll later use on another pair of stormtroopers to momentarily distract them so he can slip away oh you sneaky old coot you rascal you you can't teach this jedi master new tricks i certainly love callbacks to better stories when and where applicable so you're saying that the Imperials are super incompetent? Okay. Yes. Uh, Putting aside yeah. that's canonical. <laughs> like oh, God. no! No, at certain <gasps> points it is. Oh, and no. even if it was Remember canonical... No. When the Stormtroopers no. were actually, like, kicking the shit out of the Rebels in the beginning <sighs> of the film? You mean where they missed all those shots on Han when he was gunning to the Falcon? <laughs> uh, I'm talking about what the, they <laughs> made the Corvette. Made the what? They the, the the, at the beginning, yeah, but no. Uh, oh, at the beginning. SK, okay. No, I just needed point, to make fun of the OT just to be mean. To your point, no. Um, I mean, the the shootout lasted for like three seconds, and they weren't expecting to see him, and they started shooting at him, and they missed a few shots, and he ran up into the. In, in, there were like uh, twelve the of ship. them or nine of them, and they were yeah. all shooting like, like at the same time. There were three or four. There weren't that many. Yeah, there were like there were like four, but, but like also, um, Let me look it up. Because I'm pretty sure because they were also taking cover behind the the walls because he was shooting at them and he was hiding behind the uh, the ramp. 
I, I would say that a few seconds is not that big of a deal. One, two, three, yeah. four. I mean, they're definitely caught off guard. Well, if it lasts there. three it's seconds, not... I don't think it's any. No, they started shooting hard. at him first. There were like four of them doing it. Um, okay. But it's not yeah. canonical that the Empire are, are, are stupid. That's fuck, fuck that. Yeah, no, no I don't even then. That. I'm, I was just making keep fun making of them moment. stupid. Is a like it's a terrible defense because you know having your villains be dumbasses doesn't help the stakes of your plot. Yeah. You if clearly stupid things, don't enjoy space balls the right way. It. But what if the heroes yeah, are stupid on, too? Like, an actual flaw they have mm. is canonical. They are incompetent fools. That that is the canon. Nope. It's not. Oh no, this is stupid too. Oh yeah, what? this is stupid. But it's not canon that they're very stupid. stupid. Yes, but it's from the OT, which I think is perfect. So clearly, yeah. he's highlighting yeah, your consistency. The Return of the Jedi is the exception to the rule, and Disney canon has treated it as if it is the rule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. not, not well, the, Disney canon you know, has taken perfect, the meme perfect, of the stormtroopers yeah. not knowing how to aim, and they've made it canonical. Mm -hmm. Pretty I mean, much. Yeah, yeah, there's fucking Mando. That we actually pay attention. The Empire is not nearly as stupid as Disney canon portrays them. There is, like, yeah. two jokes in Mando, and there's a few jokes in Rebels that make it... About how they can't see. Oh, and how I it, like, hate yeah. that. Rebels? Mm -hmm. Wow, you can't hit anything. You really are a stormtrooper. Uh, Good one. Uh, these blast points, uh, only Imperial stormtroopers are so precise. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so glad you didn't say the other line about sand people, because then my brain went to another thing that I put in the chat earlier. Oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Transformers ad. You'll love it. I'm sure I won't. Just look at the screenshot. Oh. You'll see what I mean. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, let's fucking do this. Worst fucking meme ever. I don't. Is this gonna get copyrighted? Because he's literally just playing Return of the Jedi. Well, he's like moving I mean, in with. He's yeah, uh, that is okay. such an effect. Holy like, crap. Like, I'm feeling sick. Right okay, so yeah, this is yeah, not this the Stormtroopers being a comptor. This is a Stormtroopers being shit. This is garbage. Also, uh, <laughs> what you guys well, are seeing here... This. They point out things in the bat in like, like they point out bad writing in, um, in like the, the, the Sacred Cow trilogy or whatever, and they think no. that justifies it, and it's like, no, it doesn't. What, what you guys are seeing here, by the way, is literally what I was seeing when I was having my stroke. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, seriously? Stroke yeah, my like it actually looks like this. Like it, yeah. like I had a, I had like a stroke that well, like, you entered I was, stroke like, mode and getting extremely dizzy <laughs> while I was stroke also mode. Stroke mode. <laughs> Yeah, this is I, I entered stroke mode. That's right. <laughs> but you Just know what? I stroking one. I, I survived this stroke after like three days of no medical attention because I was on God mode. South yeah. by yeah. stroke of good luck. I'll stop stroking. So. Literally, like when, like, like literally in the hospital, my brother was like, looking at me, he's like, you realize that you've got plot armor, right? Like you should have died. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you had a stroke and you didn't go to the hospital for like four days. You should be dead. You had good writing behind you. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it was bad writing that I survived, remember? Plot armor well, was bad no, writing. Southpaw, your brain is made of Beskar, so it's okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I love Return of the Jedi. Warts and all. I mean, I can't understand what's happening Why right now, the hell is he doing it this way? That. I see yeah. this is what he's doing to avoid copyright. There are ways yeah, no, to get around giving... copyright without doing this. I can't this I don't barely know what's happening. Maybe maybe mirror. <laughs> like every there's other all shot. kinds of tricks that you can fucking you use. I, in my videos, overlay, I put a Polish like, cow dancing the over footage, it. Yeah. Change the tone of the, the sounds. Yeah, like, edit the it together as well, like so you cut out certain clips so it makes it harder to detect. Yeah, or you can just like... not be a pussy and play the actual clip. <laughs> And well, not that would use the definitely whole thing. get it taken down. Yeah. Okay, yeah, then don't use guys, and don't use an extended. We won't have a problem with that. Three minutes long, or, or just yeah, cut out some shots. Cut it down. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like so so how is long does he go on? Okay, he doesn't video. go on for much longer. Because Jesus Christ, this is so long. You don't need to There's go. No we long get it. They're dumb. Yeah. You don't need. You made oh, your point. If you were to, if you were to add anything, I'd probably add that. Yeah, you know, the Empire has probe droids, and they could be sending them out. And you know, they have the air superiority. So if you send out groups of those, that would have been useful. That gave me a headache. Holy fuck! 
Uh, no, it uh, actually uh, really hurt. Hey, Jesus. Tim says, uh, <laughs> Alpha, bro, if, that was, if that's what your this. stroke looks like, I think the CIA bioengineered an attempted assassination against you in your plot armor seat. Good, good. The sacred cow <laughs> slaughterhouse deserves to die. Literally, like a, there's, like there's a flip book. The CIA are big fans of EFAP. The most painful flip book <laughs> ever look at. Jesus that's why they. That's why they bootlick uh, the police. Yeah. <laughs> Did he just call them pigs? Hey, Sheev, we asked you a question in chat. Me and Matt. Put that in my Oh, did somebody ask me a question in chat? Yeah, Matt. Yeah, me and Matt. In the Discord, the Discord chat. chat. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh. They're getting impatient. Oh, rip. No, uh, I mean, oh. um, if you guys need to head out at any point, like, that's fine. Um, I'm the o like the only person who needs to be here for the entirety of this stream is me. Hmm. That's yeah, no, my question was. Well, yeah, but I want to say I want to know what how do you come? The, the I, I want to know what come. sweet nothings he's said about. Well, me. so that's that's like the last video I have in this. Uh, oh, fuck. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Could we? Could we? All right. Could we just note the timestamp that we're at, and then just skip to that video, and then come back to this? Um, sure. So we are currently at nineteen thirty-eight. So let's skip to. I think it's about here. Just before right, I put it in chat. There we go. The nineteen thirty-eight. Was I seen the dark saber originally? Thank uh, God that we that, that we stopped before 1939. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. Okay, so this is this is it. We're, I hope nobody hears Polish. Oh, this is. This is. Jesus. Yeah, he kind of goes over. Oh, and, uh, hey, Jesus, and what did he do to the Eka fucking footage? It looks oh awful. God, bro, what the fuck? I he just destroyed the color grading. You all are. Oh my yeah, god, is this us watching Flash? Oh, look, it's, it's Melvin. <laughs> yeah, it and is. Really, my best friend. Anomaly Inc. In this okay, here we go. You're just going yeah. after everybody. Oh this is at the end of uh, his video on my Mando video. So. Right. This is Essentially, e this is just a preface video. And the preface is to a video about Anomaly Inc. And essentially, his relationship to Thumbcast. It was supposed what? to be focused on Anomaly and... Long story short, he got into this big debate <laughs> with SKN Southpaw, <laughs> and he told Dishonorable Wolf, associated with EFAP, to kill himself. Some guys did a no, very, a very long yes. expose where they went through his screenshots and <laughs> there, and they just went through. Basically, got into a lot of issues with SK. Olivia Munn? What? Yeah, Olivia Munn has issues with SK, Sheev Talks, and Income. <laughs> what? What is this show? No, a little easy about tweet. Am I losing my mind? What is happening? This has nothing to do with me. What the actual I, fuck I is happening? I think the actual important information here is that Margot Robbie <laughs> was mortified by the leak of the Barbie photos. Oh, so true. <laughs> Maybe uh, that's what he's trying to bring attention to. Has Olivia Munn been Iron relevant Fist since the last Harry. Predator movie? She's no. never been relevant. She's always been a, an actor that's like almost famous mm, I'm sorry two predator movies ago mm. okay anyway south paul and these other people they don't like me very much at the moment be <laughs> sincere <laughs> and honest because i announced this expose video and they totally misunderstood me so i'm going to clarify things stick to the end because i have a bonus for the possible i want to start possible snyder cut expose video but i announced that i'm going to do Something exposing you guys, and they automatically oh, live, live in the front of that. <laughs> facilitate anomaly ink and show that that the thumbcats people are a bunch of grifters and propagandists. So, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say fascist. A bunch of grifters. Oh, all right. Oh, that you guys, sort of you guys don't aren't don't have he's, the don't have the fascist title yet. You guys need to get remove, on my level. He's gonna remove context oh, for this. okay. It's when so he was saying that we just banned, right. He's mad that he got censored, and the reason TSV censored him, quote unquote, is because he was being obnoxious in the chat and bothering people, as he usually does. And he's trying to frame that as us censoring people all the time. So okay. that's great. Yeah. I remember his name, but I remember we also had a similar issue with some guy who was constantly being obnoxious in the chat, and then whenever he got muted for like 60 seconds because he wouldn't stop fucking screaming his head off all the time. Uh, You're like, trampling on my civil rights. <laughs> yep. yep, that's that. That's what these people do, is they, they just scream a bunch of nonsense, you mute them, and they're like, ah, censorship. Yep. 
And Funnily so Dark enough, Thor has found it. wasn't like that. Like, <laughs> Myra timed him out like many times for like 300 seconds. High school like troublemakers minutes. when and they, just when they get back. expelled from school. You're censoring me. <laughs> <laughs> plot, plot twist. The Constitution only applies to government. <laughs> and so what's the point? That Dark Thor has found a kindred spirit with this guy? We're kindred mm. spirits, you and I. <laughs> well, let's see what We're he not says. not so different. And I will say, you and I are not so speaking. SK, when he was streaming a Spider Man video, censored me. And TSV, who actually did it, we had a big back and forth. And to their credit, TSV did finally admit, yes, we did censor you. We didn't have any reason for it. We were sure you uh, Anomaly, when you're talking about TSV, can you please? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> first of all, fuck later, you, anomaly. anomaly. What? You accused me of cherry picking the dumbest defenses. Uh, for months, I've literally been addressing every single one that I have seen. They're all bad. Deal with it. Yes, that's what does that have to do with anything. That has nothing. nothing to do with anything. This is, yeah, this yeah. Is, this nope. is about anomaly. This is just yeah. B-roll footage that he needs yeah. to make sure that the screen is. Yeah, that. this is a fucking critical drinker <laughs> video. Fucking Christ! <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this was a critical worse. drinker video. There's like a the, the video playing, even if it has nothing to do with what's happening, it, it's still. It's about the movie being talked about. There is a connective tissue, yeah. You can yeah. you can tell that he searched yeah. the topic of his video onto YouTube to get a video that has a bunch of clips he can use. It's at least yeah, better. Yeah, it's, it's lazy, it. but it's not Dark Thor lazy. Like, Dark Thor lazy is a whole lot of those fuck-ups. <laughs> Sky, he's going to take you out of context now. He's going to be like, oh, so you're saying I'm just like Critical Drinker? Like, in my <laughs> beliefs and everything? Uh, yeah, that's exactly bad, what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, that's honestly, an insult. Critical, critical drinker literally is. Yeah, bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I think critical drink drinker is the thundering fucking dumbass. Now, now he's going to say that Sheev is defending critical drinker. All right, I'm uh, I'm going to have to head off. I'm afraid, lads. It's getting a bit late for me, so I'll, right, I'll right, say goodbye. See you, oh, see you around. Bye. Bye. We need more grifter. Thanks for joining. Damn. I don't know how we're going to do this without him. Yeah, true. Oh, well, he's, well. he's a hero. He's still here in spirit. I just, I just I couldn't, couldn't see it. No one's ever really gone. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, a, uh, let's continue this. A thief! A criminal! He stole my grift! He's a menace to the entire YouTube community! <laughs> SK. To go our separate ways, but TSV has started to delete some of the tweets, so... There no. we are. Despite my partisan yeah, lean, no, that's why don't you just go to hell? So that's the why he don't you just go to hell, Flash Medica? You remember? He has that's deleted the, tweets uh, just in general. It's not because that? of you. He's deleted them in general. It's like the James Gunn thing but, with Ray Fisher. It's like, yeah, he deletes them periodically. It's not because of you. Yeah. Not everything's because of you. It's all nothing's of because of you. <laughs> the entire world revolves around him. True. Yeah. I do think he thinks that. He probably does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a bit delusional. <laughs> oh. <laughs> things. And I will admit, I did like a lot of Anomaly's early work. I admired his Why? <laughs> Wait, he's why? Well, I guess what he was on fear? the Anomaly least... Anomaly is here. I think he was on the least shit side of the debate, because it was a fucking awful debate. Which um, debate? <laughs> The prequel, the, the Phantom Menace the debate. Phantom Menace oh, debate. Where they went on forever done. about the motivation uh, of the Trade Federation. <laughs> yeah. I never, like, oh, I, I couldn't get through that one. Yeah, they said the opening crawl was fucking, like, stupid. That it was fucking messing with the world Dude, because it well, doesn't I, explain something. That right? was a rough watch. I was, I'm yeah, just I like, watch start with either. the stupid force speed if you want to talk about breaking lore or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It was so dumb. Yeah, they spent some... I I, the prequel that. defenders one shield. Do you have any idea how bad you have to be to <laughs> not be able to criticize the prequels? Uh -huh. uh, well, you know, as it happens, Jolly and I were were trying to uh, set up a debate with Anomaly Inc. about the prequels, but he turned it down. Uh, Anomaly true. Inc. Mm -hmm. wanted to invite me on to debate. Um, was, was it Rebels with me? And I said no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why. I, I, I honestly don't know why. Like, where the fuck has he heard of me from? He's seen Rebel. <laughs> so, yeah, um, he, he claimed that um, uh, Rebels was, like, incredibly good or something like that. Hmm. I, I think hmm. that was the uh, preset for the conversation that he wanted to have with me in life. I think he's a pretty big Filoni fan, from what I understand. Or at least he was. Is he? 
Because I mean, I I'm remembering oh, his his Clone uh, Wars is good? I'm remembering his prequel debates with EFAP, and at the time he didn't he hadn't seen the Clone Wars at all, so mm. he definitely saw it later. Because I remember he was doing something uh, about the Mando Ahsoka episode, um, and he was mm. talking, he was referencing the Clone Wars a lot. Okay. Mm. Well, all right. I remember I, I asked I asked Lib because I, I know he was in the 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 stream. He was like criticizing the prequels, wasn't he? The Phantom Menace. Yeah. Mm. So even though like they were both on the same side of of that, at least I haven't seen the stream, so I assume so. Even he was telling me, "Yeah, do not talk to this guy. He is fucking batshit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't know what a straw man is, dickhead. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Perseverance and him just hour after hour, basically by himself. He had no one on his side. The vast majority. Well, I mean, he was also on the wrong side. So it was a high point for Maul and Rex. I will say that. Chief Talks has responded to some of my criticisms of his Kenobi video, and it was Ryan Kennel's a big well, Ryan Kennel's. <laughs> is this your video? <laughs> <had nothing to do. laughs> Is he playing your video, Oscar? Is that it? Yes, that yeah. is my video. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I said. This he does that. He just will mind? play a, a, another person's video on something completely unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen I videos of his. Making videos. That's the easiest thing. I've Why seen videos of his where he's, like, where, where he's like responding to to like heel versus baby face, and he'll just be playing my Kenobi video. <laughs> Steve, honestly, I, I I love it at this point. I just it's such a trope when it comes to Dark Thor. There is there is a person in chat whose name I cannot pronounce because it's in Cyrillic alphabet. Um, it says, "Gosh damn, I I just was going to sleep." And there is Sheev talks. Will there be a record recording? Um, I mean, um, should be. If that, if they're asking if this is going to be up lives. on my channel. Like, yeah, it'll it'll be on my channel. If you go to, to, to the to the live tab, right? Yeah, that's where all your live streams are. Okay. I, I keep them all up. So, yep. Oh, do you keep them all public? Not your Rise of Skywalker video, though. Yeah, because I'm a ripper. So, you hate to see it, really. DMs, and I want to be very clear that uh, I'm a little bit older. I think that these, frankly, children. Oh my God! No way. <laughs> 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 oh my god that's hilarious wow children that think a bunch of spoiled <laughs> ugly stupid brats what a bunch of ugly stupid brats spoiled ugly stupid you're a college professor and you use these <laughs> this language does he talk to his students like this you could be a little more creative man Jesus uh, Christ. I would hope. Fuck, I'm more creative and I'm not even a fucking college professor. <laughs> Where's your homework? <laughs> Neither is he. Stupid ugly. <laughs> you stupid ugly you're brat. Saying that he's lying, Madvicus? He would never lie. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Bah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Bah! Life, life experience. <laughs> yeah. I love this technology. So my understanding of Twitter and YouTube is very basic. I'm part of, I believe being totally it. honest, two groups. I've not been in those groups in a long time. One of them is a pro Joss Whedon group, by the way. I need to get back to that. I what pause. the fuck? They've actually huh? given me a lot of value. Pro Joss Whedon? Uh, okay, that's Joss a bit Whedon? weird. Didn't, didn't he like... He's a sex criminal. Yeah. yeah. This is the thing. He it wasn't Maybe he's talking about like, the There's Joss a bunch Whedon of people. Like, huh? I hope he's talking about the movie and not Joss Whedon himself, because Joss Whedon's a sex criminal. Uh, well, we can use that against know, him it's now, not right? been confirmed. Well, yeah, so exactly. He's defending it because it's all alleged, and that's the point. That's what ah, I was alleged, alleged. Okay. <laughs> I assume you're that not allowed to change your opinion. And he's, and he's the one who's, uh, you know, getting upset with she for being a grifter, a Nazi, a sexist, all this bullshit. No, no, no. He's perfectly fine she with that. Uh, an all-around grifter. Problem solved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, like I'd be fine. OJ Simpson has more. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'd be fine with him. Uh, you know, basically going off of the fact that it is alleged and basically saying, okay, yeah. Uh, you know, nothing's confirmed. But the fact that he's actively part of a quote Joss Whedon group, yeah, that's also weird to feeling me. the need to I've talk out the other before. side of his mouth and talk shit about Sheev, well, you yeah. can't really do that while being pro Joss Whedon, whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, like I've said before, Nico, but people have asked me, I'm like, I don't know about the Joss Whedon stuff. It's alleged. I'm not going to say he is definitely a sex criminal or say he's not. And then, like, even in my video where I talk about his style of humor, I'm like, I'm not defending anything he says. This motherfucker is like pro Joss Whedon. What the fuck does that even mean? Someone in chat just said, 
Dark Thor once said I had no sympathy for Autumn Snyder's death because I had a pinned tweet expressing my condolences towards Shea Frillis Productions' tragedy. Mental gymnastics. Jesus. What? What? That that is how do you, how are those things follow. connected at all? What, this guy is fucking that's sick. That's a plain old God. God. Well, actually, but now that, now that you mentioned Snyder, isn't he like a huge Zack Snyder fan? How is he like part of he a pro Joss Whedon group? That, I don't that, know. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe he joined, like, he, you know, like the way he fucking stalks all of us on Twitter. He joined to see what people say to be able to refute them and call them racist Nazis. Maybe he is against Joss Sweden and he's just in the pro Joss Sweden server. Well, the reason I wanted to because highlight he that likes comment the was because, cut. like, because, like, again, it's like, it, it feels like that where it's like one in five people have encountered Dark Thor. <laughs> <at Barry Thor>. <laughs> 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 this guy doesn't feel sorry about Zack Snyder's daughter's death. Was it that? Uh... No, he, he, well, he was accusing Sheev of feeling that way. Yeah, he's saying that Sheev doesn't care about Oh, Zack Snyder's daughter's death because he said oh, no, no, no. he was, I was highlighting a, a, I was highlighting a comment somebody else put in chat. Dark Thor once said that this is a... Oh, that he... Oh, about Marcus Okay, I thought it was a Okay, I, I see. I, I was confused that. I, I was confused that's thinking that... Never mind. Yeah, all right. Have you ever heard yeah, the legend me. of Darth... Dark Thor the Wise? <laughs> <laughs> Dark Thor the Unwise. Uh, Dark Thor the fucking I, dumbass. But I believe in anonymity with private stuff, and I will honor that with Sheep Fox. Just made both our cases. He thinks I'm a piece of garbage. He thinks my mm. content is garbage. Yeah. He yeah. thinks mm -hmm. I'm an uh, evil bigot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he called him an evil bigot. <laughs> called him morally evil, and I'm not going to take that back. I think he is morally evil. And <laughs> oh. evil. 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 So she how does it feel to be evil? evil. Well, da, honestly. Da, da, da. <laughs> at, this, at this point it's a state of life right like i'm I, it's you know like i don't the do lifestyle. breathing like i don't do being evil i mean yeah it's it, you're literally sheev you're literally sheev i've committed so many atrocities across you're, the galaxy you, yeah your 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 icon literally is the emperor yeah, yeah. you don't you don't well, to be fair dark thor's man. profile picture once had a swastika too so <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> no, I, I have to ask: Has he ever actually used that as an argument? It's like, oh, you take no. The, you take. That's shoes, the thing. It's like I feel like pumpkin. that seems like the kind God. of thing that he would give him ideas. Zod. No, Zod. Barry's the one who says that. Sky <laughs> Sky looks up to Zod. He's done. Oh that. yeah, he did do that. Yeah. Okay, he just he didn't did do, do it that. <laughs> yeah. Where did you train on a I'm farm? Like, I'm just thinking, like, why are you guys Jonas saying that he hasn't zone. done it? Like, he literally just did it this week. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Let me get that tweet, because it was fucking hilarious. I looked up to Zod, a murderous tyrant, not surprised. Oh, but no, he was <laughs> joking, he said. Yeah, he, said he, he told joking. SK he was yeah. joking after. That, that's mm -hmm. not a, a murderous tyrant. Oh, it's the joke. I don't get it. <laughs> Wait, Sky, joke, but, you know. Sky rem remember when he got mad at well, you because you didn't... Uh, you didn't interpret like the sarcasm behind the word yeah when he used the word yeah or something and he sent you like a, dic a dictionary definition <laughs> of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah used in, in the sarcasm sense so, yeah i'm sorry i'm not i'm not even accepting the the defensive it was a joke like well yeah neither am i have, no because, no like it's jokes. not funny and also no like, no, no 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 it's not a joke because it's not funny it's uh, uh, sorry it's not not a joke because it's not funny it's not a joke <laughs> Because it's, <laughs> it's, it's not a, like okay. So here's the thing about about, about jokes about punchlines. They have to have at least some basis in reality. They have to be like somewhat like rooted in truth somewhat. That's just not a joke. That's just a stupid statement. <laughs> yeah, oh, now I get it because I hadn't checked the context before because I just thought it was funny on its own. This was SK fucking correcting. Dark Thor saying that Zod had done those things and I hadn't. And then he was like, ah, so obviously Sky looks up to Zod, who is a murderous tyrant. It all makes sense now. See? No, it makes sense, South Paul. You're just not looking hard enough for the logic here. It all works. God. It just works. Yeah, if I if I just look hard enough, you know, I mean, hey, look, here's here's the reality, right? So when I when when I say that Dark Thor's statement here isn't logical, the counter to that is, yeah. Well, somewhere else, someone else once said something that was logical. <laughs> Argument invalid. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the context made that so much funnier because he thought he this thought feels that, like, like 
This feels like Darth Thor is Mr. Poopy Butthole, and we're all just like recounting stories of all these fun <laughs> times we've had with him. And like, yeah. like, is he actually real? I've never seen him before. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still half convinced that he's an elaborate oh. troll. <laughs> all right, well, folks, I have. I know we didn't get to the part where he mentions oh. me, but I gotta head out, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. unfortunate. That's all right, though. We'll tell you anything he said. See yeah, you just, tomorrow just for Flash, update me. For oh, Ooh, hell yeah. yeah. Woo. -hoo. Flash is a masterpiece. Flash. We need a CW live action Flash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, have See fun ya. with the rest of the video. I'm sure it'll be a, a ball. Have we a good won't, but thank you. And Thanks Madvocate right. stuff can be found in the in the description if you want to check out his channel. Yes. He's also a thank grifter. You. He yeah. really loves the Flash TV show. I am 100% a grifter. I'm making Marcus. the season four video just because the third one made me good money. Yeah. Marcus He's Andrew just... says, uh, I had a negative criticism towards him once, and I think he was desperately trying to find something to assassinate my character. He just found the first thing so he, he, so he, he could he, to try he to took... twist to make him look better. So, he, so in order to do that, he tried to link being... Uh, like get, extending condolences for Shea Frillas in a trying time to not caring about Autumn Snyder's death. Mm -hmm. That's wow. I'm sorry. That's like, next no. level. I this entire stream, there's been this little part of me that feels bad. Like I feel like we're, like I feel like we're making fun of somebody who's not mentally all there. But like, no, he's a piece of shit. Fuck you, Dark Thor. Yeah, that's that's pretty exactly. cool. Awesome. Remember, really there, was a, remember that's when there was a guy who showed up, like replying shit. to me, being like, "Oh, they called me by my dead name. I don't even know how he found out about my dead name because like it's nowhere on the internet anymore. Like I don't use it anymore. But whatever. Called me I mean, by my dead name. He said I was fucking me website. Oh yeah, I messaged uh, Kibakins, but I don't think they saw it because I was um, a message from my account and they don't follow that one. Um, no. But they followed the come on and you should message that one anyway. The um. They said like I was delusional and shit, and Dark Thor like liked that tweet, which was in the thread oh. of me being like Dark Thor, you are being transphobic, and he was trying to say that he wasn't, and then he liked the tweet <laughs> that called me delusional for being trans. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The main That's problem with that is that like the biggest problem with that. I mean, there's there's a lot of problems with it, but it's the fact that he takes the moral high ground against like so-called bigotry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, but then he highlights whenever like. Every time I tell him that he's being bigoted because you know he was a fucking transphobe, um, that apparently means that I think of myself as some kind of MLK <laughs> black people. Like he unironically said this to me. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I'm like, I didn't ever say that. And then he tells me, "Yeah, yeah. well, you you privilege you you benefit from white privilege." And I'm like, "Yeah, I do. Like, I don't know why you're telling me this as if it's if it's as if that's something I don't agree with." D didn't he also say that like you don't do enough to like help? You know. Yeah, underprivileged people. Well, he basically said all white people are evil unless they go out of their way to do like to you know to help uh, underprivileged and like you know minority and like those things are definitely things you should do. I fully recommend it if you have the means and you have the resources, but not everybody does. Mm -hmm. And it's totally everybody fine can. if you put your own needs before education. like the the less fortunate. If you can't even barely provide for yourself. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, he's a piece of shit. I'm not, I don't regret this at all now. Well, wow. <laughs> point that okay, that looked a little iffy because basically he's standing up for a friend that's admirable, but his friend. Yeah, I, I, when I first encountered Dark Thor, I okay. genuinely thought he was like some right wing person who was like, <laughs> he like, seems he, like, like, it, made, like a psyop like account, a right wing psyop, <laughs> everyone like almost as a parody. Yeah, but, like mm. after watching these videos, it's really difficult to tell. He really seems genuinely He's just insane. Shit. There He's is a part awesome. of me. There's a part of me that still hasn't shaken that off. Like I'm still half convinced that he's a troll. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's, it's like, like how can you be? How this elaborate spookish? can you be, right? Yeah, I think if yeah. you can keep up a bit for that long, and not only like it's not just like he's annoying us. He goes after random people on Twitter he's never met before. It's just random people. Like he wouldn't do that if you were just a troll. You'd go after the people that you want to get a rise out of. He also, yeah. just everyone knows him because he'll go up to random people for no fucking reason. Yeah. yeah, and what do you gain from like carrying it on this long, you know? Exactly. Yeah, like, well, I guess now he's getting exposure, so he wins. I guess. Yeah, this was his <laughs> he was doing the long game. He was like, if I just troll them long enough, <laughs> eventually they'll do a stream about me. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's almost like, uh, you know how like people parody like left-wing ideas he is almost the living parody of like what 
extreme oh. right wing people think the left is. Yeah. Oh, this this one hundred percent is like what people are thinking when they when they say like SJW unironically. Yeah. Yeah, like a like a woke scold sort of like tells tells people that like all white people are evil if they don't unironically hides. Can, yeah. Unironically hides behind being Native American to be so like excuse his own bigotry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is good, this. Yeah. And, and it, just accuses you of bigotry no matter what you do. Or if you like, like yeah. Yeah. if you smear people and like you don't correct yourself for some mysterious reason. The fandom alluded could to honestly... having complicated opinions on trans people or something. Yeah, he did say something like that. He said the like he didn't menace... understand it or something. Yeah. The Phantom Menace could honestly just have a field day if yeah. if they just found this dude. They could just yeah. content for days. That's what I was gonna say. Is like um is like. Uh, on the one hand, I respect him for going after like a lot of fandom ministers, but at the same time, he's not equipped for the job, and he is the exact kind <laughs> oh. of person that they would use. They would prop him up as like a, as like basically a, a symbol of like oh, what I, they're fighting I don't, against. His yeah, existence I don't, I don't, is more harm than good. I, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The reasons they're doing it too. Um, with Dark Thor, I don't think he's doing anything for the right reasons. Just it's just like actual fandom and like yes. the fandom initiative that shitty organization. Where they just go after them because I don't know, it's personal. They're just it's well, all a performative thing. Um, this is the thing is, is, is a, Dark Thor is Dark Thor is completely pro actual fandom and Yeah, yeah I wonder like, why. I wonder did why. You notice, <laughs> did you notice that he was fine with us up until we split up from them? Yep. Oh, that's true. Well, he also he also tried to say that we lied about actual fan he also tried to cite actual fandom as a source. <laughs> Man, I would love for uh, I'd love for Dark Thor to try and make some expose on me, even though I'm friends with Surf Nation. <laughs> like well, good, good probably. friends with I, him. I wonder if you're safe, like because like does it does it cancel out? You're friends with me, the alt right grifter, but you're also friends with Turf Nation, who's associated with people he likes. I have no <laughs> idea. I mean, Turf co owns my server. <laughs> This is the kind of guy who will he will find any reason, like he'll find That's any true. imagined loophole to like get at you, you know. True, he's yeah. also like so quick to talk two sides at, like he... out of both sides of his mouth. One side he'll say, "Oh, you're a fascist," and blah, blah blah, and then also being transphobic. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. Is he? It's anything, anything that he can possibly do to get at you. That's all he cares about. It's I kind of so hope he does for like the selfish purpose of just wanting another sort of villain, you know, another figure that I can just be like constantly mm -hmm. mocking. Cause I, I have those, I have people who will come after me or whatever, come after me, my friends do some horrible shit on uh, discord. There's multiple pedophiles and stuff. It always adds a little bit of spice, you know, people that I can say the most horrible things to because they are horrible people. Um, I kind of want, I kind of want them to do that to me. That'd be funny. And so I should mention there's a guy in the chat named God. Okay, oh, right is he on okay, God just real quick. Hello, yeah, Mar someone I'm, said that um, Dark Thor started know. defending maps. Is that true? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he, said, no. Uh, he said actual fandom. Did, Dane did. Oh, okay. Map, by the way, oh, no. medieval maps means minor attractive persons. Oh, dear. Just yeah. file. Excuse me? So what? actual fandom started actual defending fandom maps. What? Is that for real? I no. need to see uh, citations for that. I'd really like to see that. And we'll we'll need citations on this. Yeah, just we, yeah, 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 because questions. yeah, that's a big I, accusation. I, I think Dane's a piece of shit, but like, I don't. I, I would need proof before I made that condemnation. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, God. I, was, it, I mean, he, I thought it was Dark Thor. It's still yeah, like God, it back. God, God is calling you a dumbass. Yeah, I don't know if he's joking or not. I think it's funny either way. <laughs> The oh, fact that we can't tell <laughs> says a lot already. I'm like but, half see, believing that he's Dark Thor. <laughs> you know what? It's she honestly, if God says you're, says you're a dumbass, it it's, must be true. It's a pretty true, God yeah. tier. It's it's pretty God tier. Went God mode. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> went God mode. Oh, white people, such a struggle you have constantly being called racist. I can't possibly think of anything worse. Not calling if you, you racist. could make God bleed. People would cease to believe in him. All right, well, let's, I'm just picturing it in Morgan Freeman's voice now. Let's push on. <laughs> yeah, we, have to go, we have to go back to earlier in the video, so we got our. We have to go back. And lying and grifting. It's true. <laughs> so I will not reveal the contents of that conversation, but I will use part of it involving me to show the lies. The thumbnail you the thumbnails you use screams insanity and hatred from your side. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's the Star Wars the fandom does not joke. Everything in life, <laughs> is, everything is life or death for them. She, 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 good news. Good news. God is on your side. 
literally. Oh, nice. Or it's harvesting their kidneys and pancreas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? There we, we have go. no humor. God. We have the power of the humor. Everything must be perfect and flawless, no. or it's harvesting it's fucking, their kidneys and pancreas. It's fucking amazing to say the same sentence. They have no humor, and then say that it's harvesting their kidneys <laughs> or pancreas. Like, I wonder why I might have titled it that. <laughs> you know why? why? It's a bit that title, of an she, now you can never be wrong because God is on your side. So Dark Thor is just objectively incorrect oh, yeah. about well, everything. Thor. So Thor is a god, but I have the one true god on my. Exactly. Not, like, he's a false god. He's a false god. god. Exactly. God. I'm pretty sure he doesn't dress like that. <laughs> god mode. Hell yeah. Yeah. Here, which I will do now. Essentially, this is somebody on the ecom, and they have maintained hey. that they no longer affiliate with EFAP, and therefore yeah. they should be forgiven for any bigotry associated with EFAP. Oh, hey, oh, that's hello. my video. Hello. <laughs> I should be forgiven for any big. What the fuck? We had, were bigoted. If you fap or something bigoted, and we used to, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know how related to EFAP we are. Because I, I went on EFAP like on 112, but then barely talked to them for like two years. How related hey, to EFAP? The, you, you were the, the crux of his point. It. He's going to try to say, oh, you said in a comment that you watched Mahler and Rags' content in the TASM 2 debate, but also yeah. uh, you said you didn't get deeply. Uh, involved in watching Rags's content, and therefore that's a lie. But I watch Rags's content. I don't remember much of it. I remember watching when he, he came, his videos come out. I usually watch them, but that doesn't mean that I, they stay in my mind for a long time. It's not the kind that. of thing that I care much about. Uh, you know, I don't really find Rags's content like that high effort. I don't find it that entertaining. I just watch oh, it. Dude, you didn't I love me. his 10,000 PC Master Race videos back in the day? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. those I didn't watch. Um, <laughs> was... I think he, the only video, video of his that I've watched more than once is his Fallout 76 one. Just going to find it interesting to see long videos criticizing that game. Um, but that's kind of it. Yeah, it reminds me... Video of Rex I've seen. Mm-hmm. It's a funny video, too. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, it, 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 I, I, I believe what you say about like how, you know, like... His videos are something sticking in your mind. It's like it reminds me of an old video of Wolf's that I had seen a long, long time ago. <laughs> and there was a very, <laughs> very funny couple of details from it that I just <sighs> they just didn't register with me till several years later that I had to look mm. it up. Yeah, I'm not going you know, to, to thought, spoil I think, it now. I think you're just being a fat white bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. But no, it's true. Uh, you can watch someone's video and you might. Just miss a few things. You might, you might forget a few things. Oh, and it's like, like <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he's seen that, but Rags made a video on what's the creator? Um, it's like Rags's last video on his main channel. Um, Jim uh, Sterling. Was it Jim Sterling or was that, that Jim was like Sterling? Videos, exactly. Though. And yeah. I made a comment, being like, I don't know if you know this, but Jim Sterling goes by they them. Like I, I, I corrected Rags on m- m- misgendering uh, Jim Sterling. I don't know if he saw that comment like rags but like that is a comment i made on that video um and i'm i even posted on twitter about it like how is that should be being okay with bigoted behavior just because i watch rags's content when even did the comments i was like that you shouldn't do that i don't i just don't know if you know what jim sterling's pronouns are but these are their pronouns so and then there's a person yeah, who tried and- to fucking argue with me in the comments be like oh trying to use correct pronouns how dare you and uh when there were there were clips of rags uh surfacing about him justifying the intentional misgendering of of trans people um Mm. i saw jeb and i i think i saw you uh saying that it was bad so i don't know what he's talking about yeah yeah it's weird i there are things and like there are things i probably because the the second tweet there's me saying thankfully i never defended any bigoted behavior i remember when i made that tweet i was like i don't know if i should do that because I definitely have defended bigoted behavior because I used to be very bigoted years ago. I'm just not anymore. Um, uh, yeah, Sky, but in the as long as you've associated that, one person that's ever done a bigoted thing, you're scarred forever. <laughs> yep. Your hands will never be clean again. Well, Look who's talking. Years, my dad is pretty <laughs> yeah. bigoted, so. <laughs> that's, that sucks because I used to be best friends with Adolf Hitler. So. Yeah. Shit. Marcus, well, we, I thought we were still best friends. Oh, sorry. Still best friends. Sorry. Yeah. Marcus... <laughs> Okay, Marcus like, Andrews says, when he first claimed I didn't have sympathy for Autumn Snyder's death because of my tweet, I thought he was trolling. But then he made like four or five more pin tweets about me trying to argue <laughs> I was awful 
Then I realized I might genuinely be dealing with a crazy person and I didn't know what to do. I think a few hours later, his account was down for like two days, but eventually he was back and over me. Yeah, That's he's uh, psychotic. He he's yeah, there's something deeply wrong with him. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to cut you off there. <laughs> you, you know what I just remembered is that Dark Thor said he was going to sue me. I can't remember why. What? <laughs> what? For being mean. Mean. I think I think For it was because evil. Because there's a clip from this video that we're about to get to here in a bit where mm -hmm. I, I clipped it because he said something about me that was just like demonstrably wrong. I'd never Steve. said that. And he, he said that I'd said a thing that I didn't and that I don't stand by. And I was like, I, I didn't. And so I, I clipped that on Twitter. And for some mm -hmm. reason, despite the fact that he clips my videos and plays them for his own content, um, he said because he didn't give me consent to clip his video that he's going to sue me. <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't want to do that. Actually, he so really you, doesn't want to go there. You don't yeah. pay your Discord mod, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see you, Sheev. Mm -hmm. Ah, shit! Here we go again. I, another mm -hmm. thing I just wanted to say before we press play is why the fuck does he have my update video <laughs> from the beginning of the year just in the background? Like that's such an unflattering <laughs> video. I recorded that in an afternoon because I just wanted to vent. Like, pick a video that I show my face that I'm I look better. I don't know, man. Oh, uh, don't even put your video. He puts it's that so there weird. because he wants to have a chat. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> weird. Also, yeah. the Joseph Peter Anderson Griffin thing to clarify. I just said that because he kept saying that Joseph Anderson was like, oh, he was destroyed and like that EFAP destroyed him and tried to like, but they basically did like awful things to him. I was like, as far as I know, Mueller called him a massive F word. And so if it's something other than that, then I don't know what it is. But if it is Mueller calling him a slur like a bunch of years ago, I don't really care. because, <laughs> Especially because I don't really see the issue in using um, that word in the context that it was used. Um, but as I also understand that it could have affected Joseph Anderson and that Mueller also apologized, said, I'm sorry that you were offended by that. And so I'm like, other than that, I don't know why. what else I sh could do. And then... Dark Thor took that as me say, uh, as thinking that I was fucking homophobic because I was defending uh, Mahler being homophobic towards Joseph Anderson. And I kept well, asking for more context other than him saying that word. And then I, he didn't give me that context. Well, I, I doubt I don't, that I don't Joseph know Anderson... I don't know like, if I would give that much credence in his apology because uh, when, I, when I looked at it, um, mm -hmm. it looked like a lot of very... Uh, what's the word? Uh, insincere horseshit. Like, I, I, well, apology, Mueller apology. has talked about that apology. I remember when he said, like, he said, I am sorry uh, that you were offended, but he wasn't sorry about saying it, that he didn't think yeah, saying the word is that's wrong, not an but apology. he was sorry. Yeah, that I, don't, that's not an I don't think that's a great apology then. That's he's a not actually apology apologizing for what he that. said. Yeah. Well, yeah, hasn't, hasn't Mueller's... Uh, that way. Yeah, ha hasn't Mueller's position always been that? Yeah, like, I, I found. Oh, it here. Uh, you know, intellectual dishonesty is worse than you know calling somebody insults or something. Like that's like the argument yeah. he tried to use. I think. Mm -hmm. Wow, someone did a worse thing than you did. Therefore, what you did wasn't shitty. I think it's. I think I remember that defense as well that Mueller was, was talking about because I think it probably was watching at the time when that streamed, mm -hmm. and my memory of it is that he, the way that he explained it. The reason why he, he was trying to be edgy, and even then, it's yeah. like, well, you just apologize. Yeah, yeah like, he made it yeah, in a, sorry, He wanted to be edgy in a edgy. funny way, which is why yeah, he, I was trying he to be funny. Yeah, like, we've in all been there, like, <laughs> at some point, trying to be edgy. Always. Yeah, and like, like honestly, uh, at this I point, just... I doubt Joseph. I doubt Joseph Anderson like gives a shit at this point. Yeah, I, I doubt he remembers. It's so weird. Yeah, I think that's why I was asking for really broken up inside. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like, yeah, like he, he doesn't want to go on stream, time, but like he doesn't talk about it now. If he doesn't want to go on stream with Mahler because his impression of Mahler is that Mahler just called him a slur, is like, well, yeah, why? Why would he then waste his own time talking to Mahler? Yeah, why is Mahler entitled to Joseph Anderson's time? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that not a question worth asking? And then so it's like, yeah, yeah when when Mahler's like, well, I'm sorry that it made you feel. I was like. That's not an apology. So I, I say yeah. something that's like insensitive to someone at, without meaning it, but it, like it's hurtful to them and I'm able to understand why that is. It's like, well, then I, I can just go, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that, but I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I, I'm not going, well, I'm sorry that you're just a little bitch that got offended. It's like, no, <laughs> no, that's not an apology. That. 
That's what it's I not, do. It's not an apology. Yeah, that's how I apologize. Is that is that wrong? Yeah, like one what of my friends, this? like I said something really offensive, you know, she started crying, and I just said, "Well, you, you, you're just a little oh, bitch." You're sarcasm, yeah, by like, the way. Or like somebody I, clicked. This is sarcasm. And like I punched her in the eye, and I was like, "Shut the fuck up!" And then she, she kept sorry that hurt you. Just pulled out a fucking revolver and everything. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that that caused you pain. It's that. It's that thing of like. I'm sorry oh, that my revolver caused you pain in the leg. I, was, uh, I can only see this first place. If like anyone calls me a name, I genuinely just don't really give a shit because why the mm -hmm. fuck would I care that someone called me a faggot online? I've been called worse. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of the same. Worse than that. I think it's I've just been called every. My mates have called me worse Christ. than a faggot. I think there. I yeah. think people just have different like. Um, views on like how liberal they can be with the use of words like yeah. that, and Mueller has a very liberal view on that. Um, well, I I'm just, do, well, I know, like, like I'm just trying to Australian people like just tend to be a lot more liberal when it comes to insults and not yeah. finding I mean, them as offensive. Yeah, I I wouldn't put much like good faith in what he is okay with in terms of slurs because like he's literally fine with transphobia on his show and racism. So yeah, that's kind of the bigger problem I have with this is that like it that Joseph Anderson thing is kind of indicative of you know Mahler kind of showing his teeth, but meanwhile mm -hmm. you know he just will not do jack shit whenever <laughs> like vile things are said in his presence. I, I, by I his certainly don't think yeah. he wants to back down, like admit he's wrong. It, 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 well, it, it just reminds me of the whole I'm sorry this happened thing is like mm. you need a, you need to do a little thing. you need to do a little better than that. It, it's, it's a not, classic terrible said, apology. Yeah, I'm sorry if anyone felt gaslit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which is like that's not an apology. I uh, felt gaslit I said, no you didn't like all I because I, I said, yeah, that's the only thing that like seemed apologetic, but like mm -hmm. that's still not even an apology. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm 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 just trying to figure out like what any of that has to do with Sky or Ecom or like yeah, like what does like, he prove? The only relation is the Joseph Anderson thing, which like, I was just trying to ask for more context. And he yeah, did, well, he did that to me too because I didn't even know the context until the other day, and he kept like making all these assumptions, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, and instead of like elaborating. <laughs> Well, I, I'm you just taking to, that to, jump to a conclusion, and I'm like, you haven't told me what you're talking about yet. To well, make matters I... funnier, I tried to explain that Sky didn't have the context, and his response to that was, "Yeah, well, you're defending rags now. You defend racism." Mm -hmm. Like, what? what? Well, yeah, that, that that was a different thing where he, he was like, "Oh, so, but you you said you used to watch Rags's content, so you're very familiar." No, with he it. he kept so you're mixing okay up with the two. Oh really? Did he? Did he just yeah, he did. <laughs> <Fucking no. laughs> well, I'm interested to hear like what he says further because I think the yeah. last thing he said in this video was like he think you know, Sky thinks that this you know gives excuse to you know. Yeah, he was talking about how chance Ethan said whatever. that uh, we're not related to EFAP anymore, but we're still bigoted. So I want to see like if that excuses the, yeah. the bigoted mm -hmm. behavior from EFAP. So I want to see. Let's meet. We should just be forgotten. I have a question. What does Ecom even stand well, for? I haven't even known all this time. Nothing. It used to Every stand for something. Even like Game of moments. Yeah, we it used to stand for something, but then we the acronym was fucking stupid. So it only <laughs> the name only exists because we're inspired by EFAP, and after FAP comes come. That's the, I, the, yeah, that's uh, the joke. That's the only joke. Yeah, I think I think that you guys should have changed. I like, I, just talked about like like little known media that's really good and and, and go like evaluating criminally underrated media. Oh, that's a good <laughs> one. I like that. I like but, that. But, but, but there's an acronym that came for Flash, with Flash, so I don't. It's very underrated, to be fair. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, Madvika came up with one that he keeps insisting that we use, and I keep telling him no, but he <laughs> mentions it every stream, so <laughs> it, it might catch on. So I'm worried about that. <laughs> anyway, well, the problem is the person has been caught lying several times. The uh -huh. most insane lie is that they claimed that they were a big fan of rags and watched critically all their content. What? No, I've never said I've watched all of rags's content. I don't really what? remember when he I, used I the N word, the but using the word itself isn't indicative of racism, only when directed to people of a way based on race. What is I, that I don't that think I've ever seen the clip of Rags using the N-word either. Like, I haven't watched every EFAP. I've watched most of... Uh, well, I, I, think used I've, most I think I've seen the clip. S.A. Like, and I have. Uh, 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 <laughs> there we go. I found the, the intent of words, which are important. Not exactly the, the words themselves, but I, I don't know. You still wouldn't catch me using the N-word. 
What is this dude on about now? So, so, so what I said is I've been a fan of VFAP for a bit over a year now, and it's become one of my favorite things to watch, as well as all of Ra- Mollers and Rags' content. So their content, every I guess I wasn't as clear as it could have been, but because he fucking takes everything literally. The point was everything that they come out with was something that I watched back then when I made that comment, not everything that they've ever made. So that's a clarification, yeah. Dark Thor. I'm, I apologize if I wasn't as clear. Also, what the fuck is the fucking... Um, a screenshot of the left it's like cropped you can re- read anything it's <laughs> yeah i have no idea what he's like what these it's it's you saying i was actually say. never a a I never huge actually was hugely into rags, hugely into rags content, though. content though his videos, his videos since something since, yeah. yeah well he did come he out and admit, show the full thing. he did come out and admit that he's a boomer right who well, doesn't know does the first thing about technology? I don't does know. Does that mean he yeah. can't like? I mean, he has an editing software of some kind, even if it's on his phone. Like you can move pictures around on the screen to your liking. Uh, also, that's, that's put it on another. Change the frame then. If you can't fit it all in one, <laughs> do another slide. I just, yeah, yeah, I love how they see that we can't see the <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how they're like not aligned at all, and like one's like bigger <laughs> than the other. Like, just no effort or care put into this. It's like, do you have some fucking pride in your work, man? What does take pride in your work mean? Mauler and Rags. So they watched all their content, love the content, watched it every day. I haven't watched even watched every day. all of Mauler's content. Like, I haven't seen his Soma in... Um... I haven't watched all of his. I mean, he makes 7,000 hour-long videos. I, I yeah, I, I, I don't, don't know that anybody has. has. Those two videos? I don't even think Mahler's seen... seen all of Mahler's content. <laughs> <laughs> Dark, I haven't seen his Dark Souls 2, uh, Dark Souls 2 uh, Ukulele, or Soma, or what's the other horror game that you like? Amnesia. Oh, Amnesia, yeah. Yeah. And I, have, I also don't really watch his streams replays usually. Like, even back then, I didn't used to watch them a lot because I just didn't, didn't have the time. His whole content is weird. It's like it felt very like schizophrenic. I don't know. Yeah, the ukulele videos I just started trying to start watching. It was a bit weird. I was like, eh, I'm not liking the vibe. You know. Now they're claiming oh, I was never into rags. Okay, that's a lie. There are several other lies, but that so I never said not, I was never so not, into rags. Not into someone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh. Now they're claiming. All right, you do it. All right. I pause. There we go. Um, what I was going to say is, so not hugely into something does not mean I was never into something. Yeah, Completely hugely implies things. that I was very invested. I just said I wasn't very invested, but I used to watch his content. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, he's saying that you're super into their content and you watched all of it every single day. Oh. Yeah, I've watched yeah. every single one of their and videos a the, hundred times. Yeah. And the thing is, even if that was true, it's like, what's the point? You, you can't change your opinion over time, I guess? Well, no, 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 that is a hard no, not no, with Dark yeah, Thor. Dark Thor does not. Yeah, that's not allowed. No. You are guilty for all time. Yeah, yeah. Madvocate was on was never EFAP, uh one time in 2021. Mm-hmm. And, so uh, like 12 words. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he he's he will always and forever be associated with with EFAP. So yeah. Well, well, not, only that, <laughs> not only that, not only that, but Dark Thor used to say that because Madvocate was on EFAP, but he is a regular guest on ecom that means we're still associated with efa well also right? you guys are associated, associated with, with well also you're associated with tmr i guess oh, oh yeah he'll, he, mentioned he'll, as well. he'll, he brings this up in the video trust me yeah he mentioned uh, meme as well but i think the madvocate thing is way funnier because meme is still friends with efa whereas right. <laughs> whereas yeah. madvocate hasn't talked to them in ages has meme repository yeah. acknowledged the flaws of efa <laughs> <laughs> wait i was just gonna can you imagine as meme repository thought? acknowledged the flaws of bad faith bingo <laughs> has meme repository acknowledged the la- the flaws of his lack of apology <sighs> oh. let's get this goddamn video done guys yeah okay that's a lie there's Four a really lie. Hours. That is pretty shocking and when I brought up a lot There's of this- never into Rex's content, I that's a lie. I didn't say that. I love all Rex's content. Uh, yeah, I did say I loved the content the two made. Been a fan of EFAP as well as Mahler. Yeah, I probably th- did like Rex and Mahler's content a lot more back then, uh, especially Rex. I don't think, but I think like because he, he hadn't made a video in like ages. So I think the only thing I considered like Rags' content was his Fallout 76 video, which I remember liking because I remember liking to watch people criticize that game. So Yeah. It seems like Rags just kind of rakes in super super chat cash on EFAP at this point. I don't know. He doesn't really make a lot of videos. Yeah. yeah. Free up the EFAP. The person said, I don't care about all that. I don't even know anything about that. 
And even if it's true, I don't care. And the same person is charging me with. So that was just said about the Joseph Anderson thing, which I don't no, even. He's think mentioning that's... the N word thing, I... the, the tweet on the top. You see, the um. Well, so, wait, what in the hell is with that tweet that, beneath it? The the I don't care thing that was in reference to the Joseph Anderson thing, and mm. the Joseph Anderson thing that wasn't bigotry. That's just him being an insensitive dipshit. Yeah. Mm. Like those are two different things. Yeah. Not that I'm saying it's good. Because uh, mm -hmm. I know he's going to probably twist it into that. Um, but there's a difference between bigotry and just being a dumbass edgelord. Mm. Yeah. yeah. With bigotry. And the issue is over. Wolf's just say, I use. Oh my God. I fucking Rags <laughs> tweet. He hasn't used Twitter in ages. He okay. got banned like two years ago. <laughs> or no, it was, it was like I wonder years years five years ago. It was like 2017, I think. 18, whatever. Thankfully, I never defended because I noticed two lies on liking Rags <laughs> content from all to only a little. And the person say, I mean, yeah, it went back on that. I didn't remember that comment a lot. Or I wrote that comment when I was, I guess, more emotional because I was like, oh my God, I'm on ETH. I remember when I was writing that. I, was, I kind of exaggerated a little. Anyway. The person saying the N word, ah, don't care. And in other cases, offensive words aren't bigger. Shape. Yeah, um, slurs can be used to hurt people. That's when it's bad. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this, he, and he's citing Domingo, but like Domingo uh, has admitted that he had he has the wrong context for how Rags was using it, um, because like in in the context of when he was using it, he was using it like purposely to piss people off. Um, mm -hmm. whereas like here, uh, Sky is under the impression it was just used without knowing the context of it. Yeah, and it was there wasn't like he even used the word. I was like, what context? Yeah. Racist comments on the internet aren't dangerous. Well, that's wrong, Greg. Nazi symbols on the internet aren't dangerous. That's wrong, Greg. And the Holocaust on the internet is that's wrong, <laughs> Greg. <And TV's laughs> okay. What the? Yeah, fuck? that's a that's anyway. a pretty bad tweet. Yeah. 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 The third it's one, like, especially. Jesus oh, Christ. That's... Yeah. The third. Uh... The word. Apparently, I cannot use this word. Apparently, what do you mean? Do you want to use the word? You're trying <laughs> to criticize me for defending the use of the word. And then you say, oh, apparently I can't use it. Which means you want to. Are you fucking insane? Hmm. <laughs> my apparently I can't Guess use what? this horrible word. One of their friends uses the word. I don't care at all. Yeah, Jeb okay, let's see. uses Are we slurs saying rag? That's what I said. It's Jeb. I said, I'm oh, friends no. with Jeb. If I took issue with Jeb, Jeb would have a hard time talking to me. Um, I actually kind of went back on that. I do want to talk to Jeff about it. I don't know if I'm okay with this. It just kind of annoys me. Um, it just kind of seems like wanting to be an edgelord um, mm. rather than doing anything funny. It's like, oh, I'm saying a word I'm not supposed to. It's basically mm. Anyway. And despite disassociating with the EFAP, their own podcast is modeled on the EFAP. And wait for it. What? Oh, my God. Why did you pick this? <laughs> <laughs> oh. what, what, what's no, I'm so sorry, back, Sky. Go back to the last of a chat so, screenshot. Oh, my God. This so is the, the part. Um, this is the part that he clipped out of context um, and, and just just outright lies about what I've said because I never right. said anything remote like regarding this. So I put the, I clipped this and put this on Twitter. And I remember Sky was like, she, why? <laughs> oh, yeah. Why the fuck is that? The background. <laughs> well, I'm considering Dark Thor. Is this you know, the one he sings in season uh, three? Yeah. So yeah, um, <laughs> it's running home to you, Jeff and I made a bet in C during season eight that I thought Caitlyn would die, and he thought that Killer Frost would die, and so because he won, I had to sing it, and so yeah. <laughs> it's not the only time I've sang for Ecom, but it's the only time that's been posted. The other ones are uh, on the archive. It's gonna be posted soon. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're platforming people from the EFAP. And I brought this up to from Sheep the Talk. Said, from well, the you know, this gas. No, that's a lie. What do you mean that's a so, yes, lie? Yes, you are morally evil. What do you mean that's a lie? They are just gas. <laughs> yes, you are had, morally I, evil. I have not had an EFAP host on my podcast. What do you mean that's a lie? Wait, wait. How did, is that a lie? Did he just call you morally evil? Yes. Yeah, oh. associated with the But also like I literally didn't even say that. Like so, and I was just like that's this is just not true. I did not say that. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> what you do on ecom with meme repository, I don't give a shit. Um but like I'm not going <laughs> to play the Nazi game. Like, that's, <laughs> so. that's not what I've ever said. And you're lying. Meme depository is not just a guess. Meme depository. Meme depository. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's not just a guest because he edits stuff too. That 
Brit has edited stuff for Ecom, but I wouldn't consider him more than a guest. That's weird fucking stat. Whatever. Meme suppository. He said this. He's in the videos. Mahler acknowledges this. I have to say... What how is that? Video? Wedrick has been brown in my table. videos too. That doesn't mean he's a Nico well, host. What is happening? I, I know what he's ref. It's about to show the meme repository because it's the end of the Snyder Cut video. Uh, mm. And he goes, hello, I'm the meme repository. Mm. <laughs> Frank, I believe mm. these people are wildly ignorant, wildly incompetent, and incredibly evil. Yeah. And even mm. though <laughs> <I didn't laughs> you guys are just a bunch of lying grifters real. and you're pieces of garbage. You can call me all these names. I've been called a lot of names before. I've been called maybe because you yeah, call other people those names. Why the fuck are you showing Zod's channel? What is happening? Oh, because he he has rags and Mauler there. Okay, now I get it. I don't think Zod has checked their channel for ages, but sure. <laughs> I think it even had Southpaw because I remember when I first made my channel and and I um I I did an interview with Southpaw because I did an interview mm -hmm. with him and I used to go on Smudcast with Southpaw. I I had his little icon on the side of my subscribe bar for people mm -hmm. to go to subscribe to, and that was left there throughout the entirety of like the countless dramas I've had with you. Dude, yeah, Chase was, was on the there. Ecom I didn't banner. even realize it was there. Chase was on the Ecom banner after everything that went down. I was like, oh fuck, I need to get him out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will say something about Meme Repository just because I, I know we've been, at least you guys have been talking on him. Uh, at least in my friendship with him, uh, well, I, I struggle to call him a terrible person because I, I remember that when I was first diagnosed with autism i didn't really know much anything about it they said so oh, yeah, just diagnosed yeah. me and they just let me out into the world they said yeah you're you're positive but all right bye now it's like oh that's thank you that's really helpful and i don't know how i even brought up to him oh, oh yeah i i remember he he publicly tweeted about autism and mm -hmm. i i just thought you know I'll, I'll go ask him some questions about it and he was incredibly helpful and, and kind to me and extremely understanding uh, talking about his, his own experiences with autism. Yeah, that happened with me and, too when I talked to him about being diagnosed with autism. Yeah. And yeah, that, that was honestly super helpful for me. Uh, I honestly, it would be d difficult to, I, I don't know what the fuck, how I, I'd be taking that information still to this day if it wasn't for me repository telling me a lot of what it meant and how I could identify certain parts of my own life of how it's it, it's been mm -hmm. affected that I've even known. So you, yeah, right. I, I like the guy still to this day. Um, I can't mm -hmm. speak to if you know, like he, he he's people are allowed to be wrong, and uh, I can't speak to the drama that Southpaw and uh, SK have had with uh, being repository himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, I yeah. would have dropped it like if he just you know went back on it. It's like yeah, I don't I don't stand by it, and you know actually like apologize, but. Didn't happen. Uh, oh, he kind of just doubled what? down. It's a pre premise. I'm a pro black racist. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I gotta hear that again. Can we go back? I was not seconds? expecting to hear those words. I've been called a lot of names before. I've been called a black supremacist. I'm a pro black racist. I think he meant. I think he meant black supremacist. <laughs> 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 A black supremacist. Yeah, he said that I had bad grammar in my videos, but my god. Uh, I was like, well, to hear those words. Well, well Sheep is a white supremacist. I am, yeah. Supremacist. You made a charge, but unlike you, I will maintain a standard. So I'm going to say this. I think the Ecom and the EFAP and the Geeks and Gamers and these other... Oh my god, you imagine putting us at the same name as Geeks and Gamers? That came out of nowhere. That's That was fucking wow. shocking. Hello, Geeks like... and Gamers, it's Jeremy back to you with another video <laughs> and today... Oh god. Just, does he understand the amount of time that we've shat on like, all of those people? We cover Drinker now more often than... Uh, we've covered the drama else. with uh, Ef was it, uh, EFAP, I remember... Mm -hmm. Southpaw streaming uh, with a few people about Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, like saying, "Oh yeah, really, it was the Cyberpunk 2077 thing, wasn't it?" Uh, Maybe. Oh, yeah. God, yes, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, I remember that stream. And that didn't really Jeremy bad. try to try to defend his point? <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> dumb. I don't care about the game in isolation. I care about the the woke Hollywood. <laughs> 
be morons and oh, propaganda and script. But yeah. unlike them, I will be fair. I will oh, say. You will be fair. You just call me a Nazi <laughs> moron. I'm not Steve. I'm yeah, Dark Thor, you're man. Dark Thor, you're the bastion of fairness. Class act right here. Brands Nazis. You know, Nazis, they're so, you know, they're really getting into the spirit of 2023. They're so diverse. They're accepting trans people. Yeah. They're accepting no. black people. Well, you know, the thing they're is, accepting you Jewish know, people. It's, it's amazing. Pro black racism is national socialism. I am socialist, so I'm just a step away from being an actual Nazi. Oh, so he's close. He's very yeah. close. You're half a Nazi. Yeah, just half, half, half. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. SK and Sheev oh, do not align with Fandom Menace. I will respect that. I would call them grifters and propagandists. <laughs> yeah, naturally. I would say uh, Frankie Sheev is morally evil. Yeah. I'm going to put a question mark for SK. He's definitely done. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the question mark. Nice. Dude, you got to be more overt with your evilness like me. Come That's on. That's true. Yeah. You're leaving him, you're leaving him guessing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's definitely been. <laughs> obviously, I cannot obviously. deny some Snyder people have gone too far. What is this? What, what is, is this collage? Here? What the hell am I looking at? My Rhino, God. So obviously, that you know <laughs> proves your evil. People don't understand how much Toby what? hates Zach. What? Is that a fucking to... Southport in the head of a Rhino? Yeah. <laughs> 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 What is what is the connection? What is the connection of any of these things? So so okay so okay so 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 in the middle it's showing that some Snyder people have gone too far. In the right it's showing that um, SK is evil because he criticized Spectacular Spider Man, which is why there's the TLJ thing saying every word he just said is wrong right, because it's, it's not an overhyped disaster. Yeah, this is and then there is uh, Rhino Southpaw because obviously that just because you of know. course yeah they go, yeah. They, go, they go together like uh, like a horse and carriage. He, yeah, no, I'm so confused. He has to be inside I, of a I hippo. I think this is going to a French art museum right now. <laughs> it's just, I'm gonna frame that on my fucking wall. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm putting that on my fridge. Yeah. Yeah. This is, a, oh, this I'm, is gonna, just, I'm gonna take this screenshot. All right here we go. There we go. This is art now. It's gonna be preserved for all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the banana taped to the wall that can go away. So this yeah. is this, this is should real be taped to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here, right. Picasso. Yeah, get out of here, Banana. Yeah. Get out of here, Armut. Move Thor a side wall. Come up here with uh, some truly, truly deep uh, criticism of uh, art uh, and interpretive <laughs> medium, and he he really has uh, expanded it. Uh, he's a visionary. I just don't know what the fuck Southport Rhino has to do with anything. I'm just so lost. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> wait, wait. My, my theory is that the, the Luke Skywalker in the bottom right, like that's that's him. That's Dark Thor, like saying that about like all of these things. But because he doesn't know how to do any of this, he just keeps it like really small in the bottom corner. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs everything to be of the same fucking frame, as opposed to just cutting like... it away to something. South Paul, you need to make that uh, your profile pick for a good week. Yeah. <laughs> Please do. Doing a That's lot of smile things. looks so cheeky. It's okay. If you want to question moral? <laughs> so be it. I would need to do more research. I would call them both propagandists and grifters. Propagandists. Who wants they to are the lesser red. So I will say some cast. Yes, a bunch of propagandists and grifters, but they are the lesser evil. Right. Right. Okay, so you're not as bad as Nazis, SK. <laughs> should be so like, I guess there, there's like a gradient, right? Because on the on the forest end of the extreme, there's EFAP, and then on on the on the other end of the extreme, it's Dark Thor, the you know yeah. the holier than thou. Um, no, and then the very end of that, there's uh, uh, the expanded is like the next is like the closest to Dark Thor, right? Closest, <laughs> yeah. Holiness. And then there's me, sort of sandwiched in there between that and Ecom, I think. Or no, I'm probably yeah. worse than Ecom. But then, but then there's no, I, no, no, no. You're yeah. not. You're not because he says you're evil and a grifter, but he doesn't. He says you and Nazis. Well, but I'm also a fascist, Nazis. so. But you're just fascist. You're not a Nazi. That's you know? true. You're yeah. a lower level of fascism. Lower level. Yeah, I'm a grunt fascist. <laughs> yeah. Bye, fascist. I, just I don't want to label that neo Nazi propaganda. Maybe they are. I would so just call them. Why is SK's 
the username no. scribbled out, but he didn't scribble out in the other ones. <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> Wait, so now doesn't that defeat the point? Because it's supposed to be he about to... this is an expose. I'm so lost. What is going on? Is. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Anomaly. I would unfortunately have to put him in the middle. I don't. He is definitely a propagandist. He's definitely He's the a centrist. He's definitely doing a lot of bigoted things for a while now. I, Wait, Anomaly's I, better, I, than I, than I, better than us. Are you for I, real? I cannot keep any of this wow. straight. He's literally going drop dead loser. <laughs> he's, he's saying, he wait, so he's say, is he saying that Anomaly is better than Thumbcast, which is the closer to him? So I guess it's Anomaly, then Thumbcast, then Sheev, then Ecom, then Efath, then Geeks and Gamers. That's the, that's that's the, scale, the scale of how bad yeah. you are. I want to know on the scale. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. You're probably somewhere right. between oh. Thumbcast and me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm next to Sheev. We him could look next to each other. Against. I would call him out for his lying and gaslighting. And I think that's fair, and it is connected to the EFAP. Because <laughs> he's saying now, oh, I was never in the EFAP. Okay, I think, again, you're like a lot of these people, you're having it both ways. You have connections, you admire them. Uh, you no, Anomaly doesn't have connections to EFAP. Everyone hates him by this point, doesn't he? Like, uh, I don't think anybody. Yeah, does anyone like Anomaly Inc? I don't yeah, think like after, like no. after him, no, he told the wolf coward. to kill himself. I think everyone just stopped liking him. <laughs> yeah. Which you know, fair. <laughs> yeah, good reason. It's just yeah, I, I don't even like know or care what he's doing these days. Yeah, I think the only thing I've seen of him is Shandy covered a video of his on Spider Man One, where he was so I shit at defending Spider Man. Very long time. All I know he, is he's like half of the he, people I he know. He tried to defend Spider Man One, and he did it so poorly that sh that he basically added criticisms onto <laughs> the film. <laughs> <laughs> it was a funny fucking stream. I, I remember like his defenses for the lunchroom scene and how people don't figure it out and it was a yeah. funny yeah. dumb isn't that the Isn't that the thing that he was arguing about that caused him to call Wolf, to tell Wolf to yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Wow. Um, you support their content, but say, I'm not really with them. I think Anomaly Inc. is in the middle. If you want to call me <gasps> inconsistent, and more Why is he showing oh, this? Is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Mad over That's a TV me. show. It's literally me when I catch a ride with a trick <laughs> <and a> traveling man. <laughs> well, why are you going all the way with geeks and gamers, EFAP, ecom? We know that we know uh, these people. We know them. The Midnight Edge, could... the whole lot of these people. Why are you going with all? Hey, what's I'm trying to this? avoid like attacking, attacking South Park. Park. There seems to be strong evidence that he also made bigoted <laughs> remarks, but is now trying to lexure people on bigotry. South Park was attacking JXE. Was not what? attacking JXE. So this screenshot. Hey, wait, wait, this screenshot isn't about. It doesn't South show. What's South the screenshot going to do? Have with anything that? to do with that? Why? Uh, South Paul so doesn't, doesn't like the bigotry. The TV. only thing that has to do with South Paul is it says South Paul Arrow Massive Boner. Yeah. Well, so I mean, I think what I think what he's alluding to is like in the past when South Paul was a much more right leaning person and he was with EFAP, he was transphobic and he said some transphobic things in Discord. Um, and they're like screenshots of that. I don't know why they're not being shown here since, you know, that yeah. would actually help your case. This but like, server. <laughs> none of those were ever used against JXE. And also he's rescinded that countless times. The so. feelings can change. Because, because EFAP fans like to use this as a gotcha. Well, like, it, it's like, dark. Hmm, this wasn't well, a, care. a big issue when I was pro EFAP, but okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm curious, like, is Dark Thor like aware of what happened between you and EFAP? Of course sure he's yeah. aware. Yeah, yeah, he's, 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 that's, that's what I thought, but I'm just he's like... Watched the video. He's made videos about it, yeah. He um, watched yeah. that video, and that, that's well, actually where the dead naming Sky thing came from. He missed Because he was oh. confused. He was so confused. Was very oh, I can have two Carlton different Gans. names. Because SK so very funny. clearly specified in the video when, when talking about the Southpaw wolf call that they were still referring to her as Marcus because that's like what she was going by at the time. Mm -hmm. but that, yeah, it's like that's why like they that. refer to yeah, that's why they refer to me in the wolf call by that name. But every time SK mentioned my name, he said Sky, and then he was very yeah. confused. I was like, wait, who is this Sky person? I need to investigate. This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, did they change their gender? And then we, and then like we like told him what like what 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 the case was, and you know expected like oh, okay, sorry, and 
you know, like, you know, you'd retract and correct that. But no, he just doubled down. Yeah, he was like, oh, you were clear. So, you know, did Lab you call fall. you by your dead name? Yeah, it's like, yeah. That, that doesn't matter. Like, just correct it and be better. Yeah. Dark Thor is an amazing trans ally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because he's trying to defend Jay when he's been extremely transphobic to me. I don't get it. He's like the yeah. two percent. Well, when Southpaw's transphobic against trans. when Southpaw's transphobic, that's definitely worth highlighting. But when he's transphobic, yeah. you know, when he's transphobic, he's Native American. Southpaw isn't so. true. South, yeah. yeah, Southpaw, that's on you, really, for being white. Yeah, yeah, how yeah, dare you true. Native American. Fuck. That is true. Piece the Native shit. American all-encompassing oh, 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 shield. These guys, I will say, with anomaly, yes, I may be biased. I need to do a little bit more research to make that mm -hmm. research. Anomaly, I agree. Now, in terms of the Snyder Cut expose, hey, I will say this. The reason I can do the anomaly in Why video... This what does again? this have to do with the Snyder Cut expose? <laughs> you're talking, of, you're talking <laughs> about anomaly. Why is there a rag street here? What is happening? Oh, my God. He, he cannot stay care. on topic. He's not putting things in the, in the places that they would go because he's not <laughs> editing these. He's just throwing <laughs> shit up on the screen. He doesn't care. I care, Sheev. It hurts That's me. The one who edits, yeah, I know. I edit my videos so meticulously so that, like, every single thing on screen is related to what I'm saying. Me it too. Hurts. I spent a fucking month editing my Ambed of the Wasp video. It hurts. I want everything to be proper. And now look at this. I've been an editor forever. It's fucking painful. It's horrible. No. <laughs> You've got to do better, I'm losing this is my fucking I don't even expect from like a high school project. Yeah, the twelve year yeah. No, that is an in, no, that's an insult to high school failed. projects. That is yeah, an insult. No, if I, if yeah, I no. had a video like this in high school, I would have gotten that would have been a failed assignment and it would have yeah. been just hurt. I yeah. can probably find videos that I made when I was twelve that are better edited than this. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Guys, guys, guys. I'm I'm starting to think that Dark Thor is not a college professor. <laughs> yeah. I'm that's, 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 that's <laughs> I don't believe. I feel like you're gonna have to prove that because I mean, yeah, you have to take a pretty ironclad uh, defense for your points because the evidence uh, against you is overwhelming. So, don't want to yeah. spread misinformation. I mean, he said it. Mm -hmm. yeah. never lies. So. <laughs> don't want to don't be like don't want to be like palpa memes. You know, you don't want to spread misinformation and then gold man corrects you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the gold man. Yeah, fuck the gold man. Gathering it together and putting the video together will take time, but I can do it. It's feasible. So, by the way, just not a cut none of this has anything to do with, like, he's just talking about a different thing that he's working on now. So, we don't have to finish this if we don't want to. Oh, cool. So, I guess, I guess it can so we'll finish it because we definitely I want to. to. <laughs> oh, no. Finish me. A liar. And I do think this person is a liar. They're connected to Zach, too, by the way. It's not what? easy. I will just say that may take some time to gather the evidence. I, I can tell he didn't edit this because it actually has like the decent pacing. You just stole this from somebody else, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. so it's creepy, not... doesn't it? Mm. I'm going to gather the evidence on this person. I'm going to do everything <laughs> I can to try and discredit their name. <laughs> oh, hey, look, Joe's here. I'm gathering a dossier. Oh, my God, it's Joe. Oh, it's Joe. <laughs> Joe. Hi, Joe. Joe Mama. I wonder if you guys watch this stream. Joe's cool. I like Joe. What is Tell this? me how you watched the first comment. minute and clicked off without no, telling me true. what uh, you watched the first minute and clicked off. Okay. In due time. And I will make that a promise. If I don't fulfill that promise, you can definitely attack. I'm bad of scumbag. You know, probably, people will just say, this is a bunch of silly internet lunacy. Who the hell cares? Just country. Oh my God, bro. Why? <laughs> I do think it's important. Hi, it's Star Wars Theory. Doctor. And we try Look, to Star Wars theory is a bitch, but like, this is have anything to do with them. Right, we'll have to say I've done a way better job than these people. <laughs> Chief Talks can. I'm sure. Yeah, you're Marvel. He's been exposed. Yeah. Continue exposed. <laughs> that that's a really awkward awesome yeah. yeah. I could do now. a lot of things on left activism. I could do more against the uh, Iraq War. My God. The the left left Iraq war. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go back. I can hear that again. So <laughs> self righteous. Narrative. He's been exposed. I'm going to continue to expose them. I have a couple of advanced degrees. I've tried to no, do a lot does. of things on left activism. I could do more against the Iraq war. Okay. <laughs> he's he's, he's, he's using the Superman clip. Like he's this he's a big fan of justice. He's this big hero. <laughs> <laughs> he's big of justice. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll give this guy a pat on the back and probably uh, seek professional help for him because, goddamn, he needs it.
Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, let uh -huh. me introduce you to my friend that you just scheduled a point with the psychiatrist. Like, yeah, I'm going to leave real quick. You two talk for an hour. I'm so done with this. <laughs> also, she, are, how are you still living? Organs. You've been so, just destroyed with facts and logic. I'm no angel. Mm. I've done things in my life that clearly can be called out. Yes. Can't, really? We can. We're not. We, we can criticize you, Doc. Uh, wait, what, what was that? Who I am. Huh. You're coming off like a silly moron. I'm going to tell you that <laughs> he's using, using this moron and using shotgun. Oh, he's that, using uh, the thing again. <laughs> mm -hmm. He just said that we can't criticize him because we don't know who he is. So we can't criticize his best. But no, no, no. He's, he's, he's he said the things that, that can be criticized that he's done that he's not proud of. And then goes to, you can't criticize me because you don't know me. Exactly. It's like, well, oh, you can't you know, so you can criticize me. know a damn thing about me. Well, it's he knows you. Say. You don't know him, but he knows you. He knows you better than you know yourself. You are, you, are just as, you are just as deplorable as Hank Dalworth and Brick Pollock. <laughs> yeah. There's 15 seconds left. Come on. So... But I'm gonna respect his privacy. But if he's gonna continue character assassinating me, <laughs> character assassinating. Okay. <laughs> but well, it's, you know, well, he's not, he said he it's had not a DMs in the line. beginning of the video. Why is he showing this? He's not he's going, going to release the DMs because he respects your privacy. And then he turns around, almost like a threat, at the end of it, and says, "Wow, that video was fucking painful." Oh my god. The best part is it's not over because we had to skip over a lot of stuff. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we were at, uh, that's all right, though. You guys, you guys don't have to uh, to stay for like any longer than yeah. You I, I do to, need to leave. No. I'm I'll hang for a bit longer. Bitch, I have no life. Get us back to this fucking. Just, all right, know. I need to leave. I hope Dark Thor watches all. Right. all. I have a wonderful, you, wonderful day, uh, Sky. Uh, you'll Thank pass you. along my best wishes to all the ecom folks. I will. I'll Ooh. tell them that they're Including all Including the meme repository, who is like a very well-known um, <laughs> ecom host. host yeah. 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 So. Uh -huh. well, yeah. Twitter Barry said once that SK, Naira, and Madvika are all ecom hosts. I guess we can add meme repository <laughs> too. It's fine. <laughs> We'll just keep adding on. <laughs> yeah. He also Everyone's called me an blood cancer. Yeah. He calls you what? Blood cancer because I oh, criticized yeah. the reverse flag. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hold on. I, I'll show you that. Show you that. that. Wow. Show that before hold, on. hold on. Hold on. He's <laughs> mad that I criticized one thing about Thawne's plan in season one. Oh. Jesus. Uh -huh. Fuck. Blood How the cancer. fuck am I going to find this? That was a fucking intense. Oh, I don't even know how to react. Fuck. Yeah. Um, I'm like, usually the one that comes up with fucked up insults. Jesus Christ, that's uh, <laughs> kind of impressive for somebody so stupid to come up with that. Uh -huh. uh, what single word you could use to describe Dark Thor? Lobotomized. Um, um, mistake. Perfect. I'll be charitable. You might even be able to use two words. Failed abortion. Really perfect. God mode. God, no. <laughs> I, I I would go for abortion. <laughs> I th I think yeah. No, it's, yeah. Here I go. Catastrophe. Ooh, I, found I found the I found the comment. National tragedy. All right. Oh I, yeah. I'm, so I'm Paul, by the way, um, Wait, according to his profile, is from New Jersey. Oh no. That's <laughs> the two Paul. words that we need to describe it is New Jersey. Moist political jeb. <laughs> Maybe <Sorry>. Elsa. COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doctor Who demonic fan diarrhea. Guy, Ebola, <laughs> Madvocate, Agent Orange, <laughs> Naira, Malaria, Wow. Yes, that's a comment. That, yeah, that, that, so well, that comment is still oh, That comment is still Why am I obviously not a host? Damn. Uh, <laughs> it's fun. No, you know what the funny thing is? Me? I, I guess after me, everyone was named properly. But he couldn't fucking just say Jeb, Zod, or Tid. He called Tid especially Doctor Who demonic fan. You know why he calls her demonic? Because she is trans. <laughs> and oh he kept God. saying that she was demonic. It's a I, was, I love Twitter, Barry. Uh, I, I guess. Anyway, I do wow. need to leave now. Thanks for having me on. All right. uh, Dark a, Thor is silly. Have, a, have an absolutely wonderful day. And uh, mm. yeah, everyone can find Sky's stuff down below. Yeah, if you want to watch me shit on... Ant Man. She made a great How I Met Your Father video. Very underrated. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, gold face. <laughs> All right. Well, let's push on, shall we? Mm, fine. We're back to the stroke.
<laughs> oh god, not this again. <laughs> but then, moments later, you're like, uh, I can't believe Kenobi had to deal with that win Imperial. Oh my god. How embarrassing. So now they're super what? competent. So, which is what? it? Are they radically incompetent or what? radically competent? In fact, they're so powerful. They what? can take a Jedi Master. Right, you were complaining before. Okay, well, so I think I know what he's referring to. There was a part uh, during the fight on Jabim when they were the rebels were being pushed back in the hallway, um, and Tala was getting shot at. Obi Wan was was preoccupied for like ten whole seconds fighting one stormtrooper, and I was like, "That's stupid." Just mm -hmm. that you know, this was just to get him out of the fight so Tala could get killed. Like that's bullshit. And I guess he's saying that because of that. I'm complaining that the Empire is super competent. I, is that the through line? Am I missing uh, something? Uh, I mean, I guess, I guess it's kind of true. If, uh, or at least that if one stormtrooper is pretty an competent. Idiot, you're not competent. I was, I was yeah. more annoyed at the fact that he's it's one stormtrooper against a Jedi Master. It wasn't even necessary because you had like I don't know twenty stormtroopers there. You could just have him like bogged down yeah, by like yeah, a hailstorm like of blaster fire. Numbers, yeah. yeah. No, he he's basically saying you're complaining that five should be six. Uh, well, well, it's seven here. So why do you still have a problem? That's yeah, well, basically what he's saying. I I don't care. Fuck this. Let's get this done. <laughs> Literally seconds before, oh, where are they more competent? And then you're like, oh my god, they're too competent. <laughs> that is a straightforward. <laughs> one. You ever heard of Goldilocks? The only case. They're pretty hey guys, why, why does... earlier in that same fight too. They're just kind of rushing in with no form or like rhyme or reason, no formation. They just rush yeah. into the base head on and get killed easily by the rebels because they're stupid. Goldilocks complained that the soup was too cold. So why is Goldilocks, <laughs> Goldilocks complaining that it's too hot now? <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's literally yeah. That's exactly what he's arguing. Goldilocks <laughs> is incompetent. Goldilocks character is inconsistent. Yeah. Inconsistent. This happens quite a few times in this moronic rant of video. Thank you. But I will try to give it a chance. You know, I get all tingly when you talk dirty like that, Dark Thor. Mm -hmm. respond yeah. to it, but mostly, there's nothing to respond to. He is just babbling nonsense. And it's really shocking to think that this was actually quote, a suppressed video. He had extra time to correct his mistakes. He chose not to, so yeah, it's pretty worthless. Oh, so highlight the mistake. Worthless, hate filled piece of garbage nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> he talks about your videos like they're the, his own videos, like like in terms of their quality and how much how rambly and how fucking terrible they look. How completely disorganized and distort and uh, yeah. disjointed they are. Well, th did anyone else think that that like sounded really bitter? No, it like, did. Yeah, just, like. <laughs> that's just yeah, how we exactly TV show. Like this stupid shitty video. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. That's just his natural fire. state, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, but like before, remember, like he, he was talking more like condescending and 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 sort of patronizing. When or here, he was just like she talks is a fucking liar. He's a fucking grifter. Piece of shit. Yeah, like he started kind of like losing his shit. I don't know. Yeah, like you want to hear that again? Mostly, there's nothing to respond to. He is just babbling nonsense, and it's really shocking to think that this was actually. Quote a suppressed video. He had extra time to correct his mistakes. Suppressed. He chose not to. So yeah, what's, what's it's, he mean? it's a suppressed video. It's a worthless grifter, hate-filled piece of garbage nonsense. See, he sounds fucking bitter. <laughs> he sounds like he's on the verge of tears. Yeah, he's no, like. Uh, well, at the bad. end, I would. I'd say on the contrary. He almost sounded like he was about to laugh, like he was holding in a laugh. Well, either way, he's on the verge of some strong emotion that would. That he's on the verge of a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now remember, kids, Disney introduced comedy into Star Wars, and God only knows comedy and action can never be mixed together. Nope. Facepalm. They'd be conflicting tones. Um, so it's gonna depend on like the action scene you're going for, obviously. Well, I know. It's a, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Cause like I I you know, puss in boots fighting the giant troll at the beginning, and he and he like pulls up his uh his hat and goes, hey. You want to see something cool? And then, like, a bell hits him in the face. That's funny. Mm -hmm. But it's also an action scene. Mm -hmm. You can have both. It's going to depend on the context. Or just not... No, he's not saying anything. It's just... Just, just complete... He could have read out just... what he's... With this text here. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Complete silence. What is he doing? <laughs> 
Come on, man. Uh, this, this comedy gold right here. Come as we on. see the Ewoks getting slaughtered by an ATST. He's not what, what saying the hell? anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even putting music oh, behind this is it. Absolute comedy right Why? here. Why? Why would the Obi-Wan opening the freezer meme? <laughs> you know, I half expected to the meme where he like open one tears off a woman's clothes. This is going on for so long. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Jesus just... Christ. I mean, also he's playing like Return of the Jedi, unpaused, unfiltered. So like I hope this doesn't get striked. I think he's just banking uh, on the fact that nobody knows about him except for like well, but, All of but us, like for our for our sake, like if the the stream gets taken down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna just skip this because, like, what the hell? It's just it's what? still going. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So <laughs> <Hey, yo! laughs> Did he intend, <laughs> Did he so intend to talk long. over that and just forgot to include <laughs> the audio? Just forgot to include the audio. Was that just to like pad out the video for some reason? Like, I, I genuinely think that he was talking about something and he just no. Didn't I think he was audio. just. He was so, yeah, he was so stupid. He just did, he forgot to put in the audio. He didn't check. <laughs> Nobody said, checked the audio in this channel or something. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, whenever I upload a video, I at least watch through it like several times. Yeah. He did, Even if, he like, did not minutes. watch this. If, like, I, I go through all of it, like making sure there's no like edits. I want to make sure my arguments are pinpoint, and there'll be plenty of times that I'll say, actually, maybe I could do this point a bit better, and there'll be entire sections that I add to prop to try yeah. and better explain myself. Or yeah, well, when like, you actually care about your work being the best that it can possibly be, you're gonna redraft your scripts a bunch of times, and you're gonna edit, and you're gonna swap out things with like better clips because no, you're, you're like, oh, this, this would be a better clip than the one I used for this part. Grifter. You know, because you actually care about <laughs> the presentation of your video and you want it to look as best as it can. Now, th this oh, is something he cobbled together and he cobbled this together in an afternoon, you know, after he was grading well, his afternoon. imaginary homework from his imaginary students. He, he was like editing this while watching Teletubbies and it took him like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some food. Uh, maybe, maybe McDonald's. I'll see. Ooh, um, give me some. I'll be back. <laughs> I can't believe anyone would unironically eat McDonald's. All right, have fun. Come oh, yeah. back if you can. I probably, you know, actually, I after the stream is over, I'm probably gonna get, uh, I'm probably gonna get McDonald's as well. I'm very hungry. You know, Sheev, I've just lost all respect for you. That's okay. Yeah, McDonald's I never sucks. had any for you to begin with. So, <laughs> yeah, go to like Did Dairy Queen or something. Well, at least Dairy Queen's decent. I might go to Brahms. Actually, it's closer and it's better. What is Brahms? Oh God, you've never had Brahms. I don't know. What, what is, is Brahms? Oh, okay. No so, thing? Well, so it's in Texas as well, but it might be like a like a Midwestern sort of. Um... Yeah, write this down. Sheev's doxing oh, so himself. We've got to search every Brahms in the country. It's it's yeah. Brahms. Dox. It's like sort of half grocery store, half restaurant. They sell uh, ice cream, burgers, stuff like that. Really good, honestly. You guys Brahms remember ice in, cream? Like the Midwest, and you you see a Brahms, you just stop in. Yeah, Sheev, if I remember just crashing on your couch being a jackass, I might visit Brahms. Yeah. I'll have to visit it, Brahms. It looks like a German word. It's like B-R-A-U-M. Just more evidence that you're a fascist. You know? Yep. Yeah, true. No, it, it, it's really good. Um, their their uh, milkshakes are fucking delicious. Anyway. Fascist milkshakes. Yeah. Oh, I have so many things to say. Really? Because honest, you just totally spent like a minute not saying anything. Hot garbage. And I don't mean Kenobi. Uh, so Chief Talks is going to try to uh, convince us that, yeah, that whole Reba Obi fight, hey, make no sense. And I didn't make sense. The Reba Obi gonna have fight. To wait for it. They didn't fight. Okay, um, well, it was pretty jaw droppingly stupid. So I just want to play this little snippet because when I heard it, I was laughing. I'm like, what? What the fuck? Did you just say? And I have to imagine that's what Reva was expecting too, especially considering this really awkward line we get from Vader here. He was wise to use you against me. So I guess Obi-Wan just tricked Reva into fighting his battle for him, knowing full well she wouldn't be strong enough to defeat Vader alone because he didn't want to? I don't know. That's the only way I can explain <laughs> Spider-Man just shrugging. His logical face. interpretation I can... So, I do actually... The one thing I will say is that this particular part of the video, I do think I could have uh, worded better. Uh, because I'm not saying that because Vader said that, that must mean it's true. And that's that's what he's about to, that's about that's what he's going to like latch on to for like the next three minutes. So 
the reason that I, I came to that conclusion was because it's literally the only thing that made sense. Uh, Vader saying that is just like the icing on the cake, really. Well, yeah, I mean, the main problem is just simply Obi-Wan's actions. Like what yeah, he's that's what here. that's what I'm highlighting is that like the plan didn't make sense and he just abandoned her. So like what did he think would happen? And this is kind of fucked up from like a, like from a perspective of like what is Obi-Wan doing? Um, and, and it could have worked. Like if he had just stood his ground, she could have like slashed yeah. him in the back or something. I don't know. They could have they could have taken him on together, and they would have won. That's a fact because he beats him one v one in the next episode. But like, and yeah, that's what I'm arguing. I'm not saying that because Vader said it's true, that must mean it's true. I'm just saying that that, that it's really funny that even Vader noticed how malicious Obi Wan was. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Anyway, he's gonna latch on to me saying Vader said that and like try to uh, try to nitpick and try to strawman me that way. So that'll that'll mm. be fun. Can think of for this sequence. Well, I know it's a, <laughs> it's a robot head. Why? Because mm -hmm. Vader said. Wait. What the fuck? Vader. Your whole interpretation hangs on Vader telling the truth. He's so not so why is lying because even Vader there? Would never lie, right? Anakin never lies to us. So then, this the rest of this video is literally just going to be him like citing examples of Vader not being fully honest. He never lies to himself. Hmm. Vader never lies to us. Vader never lies to himself. Hmm. Oh wait a minute! No, he does lie. He actually canonically lies. He lies. Yep. He has no reason really? to lie in that that scene. He's um, just observing what, what Obi Wan did. Yeah. It's not like he's li It's not like he's telling Reva something she can't already put together for herself. He also mm -hmm. tells the truth sometimes too. I don't know. Yeah, I just know, want to point that out. In a while he does tell someone like, like when he's choking out Admiral Ozel, he's like, "I'm killing you as punishment <laughs> for for jumping out of the out of hyperspace too close to the system." He was being very honest in that scene. He's being extremely <laughs> honest. It depends on what you know. It's it's almost like he's a character. And he tells the truth or he tells lies depending on what will benefit him and get him further to his goal. Shudder to think, right? Perish the thought. The original Sith, he lies in the first film, he lies in Empire Strikes Back. What the fuck are you talking about? This character by What lie did he say in Empire Strikes Back? Trust. I'm curious. I'm trying to think um, because I, I can't remember him really lying at all and that he movie. was actually being pretty brutally honest in that movie, uh, like uh, throughout. A New Hope. Has he ever lied? Does he ever lie in Return of the uh, Jedi? Does he mm. lie? Can we? Could we say he lied to Palpatine at any point in Return of the Jedi? I don't. The, I only, it, the only time I remember him lying is really to Padme in Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, That's really it. And mm. and like this is the thing is like obviously he does lie at some point. He he's not a perfect person. <laughs> Uh, I don't think anyone's saying that he is. I, I could definitely imagine Vader lying if it would benefit him. Yeah, but it's just like, I don't, it's weird because I don't actually remember a time where he does lie in any of the OT or in Rogue One or anything else, uh, yeah. except Revenge of the Sith. Well, so, I, I mean, you know what's kind of funny to think about is that Obi-Wan lies to Luke more than Vader does in yeah, that's the true, OT. Yeah. <laughs> one of the one of the things all really Vader does is basically that's withhold right. information for a while, uh, and then eventually yeah, as it, as it yeah. benefits. Okay, I guess maybe ooh, maybe he lied. Maybe we're saying he lied in Empire because he lied to Lando and kept altering the deal. It's okay, not really right, lying. Okay, necessarily yeah. lying I'm, I'm sure he like the deal was this, and then he just said, "Fuck it, I'm changing it." Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's just being, that's not just like that's being lying, changing your mind to Dark Thor. That's all the same. So. Yeah, yeah the true. point is he didn't like honor the deal. <laughs> he wasn't you know? yeah, he yeah. wasn't honorable, he wasn't honest, he was being a piece of shit. Yeah, he's he's okay. a conniving freak, but I don't want to really say he's lying. Yeah. So he's like, I will work for Obi to use you. I can't I understand what you're, you're saying. saying. <laughs> what does that is that able to fuck was that? What? Jesus. What what, what you guys just heard was a college professor. Yeah, <laughs> someone yeah. who teaches students for a living, apparently. Well, we don't believe he is fluent in three, maybe four, four languages. Uh, yeah, depending on the context, I suppose. Liar! 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 What? That's that's not him lying. That's him. <laughs> He's that's him accusing Pat of lying. I don't believe him with anything Peter says. He's not a reliable person. You know, the guy committed genocide. He was very deceptive. You know, it's weird because, like, if. 
if I had no reason to believe that Vader was lying to me, like if I fe- if I thought that it would actually like benefit him more to tell me the truth, then I would believe he's telling me the truth. Mm. Yeah, because, you know that's just how people are. If anything, Palpatine yeah. is what so you so you less. Yeah, he's believe. the one who I would never trust because why yeah. would anyone trust Palpatine? Um, but not Vader. Yeah, if he's very evil, he tried to dominate his wife. He betrayed his friends. He tried to dominate. What? His wife. Tried to what? 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 His wife. He tried to dominate her. Uh, is he talking oh, about? Oh, he's talking. Oh, he's talking oh, he's talk about the scene when he was choking her. He thought that was some kind of kinky shit going on. I think you know he probably did think that. Yeah. He, he, he took the meme of Padme going, "Hi, oh, Daddy." To seriously. <laughs> okay, so thus far, Dark Thor has made a very uh, concerning amount of. Uh, references to his sexual desires and honestly it's kind of terrifying <laughs> oh my. i think he probably it took it from the wrong hate. scene he took it from the porn parody because <laughs> <laughs> like so his obsession me. with uh his I'm obsession with women out. his obsession with women beating up men i mean that that was a little yeah. weird and then this too it's like hmm, dark thor it seems like you him trying might to say have he's not trying to get females pieces. in his audience <laughs> well, I'm let's not just say, say get women in my audience. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, uh, honestly, I'm start, I'm starting to think he potentially. Now, don't quote me on this. I might be completely wrong. He's probably never felt the touch of a woman in his life. No. Well, I wish I him the best of luck. I know yeah. it's a very outlandish belief, but is this yeah. interpretation? You can't it's be interpretation. This fucking <laughs> After this, near no, oh, I, I wasn't sure anyone could be this stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. You sure about that? that? Oh, yeah. I, I showed I'm you sorry. that whole <laughs> that whole stream that you've had. What is he right? saying right now? I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> he's just rumbling. I don't. No, 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 no. Trust him all the way. I... Trust him, Beta. No, no. More. All of all of this is just an extension of his original point. He's just like Vader would never lie. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah, well, that's, that's he's just going to kind of ramble on about that. So we could theoretically try to just skate past this for. No, I, w- I want to watch this. No, I want to see this. Well, no, <laughs> so watch it. I'm just saying we don't have to necessarily pause because he's just going to yeah. reiterate the same point. Or yeah. stupidity, sheep talk style, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, guys, that's my only explanation. Uh, Definitely, Obi betrayed Reva. There's no other explanation. He, I mean, he just Vader objectively told did. Us. Like, that's right. just a true Funny. fact. And then it's the end of the line. But instead, she heads back to square one in order to give our heroes more time to plan their next move. Um, Actually, she, Vader is the one who orders Reva to stand down. Pay attention. The Grand Inquisitor has breached the walls. Tell her to stand down. Kenobi is already ours. Right, of course. Silly me. Thanks for bringing it to my attention that Vader is the idiot at this point, not Reva. <sighs> that was close. Yeah, like, Vader, what do you mean? <laughs> she can go in and capture him right now. Why would you tell her to stand down? Actually, she, Vader is the one who ordered Reva to stand down. Pay attention. I guess it's like, like Why are we doing this? Stand down. Oh, God, this again. What's the point of this? <laughs> Right, of course. Silly me. Thanks for bringing what? it to my attention that Vader. I'm is. assuming this music's not part of your video. This. What? No, he's doing. What is this? What? Dude, he just played the clip. I... Though. He's just replaying he... my clip as if he thinks this is like a gotcha. What is the <laughs> point of this? What? He thinks it's like self-evidently stupid. I guess. I guess. Um, care to elaborate, Dark Thor? Maybe if he were in the call right now. Maybe if he hadn't wussed out on the on joining the stream. Maybe he could be explaining I would genuinely, exactly what was wrong like, with I, that. I don't want to take the piss off him. I genuinely want to talk to him and like ask him questions. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I, I would be I, don't. Like, I want to sit fun. this down and psychoanalyze him. I what feel like you would probably like go insane. Like I'm not even kidding. Like you would actually mentally snap if you tried to do that. I want to ask him questions, but like not about this video or about Sheev, but like other things about him. <laughs> <laughs> She, Vader is the one who orders Reva to stand down. Pay attention. Grand Inquisitor has breached the wall. Tell her to stand down. Kenobi. This is so funny. <laughs> right, of course. It's Silly. Very funny, Thanks yeah. Thanks for bringing it to my attention that Vader is the idiot at this point. Actually, she, Vader You're just is replaying the it! <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> what? Uh, to stand down. What? 
is already out. Right. How many times has this? Thanks for bringing it to my attention that Vader. Make a point. Is- <laughs> <laughs> well, Please. Vader said it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, and Christ, you can't disbelieve Vader. I was no. getting a very nice dance out of that. It's what not even fuck? possible. No, we need to believe in Vader. Yes, Chief talks very intelligent media criticism of <laughs> Star Wars, or maybe he's a fucking clown. That's another <laughs> option we can take. Vader just casually strolled on into the hangar and pulled a ship from the sky, which completely fucks with a lot of his past scenes in this franchise. Like, man, it would have been really cool if he did that to the Millennium Falcon as they were escaping Hoth, or to the Tantive Four as Leia was racing off with the Death Star plans, but I guess he just forgot how to use that power, so... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, good point. Idiocy ineptitude and total disengagement and look it's the guy from five o'clock club apex of incredulous <laughs> disaster now for the record i know that this ability has been utilized in past star wars things kenobi didn't invent it but it is still a major problem that should never have been introduced because thanks to the examples i've already given among several others this power fucks with a lot of things <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck? What the fuck? What's God's name? <laughs> 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 speaking Wookiee. <laughs> How many like very strange noises has he made over the past like ten minutes alone? Fucking <laughs> Christ! Jesus! Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mine sounds a little weird because Halloween you know, end bad. I want to hear that again. Be because thanks be to the examples I've already given, I have six. several others, this power fucks with a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice grunting sounds. Meanwhile, yeah, shiny, what the yeah, you doing? know they can pull a V2 or what? Push and what? Look. Massive options. I was really good at this. Even dance, I'm here now. This is uh, this is very distracting. I would rather you take your back. All right, sorry. It's all right, there. Love you. But it did this. I, I actually just did the dance spike. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> what the fuck is this? That's canonical. So what's Why your are point? we playing? Also, what? how does that mess the with the 1970s Lord of the Rings? That is a Lucas film. Are you saying they should have respected Lucas's vision? Yes, but they did. He massively expanded the force powers. You could argue, well, though. Uh, well, I'm sorry, what is he arguing here? Did I miss something? I feel he, like I missed it. That they respected Lucas's vision by expanding the force powers. No. Uh, no. Except yeah, that, no. that's how that works, apparently. Has force powers. Uh, that's bad. Besides that, too, George Lucas's additions to force powers were things that like are feasible. Work. Yeah, and yeah, things that could be done. Aside like with everything movie. established in A New Hope, all force abilities thereafter aside from, were inspired by. Aside from said, force like, speed, I would say force speed was yeah. a, was definitely a blunder. What about force jump? Uh, what well, about that it? one's reasonable to me. I don't know. I, if force jump uh, is possible, why not force speed? I'm, I'm fine with force uh, jump. Well, You're just so, moving in a different direction. We already no, we see Luke kind no, of no, do it in speed. Empire. It's not even at all the same principle. Force jump is just to get higher. Force speed is to literally run faster. Yeah, one's right. like speeding up your steps to run. Like faster. force jump, force isn't jump bad. is just a. It is pushing force down to push you up. Yeah. Right, and the way force speeds betrayed. I mean, I could easily assume that it's just a burst of energy throwing them in a direction, and then well, just. So- run. Let me give you this. Um, theoretically, given the fact that the Force can be used for telekinetic purposes, pulling a ship out of the sky with the Force shouldn't be an issue, because why wouldn't it be? But the thing is that it's established that that can't be done, otherwise characters would have done it in previous episodes. Right. So, well, yeah. by that same logic, uh, I can think of a million different times when Force Speed might have been a great, uh, ma- a great tool to use in the OT, as well as later yeah. on in the prequels, and it just never is. So... It's a matter of yes, I feel like it's theoretically possible, but like you can't do it. it, it uh, I don't really think in many cases it would be possible in the OT. I mean, the only sample size we have to go off of is uh, Obi Wan, who is a uh, you know an aging old man on the Death Star, which is a sneaking. Uh, it's basically a stealth mission going through well, the I Death mean, Star trying to activate running the uh, through, running through the corridors um, as fast as possible is probably it's... like help more better than just sneaking around. 
it's never stated that like, like if you're moving fast enough that you can't even be isn't... perceived then like it's that's better than just hiding behind some stuff I'm not sure if we know that he can't be perceived so for example, running at if we're going to, um, I mean did you see how fast he was running when he when they ran from the droidicas like, sure you can like, still perceive I, I actually no I couldn't as a kid I had no idea what like what happened in that scene because like one really? second they were there and one second they weren't it, yeah, it's the fact that it goes by so quickly and then we never see it get used again. It's like it, it kind of yeah, like goes he, over a lot of people's blinked, heads, but it's gone. It's basically teleportation. Yeah. They end up behind the droidicas, don't they? Yeah, they run really fast, see. <laughs> like no, I don't think they end up behind them. They they run no, to the corridor, right down which I think is to the left of them. Oh, okay, yeah. and then they turn, okay. but yeah. So like they they do a false jump and then they jump across the room and then they all of a sudden they're at the very end of the corridor by the next shot. It was just really weird. I don't know. Well, but the, the point is, again, like it could have also been used plenty of times uh, in the prequels, including in the same exact movie it was introduced in. Um, why not use that to catch up to Qui-Gon and Darth Maul so you don't get separated from them? That's, that's one of those barriers turns on, he gets yeah. instantly vaporized. Wouldn't matter if he was if he's on the using other side speed, of the he can get there before. All right, then the he falls in the pit. Or he jumps over what? the pit. That's. I'm going to uh, step out for a minute. Um, okay. I'll be. Uh, I'll probably be back, so no worries. So, okay. Well, first of all, how does he know there's a pit there that he might potentially fall into? And second of all, if you're running that fast, I assume you also have to have like a slowed down perception of things, so you'll you'd have enough time to react to. Oh God, there's a pit here. Let me jump over it. Yeah, you you can't really have super speed unless you're having super perception. Yeah, because then you'd just be running really fast and like perceiving things <laughs> at every normal pace, and you would get just you would die. Like, like I mean, possibly, but if let's say theoretically, if say they don't have that, that could actually be an explanation as to why they don't do it because it's just kind of an unpredictable. Ability. But then, how how did they do it in the corridor if the they film. didn't know that they were going to run into a wall? I guess I guess he's mm -hmm. arguing that like because they knew that there was a long stretch of that corridor that they wouldn't run into anything. I explain that in the potentially film. sure the point what that I'm making is like like that's. You haven't defined this rule, like this this power, nearly well enough for it to be justified, especially if you're going to have a scene later on in the same film where that that power would have come in real handy. Because I, I remember one of the defenses of things like the force healing, the excuse that was used was it was in the EU. But my interpretation of force healing in the EU wasn't that this was a power that literally anyone could use. You had to train your entire life, which well, is why it also wasn't couldn't nearly as powerful as as just touching the resurrecting. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, like, I, I, I remember in, in one story, um, there were, like there they, were they had to constantly keep themselves, healing, and they and yeah. like when they did it. It was still a, like a rigorous process, and you and like if if the damage was too severe, like they died. It doesn't matter if you have the force; you, they're they're way too injured. Well, you I've always heal more. I've always kind of liked the idea that like what you heal is what you take on. You know, where it's like mm -hmm. I don't know. You well, we heal go by the rules of and then you get one. Anyway, do you guys want to press on? Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, shit. Okay, now that they can lift and carry and move all these objects why did vader just let luke fall why did he just the grab him yes that's the oh, by question. the way just if you pause real quick uh just airborne just messaged me um and he's actually saying he jumped in a random part of the stream and he got to the part where uh dark thor was bringing up all the random shit that you know george lucas apparently quote ripped off just different homages to uh, different films yeah yeah i wonder who those references were for just for him, because they were just cute nods. That's all. He just yeah. referenced a couple of films that he liked instead of trying to appeal to a mass market of consumers, which these shows are designed to do. The intent of these shows referencing other Star Wars media is not the purpose of, oh, only the filmmaker would get it. It's just a cute reference for them. Instead, this is for the purpose of making more money. Member berries. Yeah. Yeah. Member berries. George didn't do it for member berries. He just did it for fun, for, him, for himself, you know? Yeah. Towards him. I don't know. I don't know. But so he's not a limit of the force powers. Yeah, clearly Vader could just grab Luke at any time, but he just let him go. He let him go at the end. He's just close saying, from Why let him go? Well, he let him go at the end. So I don't know. Maybe he's... Okay. Now, to be fair, I would technically um, consider it at least potentially a problem with the OT that, they, that there aren't examples of them using the force. Like, for example, Vader catching the, the Falcon at Hoth and pulling it down. 
because with yeah. the rules established, why wouldn't he be able to do that? Uh, well, but the problem is that we then go on further and it's like, okay, so that was established that that can't happen. Otherwise Vader would have. So now if in a future installment, they show that you can do that, then that's a problem. Yeah. Well, the, yes. the thing that's always driven me nuts is whenever people take Yoda's line from Empire to like the craziest extent, they're like, oh, size matters not. So it's like, okay, where does that logic end? Can you literally like grab a planet with exactly. the force? Like, like I said the other day, in a grab a Death with, Star uh, and throw it into the sun. Yeah, I, I I mentioned the other day with uh, in a call with Sheev, I was saying uh, that line is supposed to be for Yoda to motivate Luke, get off your ass, pick up the damn X-wing. You're the galaxy's only hope. That's all he's saying. It's not actually you can pick up whatever the fuck you want. It's yeah. get on your ass. I know you could do it, so do it. You yeah. fucking pussy. You wish me yeah, buying like, uh, my size to you? Uh, his ex girlfriend probably did, but <laughs> <laughs> assuming he had yeah, it. did. Yeah, no size. Th like theoretically, I'm sorry. If you go 900 years as a cuck, I feel bad for you. Oh, yeah. literally me. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Size definitely doesn't old, matter. In the same exact scene, he clearly struggles to lift the X wing. So yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Like it's showing implicitly that size does matter I to think a the lesson is mostly supposed to be like yeah it's gonna be hard but like it's doable that's really like it like it's, it's not saying that it's the same as lifting a, a tiny pebble it's just saying it's possible and you well, can do it if you actually like put in the work and you put in the effort the power yeah, of the I, I think that's basically boundless is sort of what he's trying to say you can do it mm. yeah but like that's the what you just said like lifting the pebble is the same thing as like lifting a planet that's like the malformed like conclusion that a lot of people have come to and they use yeah. it to justify a lot of the shit that we have now. Yeah. Yeah. Just a let go kind of guy. What the fuck? So uh, we're revisiting. Okay, here we go. This is the last video. So we're almost Fucking done. grifting pieces of shit. As you can hear, as you can hear, the uh, the audio quality has just gotten worse. So that's great. Oh. You know He's going to come tell us about our extended warranty. <laughs> this is his response to my Mando video came out pretty recently and then once we get through this we're fucking done so you know what let's go let's go <laughs> everyone who's watching this video subscribe to my youtube channel or i will hunt you the fuck down don't subscribe will... to my channel you'll hate it. yeah mm -hmm. hate me. Who, uh... so for this because the audio is a lot worse we might have to strain a little bit so i'm gonna like ask you guys to please not talk over him if you need to say something please pause it okay uh is a pretty fat, ugly, white grifter. Oh, and don't worry, the race <laughs> thing comes up very prominently because he's a very it doesn't, by the way. He's, he's never gonna, he's not, he's so not, he's just, you're a, a fat so he's just walk. making fun of looks now. Yeah, you're also not fat, and not white. You're a little I bit am. chubby well, and red because your skin's really red. I am white, but I mean, I, I you're mean, so fucking pale, I can see your blood. <laughs> Also, the audio quality has plummeted, and it now sounds like he's speaking off of like a 1930s phone. It sounds like he's underwater, right? And he's got like a little straw going up over the <laughs> talking into his uh -huh. microphone through that. I'm uh -huh. going to test that theory. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone on the moon would sound better than this. Yeah. They did. Yeah. On 60s technology. But to be fair, he's a more liberal alt right person because. He loves blacks and gays, or at least <laughs> that pause too. <laughs> Famous, Famous you talk. He's so. You know what? Actually, so when I used to work at Lowe's, oh. I had a boss who is pretty racist and really regressive. Turns out he actually has a thing for uh, muscular black men. <laughs> um, so uh basically dark thor is saying that she is my old boss a guy who actually fetishes large black men <laughs> well, you know what they say about like conservatives who go after uh trans people for being groomers they all have trans fetishes and they, or they're you groomers look at their history yeah, or they're groomers uh -huh. yeah one or the other or both aren't, yeah, well yeah aren't, aren't there like i don't know <laughs> yeah. right wing like red state politicians who have been caught like hiring dominatrixes to like yep. <laughs> with yeah. the shit, uh, yeah, <laughs> just kind of reminds me of that. No, I would be surprised like, if like Ron DeSantis was into pegging or something. I swear to God, <laughs> yeah, he seems submissive. I feel like him and Marjorie Taylor Greene get together every weekend, and she just pegs this shit out of him. 
Oh god, I don't want to picture that. So much to see that. Yeah, I would too. It'd be funny. Oh, uh, someone's saying that the link to your channel C is uh, 404. Uh, don't know. Oh, I guess my happened. channel was shut down. Oh well. Uh, well, I'm gonna try to fix that if I can. Let's see. Alrighty, uh, I'll see if my channel's still up. Yeah, my channel's edit, up. Edit Here. Video. They shut you down for liking Avatar. Uh, I'll break your face. <laughs> That's weird because yeah, when I link yours earlier, it okay. it pulled up your ad and everything. Let me pull it. Let me let me link it again. God, the C. You guys want to go I ahead? I like play it? sheep talks, and I disapprove of what he did. But if I was on a podcast with him, I'd be like his top lieutenant. Oh, wow. what? Wait, none of you heard that like Sam Hyde skit. No, I haven't. <laughs> that sounds vaguely familiar. All right, I've updated it. It should be fine. You want to, if someone wants to test I'm it. I'm too used to yeah, nonsense where we all know who Sam Hyde is. No, I know who Sam Hyde is. I just don't know what you're referring to. Oh, yeah, don't mind them. Uh, yeah, it works for me. Okay, cool. I'm gonna hit play. Sir, does he actually do anything to help those people? No, but he likes talking about how he helps people. Okay. And to be fair, he. Acknowledges right at the very beginning. Yeah, he is a piece of garbage. And he's lying. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I <laughs> oh, here we are. New year, new beginning. <laughs> Wait, did he have? He had the, the photo covered the. Editing? Yeah, Sponge he did. Bob title he card chose to have oh my Pedro Pascal signing an autograph for no reason. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Is added this nothing. Oh, shit. I, I I love it now. I so love how weird. inconsistent his uh. His editing is. This is like watching schizophrenia in video form. <laughs> He's cope in video form. <laughs> and a shit ton of new Star Wars shows on the horizon that I couldn't be less interested in if I tried. I'm probably not going to make any videos about Mando Season 3 or Bad Batch Season 2 when they come out because I've already reviewed previous seasons of those shows and don't intend to repeat oh, myself. I think I've watched his videos. A flashback. Well, yeah. would you look at but his, his coverage of my video or my video? I've seen your video on this one. Oh, well, okay. That. It's my own words coming back to contradict me yet again. In fairness, I probably wouldn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you can contradict yourself. That's fine. <laughs> that's a major issue with Mandalorian what? Season 3. Oh, it contradicts itself. Well, why would that matter? You have just acknowledged you're contradicting yourself. So but the argument that he's making uh, is, A, that I contradicted myself, when in reality, it's I changed my mind. Which is something that he just cannot fathom for the life of him. And then he's going on to say, so my problem with The Mandalorian being that it contradicts itself, which is just one of many problems that I have with the season, uh, is no longer valid. Because if I contradict myself, then clearly The Mandalorian contradicting itself isn't a, isn't a bad thing. What the fuck kind what? of logic is that? So, um, yeah, so... Contradictions within a piece of media, a story that is unfolding before our eyes, that is the same as you saying, I'm not going to make a Mando season three video, and then you end up making a Mando season three video. Yeah. yeah that's, I never uh, thought that would need to be explaining. Yeah. It's oh just, my God. That's, that's the thing. It's like, so when I say that he can't possibly be this stupid, I mean it because nobody, and I mean nobody, would have actually heard that and thought, yeah, so she's a liar. He's clearly <laughs> taking me in bad faith. He is clearly, like, intentionally being dishonest. No, he's a sack of shit, but, like, I could easily see him intentionally <laughs> well, doing that. He's an actual piece of human garbage. Dishonest. Yeah, most normal people would have just been like, no, he changed his mind. Yeah, yeah that's like, that's, that's Occam's <laughs> razor. That's the logical thing to assume. Right, like, I messaged you a couple times saying, like, hey, Jeep, you gonna make a Mando video? Hey, you gonna make a Mando video? And you said and each said time, no. no. Because you didn't want to, you didn't want to give it the like the energy and the thought, and then you did eventually. Why is that? Because you just changed your mind. It ended up so being so fuck. bad, and and like as, like this was after the the season had finished, and I'd given it so much thought, and I was like, "There's so much to say about this season. I feel like I have to." Yeah, it, yeah. it's like me with uh, Infinity War. Because at first I was like, "Yeah, I don't really care to cover it," and then I rewatched. I'm like, "Oh my god, I need to talk about this." <laughs> Yeah, Ugh. it's just I don't know, and I do this a lot. Whenever, like, the more I I give something thought, the more I realize there's so much to say. I'm like, I could make this into a video. Why not? Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. that's just how it is. I don't like. There's there's nothing to explain. Same here. 
But of course, if you assume that someone is a lying piece of shit without any actual rational reason to believe that, then yeah, them simply changing their mind isn't going to, you know, that's, that can't even possibly cross your mind as a, as a possibility. It has to be that he's a liar. He just, it just, it, it seems like he just irrationally hates you the same way that Captain Ahab yeah. irrationally hates Moby Dick. <laughs> he does, yeah. He just, like, I hate you for some reason. He couldn't tell you like an actual real reason why, because every reason he gives, he doesn't actually like back up with evidence. So it really does, and I mean it. I'm not being ironic. He's mad over a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> he, he liked Kenobi, yeah. and he didn't like Halloween Ends. So even though I applied the exact same standard to both, one video he was happy with, and one he wasn't. That's it's literally yeah. as simple as that. That's all that comes down to, yeah. You yeah. know what? I think we should get uh, Knights of Melvin to make a video on uh, Dark Thor. I think they'd have a fun little rivalry going. Oh my god, I need to see that rivalry. Lying, That'd be so funny. scammy, dishonest. Yes. So, Knights of Melvin. I know we've had our differences in the past. <laughs> if you're watching this stream... Oh, I doubt I it. Uh, he thinks May I'm going to because I like Andor. Oh no, he will. If, if, if he doesn't like you, he will, he will watch your stuff. Knights of Melvin, please, I beg of you. From one brother to another you're my best friend please make a video on dark thor because that'd be fucking funny it'd be really fucking funny one. oh you know just what's really funny one. i just got this comment on my kenobi video i'm gonna read it out i think the point you're missing is the identity uh, is the identity politics angle oh my god no he can't be competent because he's a white male luke can't be the focus because he's a white male Reva is a prop because of her skin color and gender. The source material doesn't matter because a white male wrote it. It's a ludicrous attempt by arrogant racists uh, to prove how much better they are than the people who are the reasons they have jobs in the first place. The delusions are on full display and you can't genuinely tell what, priori what the priority was. I, I wonder who was the writer of the show as if it was not a white man. It was a white man, Joby Harold. Yep. Yeah, Joby, Crazy. Joby, about to ruin Transformers again, Harold. God, I am yeah. terrified. Of I ruin it again. It's already being ruined. I intentionally it's been ruined. I don't want him to ruin it again. In that video, either way, because it doesn't have anything to do with Kenobi and its quality. But of course, <laughs> I'm still the alt right grifter because I <laughs> happen to say that Kenobi's bad. Fuck you, Dark Thor. So, so why is it okay for you to cut yourself? But not the Mandalorian. <laughs> no explanation. What's the what? okay. What's the Why showing Shang Chi? That's my thumbnail for, <laughs> Shang for Shang Chi. He's just decided What's to throw that up. Doing? What the hell? I mean, at what least it's it my thumbnail. At least it's like related to me. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. It's not just completely random, like that fucking Pedro Pascal picture he showed a minute ago. <laughs> Did not. There's no self for a fucking rhino. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cute talk, bitch. They're not cute talk. Contradiction's bad. So what is the contradiction in the next <laughs> <laughs> And what's weird is like what he's about to go over isn't even an example that I would say is a contradiction. It's a retcon and a terribly done one at that, but it's not a contradiction. Well, I'm sure maybe there are actual major plot holes or plot dilemmas that he doesn't cover any. In fact, the ones he thinks are bad turn out to be they're not even bad upon your own editing and narration. He gets what? caught in a trap set by this weird spider droid thing, and it hooks him up to this device that starts draining his blood. But thankfully, Grogu is able to escape the mines, take the ship, and fly all the way over to where bo is hanging out so that she can come to Mandalore and save them. I hope Grogu gets put in the new process. writer. <laughs> he picks up the dark saber and slays the creature that captured Din. In episode six, when they finally go to confront the Mandalorians, Din references this as Bo having apparently defeated the enemy that defeated him, thereby making her the rightful. So Bo Katan bad because she got the saber the right. The context and your issue is she didn't get the saber the right way. Well, what is the right way? I'm not quite getting it well so what the the issue that i'm actually highlighting that he's pretending isn't a big deal is that there and i laid all of this out the original rules were that it had to be like an actual challenge it couldn't just be in single combat but also even after that was broken by uh the gideon didn't fight in season two the rules were still that it actually had to be one-on-one -on -one combat but then in season three 
it was changed to actually no, as long as the the current owner of the dark saber is defeated, then that's like in any vague sense of the term, then that's fine. Because in in the this what I just laid out, like he gets caught in a trap by a spider droid, and that counts as a defeat. So then when Bogatan defeats the spider droid, she gets to be the ruler of Mandalore. Well, you, you know what I find funny about what he just said. He just, I think he just pointed out the problem that you were pointing out without realizing it. Because he's like, "What is the way?" It's like, "Yeah, Dark Thor. That's actually that's Great the problem. Too, yeah. That's a good question, Dark Thor." He tries to frame it like you have a problem with Bogatan herself claiming the dark saber at all. Yeah, well, when I mean, when I mean, in the context, I have a problem with it because. Like this is clearly a technicality and a bad one at that. No, no, and no, I no, but think like, that, if, like in character, she wouldn't want to take it on that, but she just does. So, oh well. But like in in mechanically, would you have a problem with Bo-Katan at all earning the dark saber? Of course not. That's like one of the exactly. only options that would have made any sense. I, I said in the video that either you have Din accept it as his Excalibur and become like the rightful ruler and like go on an arc where he, he accepts that that like that is his destiny, or you have him want the throne, but then go on an arc where he realizes that it's not meant for him and he concedes it to, to Bo Katan after losing in combat. Those were the only two options that made any sense. And the show didn't do either. It instead just meandered around for fucking six episodes and then just gave it to bo on a technicality, making all of that completely pointless. Yeah, it, it's... It's been so like, stupid. It, it's been hard and fast with the rules in terms of how the Darksaber works. And you made a good point in your video about how, like, uh, originally, like, when Maul killed uh, Pre Vizsla and took the Darksaber, it didn't seem like there was really, like, a rule concerning it back then he just took it because he like yeah he took it because it had nothing to do with ruling mandalore well and, and even further like all that really did was get him in charge of death watch which at the time uh seemed to be the only like mandalorian warrior clan around so and it wasn't even like the saber itself it's the fact that he killed pre Vizsla, you know like he yeah. he was just taking his fallen enemies you know weapon yeah, he kept it because it fucking looked cool that's like literally the only reason it had nothing to do with ruling mandalore at least at first <sighs> but again this isn't even a contradiction that i'm highlighting that's so that has nothing to do with what he's already said this is a retcon those are very different things because retcons don't like inherently have to be contradictions as long as they're executed well. If we just saw Mandalorian season three, it could have been better. That's true, but it's not horrible. Sure, could have been better. Your own editing shows you got the saber fighting. So what is the problem? And then it turns out. Yeah. I mean, if you just completely ignore the argument that I made and not show it in the video, then sure. Fuck you. He's basically cheating. So the problem is Darth Maul got it in a different way. Well, I mean, I'll be fair. This isn't totally sexist because it would just seem obvious like Darth Maul man and bo not man. She's a woman. And we're just going the oh sexist. Oh, my God. Woman? As usual. <laughs> woman. It, it's like he starts off with a conclusion already. The conclusion is already that you're a sexist or you're a racist or that you're a fascist. But he skipped uh, the proofing. Yeah, but he, he didn't work that out. He just starts at the conclusion instead of like actually <laughs> listening to what you're saying and working towards it. Why was well, he the conclusion of listening to you isn't that you have a problem with Vokatan because she's a woman. It's because how she earns the Darksaber is kind of stupid and a bit of a retcon. Yeah, well, the, people do that a lot. Like people who make like dishonest argumentation. Like th this is a pretty common tactic. They already have a preconceived uh, conclusion and notion that they want to reach, and then they're like desperately clawing at any sort of evidence to try and like fit into that box. You know, it's everywhere. Well, this is not a flaw because not not everybody knows what a what an elaboration is, what proof is. <laughs> um, Those sound like big words for a college professor. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, so the argument, I, I, I guess I should just let him make it, but like, it's so funny. Yeah, okay. That seems the only actual difference. And it can't be that, well, she didn't earn it. No, but, she didn't. No, but that's also the only difference. It could be, quote, written, filmed, and performed better. Yes, it could. True. But again, in terms of the story, 
he did earn it. So what is the major problem? Oh, it doesn't line up with what happened with Darth Maul. So here's the problem with it that. doesn't line up with Darth Maul the being rules alive that were established. Is a retcon, right? He shouldn't be alive. He was technically dead. That's so much worse. She literally earns it. He just cut himself off. Yeah, um, I was. Just, he just cut himself off. <laughs> he, he said Darth Maul in himself is a retcon. Oh, yeah, so, yes, but not so, the way that he earns the dark saber. Yeah, but that's so. That's what he. What he's about to try to argue is retcons happen in Star Wars, so it's not a big deal. No. What? It's okay because in 1977, a stormtrooper hit his head on a door. So really, everything in Star Wars is goofy. Okay, Fuck but, off. but like, so the example that that immediately comes to mind is like, so Vader being Luke's father was a retcon. Retcons can be good. They can be done. I thought well. that was a good one. Yeah. Um, the problem is when they're not good. Like with basically any other story concept. Um, this is very basic. Like this is elementary stuff. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. It just depends on the context. That on a technicality, that completely destroys any chance the rules of the darks. Well, and just really quick, I, I feel like the, the main issue um, in terms of this contradiction is that whoever is the rightful owner of that Darksaber, it, the other Mandalorians are going to fall in line and follow them. Yeah. Um, it, it's not like it's just two individuals fighting over a sword. Um, the idea is that like all of whatever Mandalorians are left are going to rally behind whoever uh, proves themselves to be the leader by holding the dark saber. So right. I don't know. I, I think there's a little bit of importance in kind of nailing down how that happens. You know? Yeah, how it works, what the rules are, what the limits are to the rules. Yeah, you can't. <sighs> it's it's just a dumb retcon, and that I mean like. I don't know. Defend the Mandalorian if you want, but why would you go for <laughs> this one? Why? Why did it? I'm sure there's right. something else you could have defended. Mm. Like that would have been an easier job. But like, why would you choose this? Ugh. Saber ever had since. Allow me, if you will, to lay it all out to you from the beginning. In the Clone Wars, Darth Maul challenged Pre Vizsla to single combat, and whosoever came out the victor would become the ruler of Mandalore. Now, most people forget this, but technically being ruler of Mandalore didn't actually have anything to do with possessing the Darksaber originally. That was something added in by Rebels. The only reason Maul kept it after he killed Vizsla was because it looked cool. That's about it. I claim this sword. And my rightful place is lead. Now I'm glad they brought them all back. Wait, so he, wait, he cut himself off to play that clip and then finished his sentence <laughs> after the <laughs> clip. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are you like this? I've never like, seen this in a video before. In all the videos that I've ever watched on YouTube, this is unique. <laughs> yeah, like I have dark, a little puzzle. I think right. you're requiring all of your viewers to go back about eight minutes or something. And, and I'm so not going, I won't. No. I have a little cousin that's only 10 years old, and I am confident he could edit a better video in probably like an hour. Yeah. No, long. He's 10. Wait. I can't believe that. I kind of, of like. Professor, of course. I kind of want to go back to like what the previous thing was that he was saying to like link them together because I like I'm so confused now. I think what he was if I can just remember it was just, he was just basically saying Darth Maul came back uh, after being killed in the Phantom Menace. That's all he was saying. Oh, his, his videos are so painfully edited that I would gladly take a being his editor for him so I could maybe salvage. I'm actually like I'm just close to like. To like submitting an application, like let me edit your videos for you. You're gonna defame me. At least do it right. Right. That was amazing. First of all, it's pronounced Cretan. If you're gonna threaten me, do it properly. True. I'm a pro black racist. <laughs> Just Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry. Yeah, you might be a racist, but you really love black people. <laughs> That's true. I'm a black. I'm a black guy, and I I run his Discord mm -hmm. server. Yeah, I'm clearly the best person for the job too. Not at all accidentally banning somebody. <laughs> this was clearly an act of affirmative action, though. So. Yes, I mean she <laughs> loves the blacks and the gays. It's true. She she doesn't really do much in his server, so I just act as a dictator. It's pretty fun. I I'm basically never in it unless someone pings me. 
Yeah, I'm kind of funny like that. No, you know. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll do it right now. I don't like what they did with him, but I don't think it was a good idea to kill him off in the first place. If you're going to be critical of Lucasfilm, okay. that's fine, but they've done this before. And by the way, on the record... What? They... <laughs> that was so to a point! Uh, yes, made, if you're gonna be retcons before. If if they've made mis if you you want to be critical of their mistakes, that's fine. But they've made mistakes before. It's basically what he said. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's oh, true. What a what a weird point to make. Stop criticizing this thing because they've made other mistakes before. Well, it's like maybe maybe he was saying they've retconned the dark saber rules before, which is true. But it was well, in bad. Rebels. Yeah, it was bad when they retconned it in Mando. I don't ne I don't remember the retcon in Rebels well enough, but I don't know that it, it was bad there. Maybe it was. I, I I'd have to re I'd have to rewatch. I think it was. I don't fun. remember enough of this fucking stupid show. I, I don't know. I don't remember enough of this fucking stupid I, show. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't really create any problems as far as I'm concerned because I mean, like I'm you thinking. kind of put in your video, like. Prior to this, it was just, oh, he killed Pre Bizzle and just took his weapon, whereas now the weapon symbolizes uh, the person who's going to lead Mandalore. So it just kind of adds, like, new rules. Yeah. But, like, that's... But, that's and, and, you know, if that is a well-executed uh, retcon, like, great. You can add new rules without breaking the old ones. It's yeah. okay. Yeah, which is what Mando and, you know... I mean, yeah, that ties was... back to the last video he was making about introducing new force powers. It's like, and you can. Just don't yeah. fuck with the old ones. Yeah, that's what Mando does, essentially. Yeah. Fuck this show. Fuck Dark Thor. Good. He told mm -hmm. me this, that he likes the original trilogy. In fact, he puts that in his videos. Yeah. Well, the original trilogy has a ton of radical retcons. So we've gone in a... Can we think of any other a than... Ton? I mean, there's there's Vader being Luke's father and there's Leia being Luke's uh... sister. One of those was I executed that one was pretty bad, well, to be and one of them was executed pretty poorly, all things considered. Uh, there's something of a retroactive retcon towards the prequels in terms of like Leia, like remembering her mother. Well, you know. yeah, that's, that's, the that's the original trilogy. trilogy. That's the prequels. Yeah, fucking. I'm talking yeah. about the originals. I, the way I, this I guess, guy's saying it, he's saying it's like left, right, and center. I guess we can say it's a retcon, technically that. Uh, the electric force exists, but like it doesn't break any rules that it exists or yeah. doesn't force create contradictions that Sidious can use that Sheev can use it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think a, an example of a power that does like a retcon uh, ability that does screw with stuff is when you tell tell us that the sling rings can just find <laughs> people because you say their <laughs> name. You don't even know what they look like. <laughs> Yeah. Even though you're supposed to imagine the actual location, you're supposed to be Spring familiar rings. with it to some degree. Spring rings are fucking broken at this point. Yeah, they're done. They're done. Um, but why? Why are people saying six hours is insane? Have you guys never seen EFAP? Also, like, Thumbnails has gone on way longer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just yeah. Like, last you, night you was seven hours. <laughs> you could technically include uh, Emperor. Uh, like Palpatine's existence as a retcon, as well as Darth yeah. Vader's existence. Well, what do you but, mean by that? Well, because I think in A New Hope, it's it's kind of evident that Vader is a subservient to Tarkin, or the, at least that was uh, the way that I I took it in A New Hope. And Darth wasn't a title; it was in his name. Yeah. Uh, and well, then so when I've, they introduced Palpatine, I can say for a fact because of the EU um, that. The term Sith and like the existence of Emperor Palpatine were a thing as early as A New Hope because they were both mentioned in the A New Hope novelization, which came out months before the film. But like, oh, I guess technically, yes, and from a from the perspective of the films, uh, Palpatine's existence could conceivably be considered a retcon. I, I personally I wouldn't consider that. I'm just trying to be like as good part. faith as possible and trying to understand like, yeah, well, where all the retcons are coming from. Because well, yeah, like, I obviously so, like, think you know it's an there's an empire that's probably an emperor. There's someone at the head of this thing. Yeah, and, there's going to be someone in charge, and it's probably not Tarkin. Why would it be Tarkin? He's a well, he's the, a governor. the emperor. Plus I mean, he's not like named, shit. but the emperor yeah. is stated in A New Hope, is he not? Yes. I don't believe he is. is yes, he? yeah, it's yeah. A, the emperor is the, the senate. Empire. That's right. Yeah, the emperor. Yeah, not to worry, governor. governor. The emperor is all the council. The, the, right, the remnants of, of the Republic are now gone. So yeah, the, the, yeah, no, I wouldn't say that's a retcon. Then there was already 
like, I mean, I guess you could say the retcon is that he was given a name. Given a name. Well, and the, the fact that he has force powers. The Sith, yeah. powers. The yeah. Sith yeah. is, I guess, a retcon, but I don't know. Although I don't but know that that was ever like a... For someone to be the master of Darth Vader, someone who is extremely powerful, you'd have to have somebody that is also pretty powerful. Yeah, you'd, 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 yeah. you would assume, I, I guess, that like, oh, someone, someone's got like Vader under their thumb. They're probably a very powerful... like force Right, director. because why would some random I'm... dude be in charge while Vader could easily just crush their head? I'm yeah. curious what people think about the retcon in Empire that the that force users can vaguely see the future. Uh how do you mean? Um, because like Luke kind of has like this vision of what might happen in the future. Isn't he envisioning uh Han being tortured and like Leia yeah. being imprisoned? That's happening in, um, in the present. No, 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 no. I mean like his fight with Vader, that's what I mean. Oh, I don't know that that's that necessarily counts either because that was more telling him what what was already established as a thing, like gotcha. timeline wise. Like it's telling him that uh, he like there is a part of him invader because of what his heritage is. I, I don't know that that's a necessarily a vision of the future. Hmm. I was just curious because like that seems to be like a contentious thing, especially when people talk about Revenge of the Sith and how. Uh, Force users can see the future there, um, and that and that was a pretty contentious topic around when I was talking about Revenge of the Sith. Uh, well, it, it's it seems, uh, you, you, you have to be careful. It, it with depends how you handle future. it. Yeah, you got to be very if, careful. If you give away it. too much, and if you don't handle it in a good way, it opens up a whole other can of worms. In, yeah. in which, like, oh, if they they know the future of like the Emperor are coming, like, well, how? Well, that's actually a huge problem because, yeah. like, why the fuck don't they like, do anything? Say, well, I mean, and, and then I heard the, the Clone yeah, Wars like established that six. Force users can see the future. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's just say, hypothetically, in Clone Wars Season 6, Yoda was shown a vision of Jedi fighting clones and being killed by them. That'd be insane, <laughs> yes. right? Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't yeah. want to put that in the show and make it part of the <laughs> Would you, Dave? Thanks, Dave. Anyway, yeah. back to the video. <laughs> Oops really really big circle why are radical retcons okay with the original trilogy it depends on if they're done with well Bo-Katan. it depends on if, Even done if well. you are correct like this, this is, is like just this is silly to me because like oh you're not okay with this retcon why, why are you not okay with these other retcons like not all retcons are the same not all yeah. twists are I, the same and of not course some of the ones he mentioned evil. are ones that i'm not okay with but he wouldn't know that because he's taking me in bad faith like darth maul <laughs> coming back <laughs> No, uh, Darth Maul, yeah, back. I, okay, you're just a hater. You're just a grifter. I hate well, when you people... have a problem with uh, Bo-Katan getting the the dark saber. Well, the, the way Maul gets it, Maul himself is a retcon. <sighs> yeah, I, I hate. He really when got me there. Things yeah. as equal, like when people treat like all issues as equal, it's just really annoying. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like people don't treat them equally. <laughs> There's really nuance. Everything. Yeah, Vader being Luke's father came. Wait, he just showed a comment for like a split second. <laughs> well, because that was a Bad. that was in my Mando video, and he just isn't editing it with any kind of care. So like it showed that. Oh, you think? That then, yeah, that was your best YouTube post. Bad. Yeah. You know, God, Sheev, you're so oopid. bad. I'm very oopid. Bad. <laughs> you're so oopid. Sheev is okay yeah. with good things, but when bad things happen, suddenly it's a problem. Curious. <laughs> I know it's fucking yeah. ridiculous. What a grifter! <laughs> True wow. grifter behavior. Ah, I hate. I hate Still life. Did it. So why is that okay with oh, the trilogy, but not with did, Mandalorian did, season three? Did he seriously just put sixty nine? Sixty nine. Oh, I did that. That was me. Okay, because I was gonna say if he had a sense of humor, like that's a that's a first. He doesn't have a sense of humor. <laughs> Fuck that. No, well, any any extraneous effort like in editing is all me or whoever else he's stealing clips from. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's kind of like Drax, you know, just no sense of humor, incapable of anything that's sarcastic at all. He's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, at least Drax is entertaining still. <laughs> at, <laughs> at least Drax is, Drax is, Drax is likable. A good person. <laughs> a good person who commits a murder. About, like discourse like this, where it's like. Yeah, you you hate this thing and this and this new thing that came out. Well, let's remove context from this older thing you like um, that's connected to it. it it's funny how do Drax the same thing it. with Doctor Strange, where they're like, "Oh, you don't like how he's been portrayed in Multiverse of Madness or No Way Home? Well, look at in the first movie before his character development." <laughs> this is what <laughs> this is all the arguments like when people 
like we're bringing up the fact that we didn't know where um what was it uh snoke came from and it's like oh well you didn't have a problem when palpatine was established yeah. like you never oh, like, yeah, the context yeah. were completely different oh. yeah yeah, it's funny how Drax is a fucking mass murderer and he's still a better person than Dark Thor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll choose Thanos is a better person than Dark Thor. At least he actually did what he thought was right. Well, Thanos has a sense of empathy. Thanos, had, a Thanos had good intentions, uh, and I don't, I don't know that Dark Thor has good intentions when it comes I to think his intentions are just uh, exposure and potentially maybe finding a mate, which will never happen. Well, I think <laughs> like yeah, if you go after uh, if you go after enough like bigger YouTubers uh, and try to start beef with them, eventually like maybe you might gain traction. But the problem with that exactly like is, like you also have to like make quality videos. So that's a good point. Yeah, you exactly. Know. Like me, I did that. Like I, mean, I don't, I don't to really imagine. Sky and Madvocate. I don't really imagine anyone watching this stream is going to be like, "Oh, let me subscribe to that Dark Thor guy," because they'd, they'd see the kinds of videos he makes and be like, "No." Right. Also, if you're going to go after a YouTuber, why go after Sheev of all people? Like, if you want attention, why not go after? Why not do what I did and go after Star Wars Theory? Like three. Oh yeah, he'll. He and Melvin will give you all the attention. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go after oh, yeah. Ryan. Still Ryan go after the free target for you. <laughs> <laughs> go after yeah, uh, the amazing the Lucas. Go after, after him. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a name I've not heard in a long time. <laughs> I've been fortunate enough to avoid the amazing Lucas for the most part. But that's good. Who he is. Kinds, of, kinds of things I've seen from SK. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I've gotten in quite a bit of calls with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard some of that. Well, I sincerely oh. hope the amazing Lucas shits his liver out. Oh. Well, oh when I'm picturing like him and Dark Thor, I'm just picturing that Ken uh, Watanabe uh, meme from the uh, what's it, what's the movie? Uh, the, where he's like, w "Let them fight." <laughs> That's just what I'm picturing now. Yeah, I'll see Dark Thor versus Melvin. Hell yeah! Your own editing and narration. Acknowledge why he beat the monster, <laughs> he saved the Mando. Ergo, it's not a gift, he earned it. It could have been done better. Why you use of no. Yeah, she earned uh... it. You're complaining about what? Oh, I get it. We're just you know, she earned it about as much as going to Tesco's and fucking Dude. getting up a French loaf. Oh my god. Well, and why is this on screen? What is this? Yeah, I don't know what ha what this has anything to do with me or my like the, the like Mandalorian. EFAP. Okay, yeah. I also I, like I, both I, earned, uh, I love EFAP, but that makes me a racist. Okay. I earned fries from Wendy's earlier because my friend ordered fries and I just took some from him. Nice. Yeah. You, you, I, more you, you bested this. him in combat, so bested him, <laughs> I bested him in combat, so I'm now a fucking king. Based. There he goes. Oh, don't worry. I'll put out a praise video. I'll even <sighs> name it exactly after Mauler. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this one. So, okay. So I'll give you guys some context. Uh, he keeps comparing me to Mauler for some reason when I think the, the similarities begin and end with the fact that we both made long videos. Uh, <laughs> and you both don't like the sequel trilogy. That's about it. Yeah, sure. Um, and I asked him for some proof, and he linked my Winnie the Pooh video, the, the Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey review that I did, <laughs> where I made a joke thumbnail that said an unbridled praise. And because I, I used the term unbridled, I said an unbridled praise. He is, like, I guess he thought I was being an ironic, uh, and that oh I actually just God. really loved the Winnie the Pooh horror movie. So that makes me mauler because I said an unbridled praise. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, like he doesn't understand. Uh, by the way, you're not the only one to do that. Like there's like other people that have like, you know, jokingly copied like the whole unbridled praise, unbridled rage thing. Yeah. Um, I think uh, ATAT chat did it as well. Like a few other people. I think like, yeah, it's he, just a title. It's short. It's catchy. It's to the point. It's quite unique. Yeah. But yeah, he, he doesn't see the irony in this apparently. He's just he again. It's like I don't believe he's this stupid. I don't know that anyone can be. So like, oh, you can. I'm be. starting Maybe to worry can. that he genuinely has something wrong with him. 
Like, is this a Jarrah Genesis yeah. thing? <laughs> Could be. Could be. Like, is this another Jarrah Genesis situation where they he genuinely has something wrong with him and he's just been let loose I, on the internet? I got, I, I, I got another one. Is, is this an Edward Enigma thing? Is this a Riddler thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, who do you think? Do you think that uh, the Riddler had more online followers than Dark Lord? Uh, oh, most definitely. <laughs> wait, actually, didn't he only have five hundred? Oh, I don't oh, remember. Um, that would mean Dark Thor actually has more. <laughs> Dark Thor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, 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 so that means, so that means uh, whenever Sheev does a public convention, now uh, he's going to get shot down by all of Dark Thor's goons. <laughs> <laughs> God, they're all going to be dressed like Dark Thor. <laughs> oh, God. What does Dark Thor even dress like? Uh, probably like Thor, but black. <laughs> And then he's gonna play a demented version of of immigrant song. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's wrap this up. Come on. We're just copying the EFAP formula for money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that Star Wars Theory is a member of EFAP? Uh, I don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. I don't think they're, they're not exactly on good terms. I think Star Wars Theory and EFAP. Didn't they make like fun of him all the time. They, they make fun of <laughs> they make fun of him like crying about the Mandalorian and shit. Yeah, I think that that was like their beef. That was like two years ago. I mean, Star Wars series beef with basically fucking everyone because he's a bit of a bitch. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't really like. I was like, it's a victim. matter of a YouTuber. <laughs> Maybe I am. But then you can't complain about Grogu and my marketing. Oh, and they're just pumping out these content in all these needless shows. You're doing the same thing. You're pumping out pointless videos this? for money. You're just what you are. You're just a fat, ugly grifter. Yeah, remember how he said that that would be relevant, Damn. and then it ended up You're not being relevant? Fucking annoying. That had nothing to do with anything you Essentially, said. this is just a preface. Okay, that's it. He's We're done. so mad. We're finished. We're done. He's so mad. Right. He's mad over a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's the thing. Like, there will be moments, like usually toward the end of his video, where he just lets the mask slip and he just goes on like this angry tirade against you. He's like, "You're just a fat, ugly loser." Yep. <laughs> it's like, I, I feel like I'm in school and I'm bickering with a child. <laughs> They're mad over a dodgeball game that they lost. <laughs> you cheated! <laughs> I know you fucking cheated. You caught the ball and that was not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't get me. I touched it. I touched it. <laughs> that was Dark Thor, everyone. Now, now, <laughs> six hours later, we're uh, we're all up to speed. He's, oh uh, my goodness! Just, of just creations. Just one. creations <laughs> one. <laughs> now, I hate to be abrupt, but I have something pressing that I need to attend to, so I think we can call it here. Oh, uh, he, He's going to mm. go back to his fascist empire I got to go back to grifting, so... <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube channel, you assholes, or I'll beat your teeth Everyone... In. I, Odrin, do you have a YouTube channel? I have everyone else's linked. I do not. Okay, Aha. Yeah. So yeah. nothing to be used against me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's channels are linked below. You can check them out. They're all great people, great YouTubers. That's well, I wouldn't say I'm a great person. person. Well, except great Shiny. He fucking I'm a sucks. <laughs> I'm a Fuck the Brits. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>